Nobody saw that.
to Durbanville for the final day of the um, qualifying events, South African leg of the qualifying events for the PBA. Um, we've reached the business end of the pairs where we're down to semi-finals. Uh, so with no further ado, let me bring on the first semi-finalists all the way from Durban, Port Natal. We have Wayne Roberts and Roger Bull. Wayne, if you don't mind, I'm going to start with you. We had a little chat up front this morning. Um, I said to you, you seem to be in the form of your life. And you said, well, it's not just now. It's been a, it's been a little while, which I think is fair enough to have that sort of confidence. Uh, you must be very excited to reach the semi-finals. Yeah, definitely. Really excited. And hopefully I can continue the form in this game. And I know it's going to be tough. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. Good. Roger, yourself, how are you feeling this morning? Uh, a little bit nervous, but uh, you know, playing with... Wayne, who's in great form at the moment, I just got to put them in the head and give them a chance, you know, to convert. Absolutely. Well, the two of you, well done uh, reaching this stage of the semi-finals. Go well today. Enjoy the game. Um, you on rink two. So, um, without further ado, let's get it going. Their opponents from the Western Cape, Herman Heisemann and Lydia Moritz. I think Lydia's going to get quite a bit of support here. I don't know about Herman. <laughs> well done, guys. Congratulations on reaching the semi finals. Um, Herman, what's the game plan today? Just draw. <laughs> I mean, that's about it's it. It's as simple as that. Draw, get them close. Try and get as close as and, and how has your lead been playing this tournament? Actually, quite well. Okay. Yeah, it's just been playing well. We need to boost each other, and that's what we've been basically doing. Yeah. We don't know each other that well, but we got to know each other quite well now. <laughs> yeah, Lydia, as a you came into this tournament as a as a late entry, um, you you must be um, absolutely over the moon, reaching this stage. Yes, definitely. Yeah, I didn't think I was fit enough to enter it. That's why I didn't enter it. But um, yes, I'm very honoured to to be able to play in it and to play with him. Marvelous. Well, congratulations, guys. Um, I don't think uh, the boys from Durban will mind too much to say that you're the locals here and will have the support. The, yeah, go well. Enjoy the game. Thanks. Good bowling. Right. On the TV rink this morning, let's bring our friends from the Boerland, Stoffel, Stoffel Lamprecht and Fred Boerter. Yeah, well, Stoffel's never in a rush, let me tell you. Um, and I've always said, I've, I've known Stoffel for many years, and I've always said that uh, if I wanted somebody to put a bowl into someone's hand uh, to draw that, uh, that final shot, I'll always choose Stoffel. Stoffel, you must be very happy. I know you won your section by half a point, you won your quarterfinal game, and yeah, you find yourself in the semifinals. Yeah, very proud of ourselves. Um yeah, that drawing that last shot was 25 years ago. <laughs> it, it doesn't come that easy anymore. <laughs> and Fred, if you can just move around this way, sorry, no, no problem. Fred, I heard you talking to somebody earlier on. You've only been playing this game for? I would say in my fifth year now. Yeah. Well, that's fantastic. Well yeah, it's, it's fantastic to be here. Rob Childers were the best. So well, that's, uh, that's what it's all about. Looking. And uh, yeah, I'm sure with uh, Stoffel behind you playing skip, you must be uh, confident. Uh, well, he's going to bowl uh, all four of the bowls, so uh, we'll see. <laughs> 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 and uh, Stoffel, just to get back to you, you're playing against two local boys. Um, you've bumped in into each other many a time. Yeah, that, that comes uh, quite a number of years. Um, I think I'm going back to... Um, to the early 90s um, playing against Peter um, and the likes of yourself I mean at that time and uh, Kevin um, knew his, his um, grandparents um, from long time ago and, and recently we played um, but 
big big friends. I mean, yeah. great friends. Yeah. I mean, the two or the three of us, I would say. So um, I'm looking forward to a nice game. Yeah. Well, for those of you um, watching from outside of the country, um, we actually neighbours. Uh, always friendly, friendly uh, rivalry between Wollant and Western Province. So, Stoffel, Fred, go well. Enjoy the game. The last pair I'm introducing, the local boys, Peter Harvey and Kevin Douglas. You haven't rolled your first bowl and they're clapping. Eh? Uh, Peter... Um, I watched you on the two, two boys on the TV rink in the first game, um, and I spoke to you afterwards. You you weren't happy with that performance, but you've obviously turned things around. Feeling more confident now? Yeah, well, we really uh, didn't have a, a performance that I was happy with on Friday. I thought Kev kept us in the game. Um, <clears throat> I played a lot better yesterday, and, and we really scraped through our section by half a point. Um, ahead of Jason and thanks to the other local boys here who managed uh, yeah. to beat Jason. Yeah. Yeah. So to Eddie and um, yeah, we owe them a donut yeah, and a Eddie, Eddie and Yaku, <laughs> we owe them. That was very narrow. Uh, but now looking forward to this game, yeah. really am. Uh, Stoffel, as he said, he's an old campaigner, a uh, lot of respect for him. And Fred, his achievement in five years is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, and over to Kevin. Um, Kevin, once again. After that first game, you must be thrilled, excited to be on this rink. Yeah, thrilled to be here. Looking forward to the game. Hopefully third time lucky on this rink. It's had my number. So, <laughs> yeah, no, really looking forward to it, Alan. Yeah. Well, Kevin, you should know this rink, pal. There shouldn't be any excuses. I mean, you play at this club. So, um, yeah, okay. So, good luck, boys. Uh, you'll have the support of the crowd already building. And uh, go well. Play well. Enjoy the game. Thanks, Al. Okay. With that, I'll return to the commentary team. Thank you, Alan. Hoyamora, and welcome. And Devil the Bowling Club. Good morning, everybody from all around the world. A very warm welcome here to South Africa, especially Durbanville Bowling Club, for the final day of the Fair Tree PBA qualifiers for the World Singles, World Pairs and also the Scottish International Open. Some good interviews there by Alan. We're back in the uh, the commentary box for the day. Joining me is the, the head man at the moment for the, the PBA, just recently taken over, the chairman, and that's Johan Duplessis. Good morning, Johan. Morning, Jason. Thank How you for joining. Absolute pleasure. All good this morning? Yeah, yeah. Had a, a great night last night. Very, very good night last night. I think it's going to be an even better day today. I think uh, looking at some of the ties, that uh, we're in for an absolute treat. Weather's looking good. Yes. Slightly yes. overcast. Yeah. Slight little breeze. Otherwise, just absolutely perfect. Been very lucky over the last four days. Great crowds, good weather, good bowls. Yeah, and a great show last night. Yes, it was uh, brilliant. Brilliant. I'd like to thank you for all for joining us so early as well because there's quite a lot of you there from all around the world. We've got the uh, the chat function up in the commentary box so if there's anything you, you want to ask uh, Johan or myself, just pop it in the comments and we'll we'll try our best to uh, to answer them. Nothing too difficult, it's uh, quite early morning. Four games again for you today. So you've got, uh, you've got the day free, stick with us all day. Two ball pairs, Phil. It's, uh, it's an interesting game. It's uh, normally one from the front, I always think. If you've got a lead that plays consistently well in a set's play in two ball pairs, you can be in a lot of trouble quickly as a skip. Fred Berta, <coughs> um off to quite a nice start with his first ball. It'll settle the nerves. Yesterday I was saying I normally get a cattle prod out. If you stand in front of the camera too often, I get a cattle prod and just jab, jab them. <laughs> They'll only do it once. Well, you do it once, <laughs> yeah. 
we'll get a we'll get a message down to the players. Just uh, I mean, if you're not used to playing in front of the cameras, it's very easily done. Most people do like to stand behind the head and see see the balls come down the green. Sent the bossman out to have a word, so that'll get rectified. Don't you worry. <laughs> See the uh, the hardy dars are alive and kicking early this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, they love the mic though. Yeah, they make some noise, don't they? So playing the swingy hand. It's got good pace. It's very close. Just got that morning dew on the green at the moment, hasn't it? So it's a little bit damp, so it's just slightly. I'd probably say it's maybe a second slower than what it, it plays during the afternoon. I'd say it's probably running about 12 and a half at the moment, maybe 13. Wants to get inside his own. Oh, it's played as well. Maybe enough. Yep. On two. So yeah. the boys from the Bulland off to a good start. Does the chairman, are you happy with how everything's gone, mate? Absolutely thrilled, Jason. I couldn't have wished, hoped for it to, to be any better. Um, look, we obviously realised we're going to make the odd little mistake here and there. There hasn't been too many, and those that we've made are small adjustments for next year. But uh, yes, I, I can just uh, thank my committee and, and everybody that's participated in making this a huge success. comments from across the board has just been very positive yeah I get view of all the comments on the streams you know for every single game and I don't think I've seen a, a negative yet which is which is great great start again you know, Fred worked a relatively new bowler um, he's in his fifth year of bowls as Alan alluded to he's very keen he's on the Plays from our club Robertson, from out of my club Robertson. He's uh, practices hard. He's almost out there every day. But he's he's a he's a sportsman. He was a a very competent rugby player and a squash player. Oh, okay. His son um, Louis was one of our best junior tennis players. He's now a coach. So, friends in the family. Decent second. You just see the other pairs semi final on the, the next rink there. We'll, uh, we'll keep you updated with how that progresses. However, you can use the new app. Just go onto the uh, the site there. Click on you get all the live scores, up to date rankings, and how the things are progressing. But we will be shouting them up every three or four ends. See that. Uh 
push delivery from uh, Peter Harvey. Similar to his late father, Tommy Harvey. He's one of the greats in South African bowls. So three of the players here are playing with uh, our sponsors this brand, Drake's, still for um, Fred and uh, Kevin. And Peter's playing with a um, Parker. <laughs> nice to see you on this morning, Mr. Baker. Thanks for the lovely comment. It's been an absolute pleasure working alongside you. Help our paths cross once again very soon. <coughs> So, decent start, that's you wanting sets play, get off to a good start, you know, I always say good start, don't fall too far behind, the ends can quick away, tick away quickly, uh, you know, and I think if you're going to start losing scores, this kind of format, anything more than two is probably disastrous, keep it nice and tight. Makes you think about the game a little bit more, when you've got 21 ends, sometimes you may take a, a silly chance maybe, or you know, take a punt at something, you can't really afford to do that so, in this kind of format. Absolutely, Jason. Yeah, just... you know, you've got to you've got to avoid those twos and threes. You know, drop one at the worst. Uh, if you drop a double or worse um, over two ends, you can find yourself into in trouble quite quickly. You know. Yep, they're just going to measure this. So for those new viewers on there, the uh, the minimum length. People always ask, what's the minimum length of the jack? Um, it has to be 23 meters from the front edge of the mat. It's not the shortest length you can play to. I mean, if you have a rebounding jack, so someone drives at the jack and it bounces off a ball and comes back up the ring, that jack then has to be 20 metres uh, minimum length. Well, that's where it's in. Well, thanks for that message, Jerry. It was great to have you here. Um, I think you said it was your first uh, ever stunt as a commentator. Natural. 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 It was a pleasure to hear the two of you guys in the, in the seat. It won't surprise me if Jerry comes back next year as a player. Nice, nice to see, yeah. So again, pretty decent start. He's playing well with that first bowl. Absolutely. Um, it's been slightly loose with the second one. Let's see if he can get it together with the second bowl. He's on a good line again. And good weight. Oh, it's, it's good bowling for it. Kevin just needs to make sure he's just slightly up. Nice full draw, as we would call it in the UK, plenty to sit on. It's just a bit sticky, isn't it? Because it's just a little bit damp. It's just not finishing what it would normally do. You know, as the, the heat comes up, if you wish, that will free it up a little bit. The ring's blank. Pretty nicely. Um, as you know, traditionally our TV rings sometimes we they're not as good as the others. Stoffel Lambrecht, backhand specialist. Well, in trouble, I'd personally hit this, I wouldn't start faffing around, he's not quite sure what it's going to do with that pace at the moment, they're being a bit sticky, I'd have just gone straight for the target, just drive the balls away, get the jack. Might just be outside that line. Good effort.
Just, just hit it. Just hit it. Yeah. Get into yeah. it. Just hit it. Remove two balls. You know, you're looking to remove at least two balls. Anything else is great. Bear Jack. He's got the best back bowl there. He's got nearly got the best two best backs. If he drives the jack into the ditch, anything to left of centre, that's, that's a, a right. three. Right, make a three. Oh, Jason, I think. Uh, I just think they, they, they need to score on this end. You know, they don't want to drop a two or a three, uh, probably two down. Not an ideal situation to be five nil down. You start starting to feel the pressure early on. It's just too. It's just too early on in the game to know exactly what the rink's doing with the pace. I mean, I always think early on, just try and keep it simple. Yeah. There's a nice simple drive there. He's going to go for he it. He is. He's lining up. Here we go, that's the jack. Oh, where's it gone? Oh, oh my no. goodness. <laughs> Dear <Dearing> me. <laughs> that was unlucky. Very <laughs> <Pretty> unlucky. <coughs> Thought it was going to jump over the top. I think it was two, Jason, for uh, Lambrecht and Puerta. Yep, good start, 5 0. Yep, very unlucky there. But, uh, Jack in the box, the three would have been very welcome for Peter and yeah. partner, Kevin. Same as last. And the other pairs, semi-final, 3-1 after three ends to Herman and Lydia. Lydia's flying the flag for the ladies. Again, that good opening bowls, just putting them under a little bit of pressure at the moment. It's definitely the most consistent uh, lead out of the two of them. That will change obviously as the, the game goes on and you start feeling your line and length. You know, that first bowl, as you've said, Jason is so important and uh, Fred has done that very well. And there for the lead of 5 0. Kevin Douglas just not settled as yet on his line. But he's an experienced lead. He's, uh, he's been one of the better leads in the country. Leads for the Western Province side, who plays in the front rank. And a good singles record. So on a better line here. Great ball. Good pace. Turns the ball away. Should make a pair. Just in front of the jack. Yep, great ball. Big chance to get back into this first set. I mean, so I think Stoffel needs to play the forehand. It's, it's, I think it's a better hand. He's sticking with the backhand. 
just slightly up here. She's just having a tendency to stick at the moment. Second shot, that's a big ball. Didn't bend much, he's playing professionals, isn't he? Yeah, he, yeah he's with a professional. But I still feel will be on his back end uh, most of the times, and unless he really is forced on the floor. He seems to be, oh God, you know, since I've known him, he's, yep. he prefers his back end. He's been working hard on his forehand, um, knowing or identifying that he's got a problem. He's, uh, He's uh, on the green, just practicing the forehand. Trying to iron out all the problems, or a few technical issues he's got. Well, playing the forehand, looking to get just past the white ball, a tickle on the jack would be good. Just not getting back. Decent pace. So, on the scorecard. Interesting to see what sort of length they're going to opt for. Next game for you on the streaming rink will be around about 11 o'clock. We're going to switch over to the semi final number one of the uh, singles. It's going to be Wayne Roberts against Nixa Ben Uric. Wayne Roberts is uh, He's on for the double at the moment. I don't want to. I don't want to jinx him, <laughs> but he, he could possibly win both. So that could be a busy day for Wayne today. Yeah, been very impressed with his uh, performance, Wayne Roberts. Yep. Um, he's had a very good couple of days. You probably know he, uh, we selected him in the, for the South African side, yep. and um, he won a gold medal in Namibia at the African States. I like what I see, Jason, from him. He uh, plays a good line continuously, you know, consistently. And he's just got a wonderful temperament. Yes, I first met Wayne, I think it was 2018, 2019, out in Hong Kong and China. He played with a very young uh, South African side, led by uh, Rudy. And uh, they did very well over there as well. We played against them. I think it was either a quarter final or a semi final. He was leading at the time. And yes, that's the first time I saw him, and he was very, very consistent. Yeah, he led for Natal for, for many years, as far as I remember. Um, but of late, he's in the back rank. So he's got, he's got all the shots. He's got a bright future ahead of him, no doubt. A very good start once again. Coming up a bit short for the second. for Peter to draw it. He'd want to score again on this end to get a bit closer and give himself a chance in the set. Just wide on the line with good weight. Needs to get the port, yeah. I mean, 
a touch on this jack would be amazing. It's really close. Oh, it's played a I don't think he's, don't think he's got it just far enough from what he wanted for the full house. But uh, Stoffel can't be short at this. You know, he needs to play something very, very similar. Just playing, just two feet to a yard over. He needs enough weight where if he makes contact with his own short balls, he's pushing them in and not just sitting against them. You know, if he sits solid against them, gets nothing. Um, let's see. Has he got the pace to promote? Bad ball. Extra yeah. Everything for arriving at that. Uh, so we're asking for the um, score on the other pairs. Uh, Roger and Wayne have bounced back. They're now 4-3 ahead. After five ends. And they just scored another. I think, no, they're just lying one there. A couple of balls to come. So that's a good game as well going on next door. Playing, playing further. That will allow the ball to bend a little bit. They've just been struggling a little bit with, with it just getting back. But the longer length will allow more time for the ball to get to centre. And there you go. Proof is the result, absolutely. Yeah. The proof is in the pudding. Yeah, I was surprised with the previous in having won it that they didn't uh, play the longer length, as you say, Jason. It's uh, good again. He's really been superb with his first ball. Needs to bend. Finished handy though. That gives Peter a really good chance. Surprise me if Peter doesn't play his the forehand here. Plays down the forehand, he can turn the jack for three. If it's slightly underneath, turns the ball away. So it's, uh, yeah, right. there's a few options. He can straighten back off it and get the jack as well. There's lots of things with 18 inches of pace. And it's a decent hand, you know, it swings quite nicely, doesn't it? Feather this ball straight on top of the jack. Has he got the weight? No. <laughs> no reason to have been short there. Eh? No, I'm just. I, I think Kevin and Peter are lying the shot from, from the angle. And I think if they are. I just don't think it's the right shot. I know he's playing the drag on the jack, I can see that, but play it on the other hand. Give yourself three different options. Well, let's see what he does. Let's see if he changes. I he's staying to the same backhand. Good. 
One to Stoffel Landrecht and uh, Fred Wilton makes them to six, leading six two. Nice to see Jill Milligan on the uh, stream this morning back in uh, my home county there. Good morning, Jill. Hope you and the family are well. I'm sure what day is it Sunday? She's probably sent Stuart out to work. <laughs> <laughs> So just like the short with the jack, so uh, the jack passes to the opponents and they get to uh, set whatever length they want but reds will still get the first bowl. Decent ball there. So the nearest ball almost level, or well, jack level you call it, don't you? We say jack high in uh, the UK more. I know it's not the correct terminology, but we just say jack high. So uh, that's the one to beat. All fans available. Stoffel will go to his uh, trusted backhand. I think this, I think the ditch side is still the better hand, personally. But you, you play, you play to your own choice. Yeah. You know, the, the four in coming down. At, uh, you know, I think if you miss your line slightly on the outside, you stay up. Nice and solid. Oh, oh, Brilliant. Yeah. to work off as well you know there's a couple of chances down the forehand definitely looking to get to that red ball will be the target <coughs> needs to bend we would just like to get this Jack. 
go with the scoreboard to stay in contention for the set. He's just under on the line. And wait. I think seven two. I'll make a decent. Yep. Just needs to be a little bit more positive there. You know, there was, there was again, it was, a, it was a head where there was there was nothing for sure and everything just to be up. You know, you, you you're not in. You've got plenty of positional balls. The second ball, just take a chance. Take a chance with a yard. Nothing for short. Nothing. Nothing for short. Especially with the, you know, with, as the school stands, um, they're under the pump now. Talking of scores, for those of you wanting scores for the other semi final, it's 7 3. 6 3 after 7. Yeah, 6 six three after 7 to Roger and Wayne. Fred once again in the area with his first ball. Pace on it. Well played. Let's nice chop and lie, yeah. Well played. Is that the same ball for Kevin, really? Take your chance just down there. Get to the ball, get to the jack. Work off the wide ball as well. Lots of nice little options. Play the funnel. Well, trying. Trying here. Pretty good. So Jason, um, as you know, you know the objective of one of the objectives of the PBA and branch of, of the PBA in South Africa is to set the platform of goodies everywhere in the world to create an opportunity for a chap like Fred Witter that's relatively new, hasn't really played at the highest level. Here's a great opportunity for him to hopefully, you know, possibly pull it off with Stoffel, my old campaigner. And, uh, you know, if all goes well and they, they're off to a good start, he could end up playing at Potters. I mean, that'll just be absolutely brilliant. Yeah. See a chap like him go to Potters. Exactly, and that's, uh, that's the beauty of doing what I do. It's, that's, I, I, we basically create that chance, create opportunities, all our stuff is open. Um, there's not many sports where within the first couple of years you could get to play against your, your idol, your hero, the world number one. That doesn't happen, you, you know. 100%. And uh, yesterday we had quite a few uh, questions asking, you know, people think it's uh, an invitation event. It's not an invitation event. We do do invitational events. Needs to reach at this. The best result here, Johan, is backhand with pace, wants an angle off his own last ball. That, that, that angle is perfect to get to the split of the shot and the jack. We're looking to just get, at least get one or two. It's got a nice working ball, as you say. Wants the angle. Here we go. Really right. Yeah, anybody who's been watching, I know there's been a few people down here, some of the members are saying, I am definitely playing in this next year. That's that's music to my ears, you know. 100%. Yeah. As mm -hmm. you know, I've previously said, we'd like to get up our, our membership up yep. to uh, maybe double. And I think it's quite possible if you saw the reaction we had. When our invitations went <coughs> out, we, we filled those 64 spots, I think, within 30 days. That's right. So, you know, you in any of the countries that are associated to the PBA, so you've got to the UK, obviously South Africa, we have America, Canada, New Zealand, Hong Kong, Australia and Israel. And then from next year, we've just welcomed uh, Thailand into the PBA as well. Try to 
Very, very hard, yeah. Look at this. Oh. What a ball! Oh, 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 oh. Could it be three, Jason? The thing that was special about that ball was the pace he played. That was what was really special. He played the perfect pace. There was a, a, a shot there with a lot more pace, which I would say was an easier target. He played that and executed it with the perfect pace. That was a fabulous ball. Great shot. Um, puts him back into contention for the set. Yep, so if you do want to join from any of those countries, you can go to the website www.worldballstour.org. From the sub-menu, you can then click, it's on the far right-hand side of the sub-menu, click PBA, then the drop-down list of all the branches that's associated to us will appear, and uh, click the country that you're from. When the entries come open, everything's posted on there, it directs you to the, the websites. Or if you want to, why not combine a holiday uh, and a PBA qualifier at the same time? You know, no matter where you are in the world, you want to come to this beautiful country that I'm in at the moment, South Africa, that is also... Uh, As you can hear, uh, Jason, there's a nice crowd in already. Excitement is building up. Yes, I'm just looking at that game. It's uh, Wayne and Roger are one ahead on the last end. Um, Herman has just played a humble dinger. Oh, Wayne's just gone through the gap. I'm looking forward to uh, today's proceedings. I think we're going to see some cracking games. Great uh, single semi finals coming up. Just to hold up. I think the first objective here is to make sure you peel this set. That'll be the first objective. They managed to sneak it. Fabulous, mm -hmm. you know, but they'll be looking for that, that half, that half a point. Absolutely. And they're off to a good start if you can. Uh, Touch the jack slightly. Nice play a good second roll. Big roll for Fred. Wayne and Roger have just won their first set. That's uh, one ahead for them. Well, Stoffel, you're in a little bit of trouble here, mate. This would be a great comeback if you managed just to sneak this up. Let's see if uh, all those hours and hours of practice that Stoffel's put into his forehand, because he's going to need it now. I think you'll, you'll have to be on the four. Yeah, it certainly looks the obvious shot. Depends where this is. You know, if uh, Peter will be looking for something close but in the centre of the rink. He won't be wanting to finish just at the side of the jack. That will allow Stoffel just to play a slightly different shot. So he'll want to make it count but finish centre of the ring. He's played a great ball. Good ball. Still waiting for Stoffel though. He needs to be down the tighter, tighter line with a yard. Doesn't want to be short. Just give it a chance. Set down. Is he quick enough? So, crossing that centre line. Oh, he didn't play with enough conviction, needed to be a bit quicker with that. Now, where do you put this, Johan? <laughs> Again, you don't want to make it any bigger. I think you're going to play it, you play slightly up and just turn the jack out of sight. 100%. I don't think Stoffel will miss with his second, so you've got to do something. The jack is his first prize. Yeah. Duck the jack away, take the shot away, he's on his uh, backhand. Okay, they're basically saying, well, you go ahead and play the shot. Let's draw you another. Can you turn that ball? Well, it's there for Stoffel, it's... Uh, Just needs to hit the head, that's it. 
destroys everything then, doesn't it? Hit that, hit that red ball over Jack. Got to make sure the pace. I mean, you and I practice with stuff. He does have that weighted shot in his armoury. I've seen it. Absolutely. Don't think too much about this. It's, it's for me. It's an easy shot. You just don't overthink it. Just go back to the mat and just hit the head. You know, set down. He can't go back and just sit and draw. He's more than capable, but a little bit of pressure on. Jason, knowing Stoffel, I won't be surprised. It, it, it might not look the obvious, but I won't be surprised if he draws a front if touch. he goes <laughs> no, if he goes on his backhand with pace. Okay. That's uh, you know, that's his hand, that's his favourite uh, hand to play. It's there, you can see it. I mean, just go back and hit it. I think really? sometimes you can see. The last thing you want to do is when you're going back to the mat is about three different options in your head. <laughs> and it really doesn't matter if he's on the back end. It might no. look more obvious on the fore, but I mean, if he's... Uh... I like to hit things on my back end. I must admit, if I'm playing a weighty ball, no, I would play the back end. He's on his fore end. The question is with what weight is he going to play? Missed it. Just we'll get that. Back. What a comeback for Harvey and Douglas. From way behind, managed to get up. Well, the change of that set was that fabulous bowl of Peters. You know, that, uh, that conversion shot allowed them to get back into that set, and then all of a sudden, uh, Stoffel and Fred were on the back foot. Just uh, someone's asking there what the set first set score was for the other game. They won seven five. I've just been uh, reliably told by my commentator for the second set. Welcome to the box, Nick Rusling. Welcome. Morning, Jason. Hope you had a good evening last night. Certainly did. Yeah. <laughs> Balls is warming up nicely. <laughs> Getting a good back massage from you, aren't you? Thanks, you. <laughs> yeah, both, both, uh, both games are really warmed up. Big shots being played. Yeah, that uh, takeout shot of Peters was really good, and you can see the momentum's changed here now, hasn't it? Yes, definitely. You know, uh, both I think Peter and Kevin were a bit slow in starting. Uh, maybe had a bit of, uh, you know, a deja vu from the previous game, but they've uh, starting to hit their straps now. And Kevin opened up with a front toucher, which is great to start the second set with. They must have changed the length. They've uh, pulled, uh, pulled a bit shorter than what they've been playing. So yeah. um, Kevin's starting to find his range. I think Fred needs to when he's playing with his backhand. I had a person who swapped to the forehand there. Just played a nice, just slightly up to it down the forehand. Yes. Yeah, reaching draw as we yeah. call it. Yeah. Now, if he releases it, I think that's the best he can probably get. Releases that now runs. Okay. Good. Oh, he's giving Stoffel something to play to, made a bigger target. I think uh, what's, what needs to happen here for uh, Fred and Stoffel is they need to maybe try to score one of the first two ends just to settle the disappointment of leading the first set and then letting it slip. Yeah, you've got to get it out of your head straight away, haven't you? Yeah. Start afresh. Yeah. And that's the beauty about sets, you know. It's you know, it's uh, a new game. I thought Pete was a little bit indifferent in the first set. I don't know about your your opinion. I think you know, a couple of times he had he had chances to convert and, and was underweighted. Yeah, I said exactly that as well in the commentary box. Mm -hmm. um, so this is a great bowl oh, again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what a good shot. And yeah, that's more, uh, that's more like Peter, you know, nice positive draw. Yep. Not trying to be too neat or too, be too good.
stuff will have a little trimble down the green, go have a little chat to Fred. You don't have a time limit on the semi-finals, do you? No, no, no it's just purely, purely the ends, yeah. Okay. So he's having a look at this because he's, he's got to be careful. He doesn't want to be... Uh, he's not to be too quick and wing that ball out of the head. You know, if he catches the outside edge of the, the, the black ball yeah. in front of the jab, me push that out but hasn't got hasn't got much other choice so that's that's the difficulty here that's what he's looking at there's nothing i don't think on the backhand yeah. at all sometimes you've got i think you've got to just take that chance yeah or you resign to just i'll just keep it as one down well if, he, if he's going to play an attacking shot he should play it now because if it does go wrong he's got a wood to recover uh, which he is doing uh, far out like you say maybe sometimes to drop one is it's not the worst worst option in town. Especially when you're chasing for that second set. Yes. You know, a three early on when you're a set down could be yeah. disastrous, you know. Especially when you're playing yeah. this, at this late stage. Peter's yeah. definitely coming onto his game here. Yes. Both of them are playing very well. Yes. Yeah, so drop one, you know, you're happy. Yeah, that's a good ball. That's good. I, think, I think Stoffel just needs to draw on the forehand. No, he's talking about an attacking shot. Gets half of it, he's dropping three. Exactly, yeah. first, first end. Just yeah. draw them before. Yeah. One's yeah. nothing. One is good. You know, sometimes in the heat of the battle, you need to just take a step out, reassess the situation. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Is he chancing it again? Is yeah, he? Doesn't like want to get rid of his own. Yeah. I think it's a, low a very low percentage shot, high risk, and it can go horribly wrong. Whoa. He's missed. Yeah, he's <laughs> dropped inside. Yeah, man, I think the best call in town. Yeah, like you said, Jason, maybe a forehand draw. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of people on the stream this morning. Okay. Look, watching it. It's okay. great to see so many people. Yeah, um, I was hoping for a bit of um, down here in, in, uh, in Cape Town. I've, I've got a couple of of clubs that come down with good support so you get the Durbanville Raw I'm hoping then to come down and get the atmosphere go, going or maybe if a couple of the Goodwood guys are streaming why don't you bring your Goodwood grunt down Yeah. you know get some atmosphere come on support Harry Harriman he was unlucky to lose the first set playing well great game so you know come down great venue nice day out not much wind going to be warming up let's build a bit of an atmosphere Let's show the world what, what supporters are, what the supporters are like in South Africa. Looking forward to the singles. Yes. I think it's a top, top quality field. Oh, yes. Top four players. I think a little bit of a surprise there, I'm going to be honest, is uh, Warren Stain, but he has been in a bit of form. Um, yeah, could he could he be a, a surprise? You know, upsetting South Africa's number one. No, Kevin's really starting to find his range. He's opened up with another good one. Uh, foot foot wide, a good weight. And Fred has replied. Yeah, that's the shot. Good to see Johnny D'Souza here, who got to the quarterfinals of the single support in Hadamon. Yeah. That's great to see. I see Nix has just arrived. So he's watching with keen interest. He's in the semi final. And, uh, oh, Peter's just. Oh, okay, yeah. Well Ted's really, really starting to become consistent yeah. now. But uh, coming back from the death in that first set's really lifted this pair. Yeah, and like you said, you know, it's just amazing how, how the momentum has swung. Yeah. You know, Stoffel and Fred were, were right in control of that set. Just got the gap. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was great to have uh, Johan on the commentary. Yes, yes, it's always good, you know, uh, just to see see how things are going. I'm just to yeah. see if he was pleased with what, what has happened here yeah. at Durbanville. Yeah. 
And uh, I, I'm certainly pleased. I'm, uh, I think it's ex exceeded expectations. Oh, oh my, yes, massively, yeah. massively. And people that know me on the uh, on the stream, I have high expectations. Yeah, yeah just because I, I, I have high expectations, just because it's a passion. You know, I yeah. want I want it to yeah. succeed. So that's why I set the bar quite high. And certainly not been disappointed when I've been here. Come on, Ben. Ben. Can Pete drop inside? He's playing with a tiger. It is a swinging ball. I think his line was good if he had the extra yard. <clears throat> yeah. And I think that's been the problem with Pete this morning. On his draw, he's been too tentative. I've, I've, I would have liked to have seen him attacking the white a bit more. Yeah, yeah. I thought he was a little bit conservative. But, yeah. Uh, you know. And he's, and you know, Stefan uh, Stoffel's a seasoned campaigner. Look at this. He's drawn another. Oh, he's drawn another. Fell he's out as well. Fell out, yeah. Yeah, still two, maybe three. It's definitely two. The two black balls are yeah. most certainly in. Good morning from New Zealand. Thanks for tuning us there. Lots of people from all around the world. What's the corner? Yourself. Can he get a corner? Oh, and like if he hasn't finished well, it's making stuff or player more need to shot. Yep. Good to see Jerry saying good morning. Yeah, we miss you too, Jerry, with your uh, knowledge and input. Oh, big bowl. Not quite sure if it's three. It's definitely two at the moment. I think it's he's underneath. I think he's tight. Yeah, I have to agree. And has he got the weight? Didn't have the weight. Again, yeah. everything to reach. Yes, and he's short. Yeah, Don't be short when you're not in. You know, if can play over yard, chop and yeah. slice the white. He's got Freddie. He gets it square. He stays. Uh, it's only the one. People hear it a lot in the commentary. I, I just call it. You, you've got to give yourself the percentage. That's the percentage right. bowl was yeah. just to reach. Well, you don't always have to be bang on target, yeah. do you? There's, no. like you say, a little chip here, yeah. chip there. It's, uh, just need to just be a little bit more confident, a bit more yeah. positive, get up to this head. Yeah. That's it. That's what bowls is all about for, for a young up-and-coming bowler or new bowler. Yeah. Look at your percentages, you know, you've got low percentage, high percentage. Yep. Yeah. Like, like the same golf, you know, if you're put, putting for a major and you drop it a foot short, yeah. You never get that chance again. Always be two foot through the head or two foot past the hole. Ah, the uh, the uh, Wayne Plummer Roberts and uh, Adam and A. Salmon. Uh, Adam and is 4 0 up for the Goodwood crowd that are watching at home. So a nice start in the second set. And Kevin is really starting to put, really starting to turn the screws, open up with another good one. will be a good test of uh, Fred's skill level here. Because Kevin is a top bowler in Western Province. He took a bit of a sabbatical um, last year because he, he had his, his wife had their first child. And he's come back and he's come back with a vengeance. <coughs> yeah, it's great. It's great to see. You know, Fred said in the uh, pre-match interview that he's only been playing five years and all of a sudden he's in the semi-final of a right, you know, world qualifier. <laughs> a world qualifier. Yeah. A bunch of world. Uh, world qualifier. Yeah. yeah. So, it's, it could be a daunting, but yeah, I thought he settled quite well in the first set, but I think Kevin is now really starting to show his class. <laughs> All on weight here. Yeah, it's not far away, you know. Yeah. He's played a good one here. Yeah. Played a stormer. Yeah, well played. Well yeah. played. Yeah. Yeah. Cracking. And I think um, earlier in the week, I, I think yourself and Jerry were talking about it. You know how important the lead is in, in the two wood format. Massive. And um, yeah, as you can see, uh, Kevin got better. How the game turned. Yep. Let's see what Pete does here. I'm, I'm hoping for him to be reaching. I don't want him to be tentative. Just looking for a connection on the shot bowl, isn't yeah. it? Somehow, I mean, you can just looking outside the window. You can nearly sit that black bowl, and if you fall flat. You can nearly get the shot there. Yes. There's a, a gap of around an inch and a half between the yep. shot ball and the jack. And he's playing his backhand, so I think he's, yep. he's positive on the draw. Little touch and wiggle round. Just get it on a good line. Oh, he has put it on a good line. Now it's all on weight. 
Maar hij is een beetje too... A bit nippy. Ja, yeah. yeah, a bit too uh, aggressive. Well, it creates another shot on the other hand if he likes. Crack an egg. Stoffel wants to get there first just to arrive to uh, Kevin's bowl. Yeah. Push it away and sit right behind the jack. That would almost kill it. And drop off maybe something like this if he can bend. If he can bend. Oh, right. Looks like it's two. Does that create a little enough for Pete? He's staying on his back end. Yep. Playing for the, the corner's a good angle now. Yeah, half ball. Yeah. It gets both, yeah. With that same type of weight, just tighten it up. Kevin likes it. Can he drop? Oh, he's, he's close here. Oh, he's. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, there we go. There's that. Uh, yeah, he's just trying to be too neat again. Mm. <coughs> is it one or is it two? Mm. Stoffel's just got to play something very, very similar, hasn't he? Yeah, you know. Just falls off his, if he's a bit wide, falls he's in. Yeah. yeah. Just arrive with six or seven yeah. inches of pace. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Oh, I think me and you'll make a good pair. Yeah, we'll enter next year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> play a similar game. Well, Stoffel. He looks a bit tight to me. Mm. Gently, gently. Oh, yeah. good effort. Yeah, I like that weight he played with. Good positive draw. That's a good score for them. Gets them the change of length. Keeps them in the set at 2 1 after three ends. That was a good tight head. That's what we like to see. Question's been asked. Yep. So that's the first end they've won in six ends. There's a nice shot of the trophies that they'll be playing for. Yeah, they're beautiful, the trophies. Yeah. Who designed them? Do you know? I'm not sure, not sure. Maybe we must ask Argy. Get yeah, him in and have, a have a chat to him a bit later. Yeah, it's the beautiful them, aren't yeah. they? You can just see there. The singles is the trophy to the left, the pairs to the right. Okay. See who's filling that with champagne later. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I think Fred. Uh, uh, looks a bit tight with this one. He'll be disappointed because his weight is spot on. Yeah, he's left the door open for Kevin. I don't think Kevin will, will be too far away. He's in the zone, he's focused. Yeah, he seems on a pretty good line. Yeah, there we go. He's taking advantage. Fred letting him in. Update on the scores on the uh, the other rink there. They've just finished playing the fourth end. Herman and Lydia are six one ahead after four ends. They lost the first set, so they got off to the start that they wanted. Oh, great! Well, good response from Fred. Both players just just playing slightly inside the line. I wonder. <coughs> I haven't seen many wide ones. Oh, well played, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. well played, yeah. sir. Right. Put on the right line, good weight. Yeah. And result is a front toucher. Yeah, looks like the people are starting to falter in. I think, uh, I think the crowd will start picking up just after 10, uh, after church. Yeah, and they're a fair crowd. Obviously, everyone has their own favourites, you know, who they want to win, but yeah. they're a very, very fair crowd here. I love that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, they, I think they appreciate and applaud good bowls all round, irrespective yeah. of who they support in. Quite a few ales were dropped last night, so I think they're a bit of the younger crowd. Like I said, will come in after 10 when they wake <laughs> up. <laughs> yes, we had a Neil Diamond yeah. tribute on last night. Excellent. Yeah. It's good to see a bowling club buzzing like that. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was really buzzing. Yeah. It was a good atmosphere, people enjoying themselves. Uh, well, stuff all nice, positive draw, just slipping past. Pete going to his backhand. Maybe I was going to try to sit Fred's 
second yeah. shot. Yeah. So he's gonna do it. Yeah. Kevin likes it, and he's done it. Well played. Okay, so if I'd go on the forehand of Stoffel, look for a little crack of egg. If I'm inside, I drop onto the second shot. But he's staying on the backhand. Yeah, it's, it's almost a similar result, isn't it, on the backhand? Yeah. You know, but, uh, your margins are missing. Oh, How quick is it? the weight. You only had drawing weight. Where was the two foot? Well, the nine two. Mm. I'd oh. go again. I'd go again, yeah. Yes, because I just beat mine wide. Yeah. Yes, and he is. He knows the weight, knows the line. I don't think he doesn't want to do is sit the gap, I guess. Yeah, or be narrow and heavy and splash the white out. No, he's good here. Season campaigner, you can see it. Oh, well played, sir. Brilliant. Oh, good he had his best. That's a, that's, that's a classy three. <coughs> yeah, taking command of that, of that second set. Must be, what's it, 7 1? After. Five, it's five, one, five, one after, five, one. after four, yeah. Yeah, they started to take command of the set and also command of the game. Really enjoying how Kevin's uh, setting up for Pete. Yeah, just a quick once again, thank you to the sponsors of this uh, PBA South Africa Qualifiers Fair Treat. They've been absolutely marvellous throughout. A lot of staff here, which is nice to see. Also got Drake's Pride, which is a, uh, an English-based company in Liverpool. They're the second responses, and we've also got Devil's Peak, uh, which is a brewery. We've had uh, Savensburg Wines from Tulbach. We've had Cape Foods, KBAC Flooring, Format Printing. It's just been fabulous. It's, it's all those little things and bits of money or bits of skill, like the printing that's been done. Everything comes together, and it's been absolutely superb. So you know what? I hope they've enjoyed it themselves, getting involved with us, and let's hope they uh, they stay supporting PBA South Africa for years to come. Yeah, and, and and we need the you know we need to support them as well, you know. Correct. And, it's two-way uh, street. Two-way, hundred percent. Yeah, and and like it has been a phenomenal tournament so far. Yeah, it's been great. I think everything's just ticked over, and like you said, every every everybody's just put a, a piece of the puzzle together, and that's what makes it such a great success. Yep. Kevin, Kevin opened up with another good one. Um, Fred just just going through. Uh, Kevin hasn't wasted many woods this set. I must be quite honest. He's always been in the area, and again he's put another one close. But you know, this is the whole idea of the PBA. You get a, you get like a gentleman like uh, Fred Fred Witter, who's been playing for five years. Now he'll take this back home as a memory, take it back to his friends, and say, "Just you know, this was brilliant, unbelievable. This is what bowls is all about." Correct, it certainly is. Yeah. You know, and then and once you go then to Potter's Leisure Resort, you know, then it's it's up another level because then you realise what what professional bowls is all about. Yep. Kevin calling it home. Has he, Come got, on. has he got the last foot? Has he? Oh, great effort. Yeah, crowd loving it. Yeah, great effort. Fred having a good look. Hmm, let's see. Let's see what he says. He's speaking off Afrikaans and he's saying that the shot is down for you, Jace. Is that what he said? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for that. I see you've been learning a bit of Afrikaans. A little bit. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. You've heard by Danke in Huyamora. Yeah. In the vein is lekker. <laughs> the wine is good. <laughs> lekker. Lekker. So let's see what Stoffel's going to do. Um, <coughs> he's got wide. What would you do here if you were Peter? Would you be playing? Oh, what a great effort. If I'm lying, if I'm lying shot, I'd, I'd do nothing. I'd shove it up my jumper. Okay. But if I'm not lying shot, I'd just arrive into the split. 
when she asked us say Peach lied, but wouldn't you be drawing trying to lift his on to the wife? Just thinking five, five one up, guaranteed six one up. Yeah. With an end yeah. gone. And Pete's asking quite an intelligent question. He's got he's got the backward. Yeah. Well, maybe, just keep your hand free, Paul. Maybe cover the spot, yes. Like yeah, they've agreed. I think he's going to put it backward. Yeah, this is the beauty of sets now, because now Stoffel has to right. chase it a little bit. <coughs> I don't know why Pete's gone that side of the green. I would have maybe gone on my backhand. I maybe finished. Um, in between what and green? What, how, do you, how do you English guys say it? We play a little push on the greenwood to jump the jack out here for two or three. Yeah. He gets the split, he gets the shot, comes back. Nothing, I think, think I'll be playing with at least two yards on Stoffel's backhand. But again, you mean there's a there's a ball. You don't be too neat. No, we are playing. You've got to be, you know, you've got to be at least a yard. No, no, two yards. Yeah, two yards, yeah, yeah, two, yard yards, two three yards. Nice little chopping line, keeping it on the tight line. I'll be playing the back end. Adamon <laughs> played a good one, as you can hear by the reaction of the crowd. And Stoffel is oh, cool. You know, Stoffel slow hand Luke. You know, takes his time. <laughs> Nothing very fussed about him. Oh, he's yeah. And your shot. Yeah. Yeah, play oh. that. Oh. Man, he's gone wide. Don't like it. I think that was a bit of an opportunity. I like the weight he played it with. Yeah. Looks like the weather's uh, starting to turn a little bit. <coughs> Clouds are coming over. Wind is blowing a bit uh, in the northerly direction, which means a bit of a cold front coming in. And that might have a, a factor later on in the finals. Oh, look, at, look at Kev. Oh, he's really pepping the white. A quick cheeky look at the weather report. Rain isn't due, but uh, you never know with the weather. It's yeah. uh, partly cloudy and expected till 12 o'clock, it says. So, uh, okay. a high, high of 19. So. Yeah. Okay, turn weather. <laughs> Changes quickly, yeah. Yeah, it does, yeah. And, and not much wind, you know, four knots, four kilometres. Yeah. So, it's going to stay pleasant, but you never know, like I said, it gets quite a bit chillier. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Around. Well, yeah. Yeah. Peter and Kev. Uh, if I was Kevin, I wouldn't be short. Yeah. Two foot figure. Yeah. 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 yeah, there, there we said it. And he's played it well. Well played, Kev. Really up to his game. Yeah, yeah. certainly has. Yeah. Yeah, he's a big, big support for Peter. And Peter's come to the party. He's played the right shots at the right time. Uh, let's have a quick look out the window for you, Jill, asking for the score. Lydia and Herman are 6 4 up after five. Uh, six, after six. Uh, no, after five ends. Six ends. Six ends. Six yeah. ends, yeah. And at 6 4, and Roger Bull has just put a back and front toucher, so. Looking good. <coughs> I'm gonna have to play a good one. Keep you updated on the scores. Just don't know how it's. I don't know how it's six ends when you played in that direction. Can't, poss yeah, can't possibly six ends when you played in this direction. direction yeah. Yeah. 
five or six days away, yeah. six or. And Fred has just been short of that second. Yeah. Again, nice. Uh, Pete's got the head in his favour. Line shot would come in. I'd be, I'd be playing to turn it or trail the white around the corner. Kevin's calling it home. Let's have a look. Oh, his weight's good here. He's good here. Yeah. yeah. But I think Stoffer versus Skipper, this set is really defended. He's, he hasn't gone down off and line the shot, so he's always had to conjure something up, which is not always easy. Yeah, good effort. Yeah, Pete's called a good shot and Kevin, Kevin agrees. It's uh, on the on uh, as you go in the indoors, you you've got a uh, a, a shot clock, huh? Uh, at the world, yes, yes. yeah, yeah. For the world, yeah. And the reason for that, just to try to speed up game, is it for television? Uh, well, yeah, it was brought in. Um, I mean, when it was originally brought in, there's a, a few few players on the the, the tour that were um, quite slow. There's, there's one in particular that uh, used to take a long, long time, yeah. and it's just not broadcastable. You know, yeah. people. Uh, we call it dead air time. Yes. You know, that's their way of playing. That's fair yeah. enough. But uh, broadcast wise, um, it needs to be exciting. It yeah. needs to be quick. Uh, so we yeah. brought the shot clock in. Yeah. The, the, the players adapt to it quite quickly. Yeah. You look at any of the the top sixteen that we have. You know, the, the, unless it's a an important shot, or very very close. Most deliveries are away within six or seven seconds. That's right. Yeah. And it just keeps it flowing. Yeah. You know, it really really does. Uh, in a way, when you look at it, the, the, the other side to it is people see it as maybe forcing a player to rush. Not necessarily. Not, I only think the thing that te is taken away is maybe in the old, I say the olden days, I'm not that old, but when I used to watch people like John Price, and people yep. like Ian Shubat, yep. they'd almost have a flirt with the crowd. Yes. You know, as they're yep. walking down, you yep. know, have a chat with the crowd, get the crowd. So maybe. A little bit of personality is lacking yeah. because of that, yeah. maybe. Yeah. You still got the personalities. Nick Brett, for example, great personality yeah. on the green. <laughs> and uh, Greg Harlow, he's again, he, he's yeah. a very good, he's a good, good character. Yeah, yeah. We were myself and Alan were speaking about you know we you know in tennis you got Nick Kyrgios who's an absolute <laughs> entertainer and uh, you know um, you know we need somebody like that. Yeah. Yeah, very emotional, very yeah. animated, but it, it makes great viewing. Yeah, it brings the crowds in, yeah. It makes great viewing, whether you like him or not, yeah. it's oh, great like viewing. Love him or Mac, hate him. Mac and Rose started it, didn't he, really? That's right, yeah. Sh showing his colours, you know, showing his, his heart on his sleeve, that's what yeah. he has, so oh, it's, you know, he draws it, yeah, no, he holds it. I'm not quite sure about smashing your rackets up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I fancy throwing a ball across <laughs> the green. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As a, as a young kid, I used to play a lot of crown green. Oh, yes. And the, yeah. the mat on a crown green yeah. is very small. It's a circular. Yes, that's right. It's the, probably the size of a, like a, a side plate. Yes. And I remember, I was about 10 or 11, get, gets to a final, loses in the final by one. And you, you normally spin it like a disc, like yes. a, a frisbee. So you normally spin it back to where you start. And I was that annoyed. I span it that hard. It took off like a frisbee and went over people's head and went and landed in somebody's garden. <laughs> <laughs> I had to go and knock on the door, door and get the mat back. And, and then get a suspension for unruly behaviour. The wind just got older already. It literally, it must have gone 50 foot in the air. Yeah. <laughs> just, watch, just watch this. There might be a couple of things coming through here. There is, I, yeah. There's jo that's Johnny on a good day, apparently. Yeah, so it was just yeah, like, and, yeah. I, and as a youngster, I was like that as a, on, on a good day. My hats were going flying and mats were going over the walls. Uh, yeah. Can see you on laughing yeah, yeah. behind us. He's put here like, yeah. Gareth Stewart. Nick doesn't have a patch on him. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just those things. I've, it's um, on end six in the second set, and, and Kevin has just had a loose end. That shows you how well he's been playing. So it's he's, it's over to Peter. Can Peter just consolidate? You know, fix it up. I'm sure he will. Well, the pairs game is six six all Come after on. seven or six peels or whatever you want to call it after seven. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. And there Peter is really playing well. 
Yeah, interestingly, that game there with uh, Lillian Herman and Roger Bull and uh, Wayne Plummer Roberts, six all, and Roger Bull has nailed it. Front toucher, so it looks like they could be taking a one shot lead going into the last end if if Herman doesn't do anything. So we'll keep it, we'll keep the Port Natal crowd updated there. And stop for yeah. yeah. we'll the Great ball. Great ball. Great ball. Oh, just be Pete, just be drawing. Drop one, yeah, it's fine, you know, six, eight, two after seven, you're looking good. Don't have to chase. <laughs> I mean, if Peter and Kevin score here, that's the game up, game done. Yes, that's game right. over, yeah, because yeah, they right. can't, they can't, yeah. uh, they can't yeah. win. Oh, they can, and you know, it, it likes one down is nothing. Yeah, this, uh, one down is absolutely destroy. And yeah. and Pete's really come to come to his front, his own. Uh, ooh, that's interesting. Uh, well, I think he's on a fair line, eh? Just underneath, is he? I think the weight's going to cost him yet. His weight was good. I got three seconds. Well, this is one of the ends where there's a, a bit of danger, but Stoffel has to play the ball. It's what you know, he has to make it a double. Yeah, he has to make a double. He has to beat Pete on the wide. Yeah, Pete Redwood, that getting two. Like I said eight three. I'm still under pressure. <coughs> Just uh, on the. Uh, Wayne Roberts, Roger Bull, Lydia Moritz, Herman A. Simon. Wayne and Roger have taken the lead at the right time. 8 6 up, playing the last. Won the first set, so they can. It's going to be difficult to get a free. The way our Roger's been playing, he's really been playing well. Come on, Stoffel. Mate, come on, show us your drawing ability. Won the senior SA Masters last year, so he can draw. And uh, he's under it, and he's got no weight. Okay. So, six adrift, I need to score seven in two ends. Yeah, that's difficult. Big ask. Yeah, the way they're playing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the way how Kevin's been playing, he's, yeah. he's, he's really upped his game. He's, I've been very impressed with him, as I always am. That's a good uh, shot of the sponsor there, Fairtree. Interesting, I think you've noticed that arrow is quite prominent amongst the top bowlers. And on this ring, there's not one arrow bowl. Sorry, Jerry, giving you a bit of a <laughs> interesting one there, because I know you like to promote. <laughs> and we're grateful to the sponsorship of uh, Drake's Pride. So. You didn't even try and sell me a set. <laughs> <laughs> Did Fred lose the whites again? Yeah, the third yeah, time, yeah. Dropped it short. And I think that's been also a bit of a Achilles heel for Fred and Stoffel, not, not playing to their consistent length by losing the white regularly. <laughs> Fred's opened up. Yeah, great start. Yeah. Great start, yeah. Stuck to the end, he's played it really well. If he misses that, he'll be close. Nope, he's got him solid. Okay, his weight was good. If I was Fred, yeah, I, wouldn't, I would be playing to turn that wood or just trailing the white two foot to half a meter over the draw. Yeah, I mean, they need the three minimum yeah. here, don't they? Yeah, short woods won't be no good here. So, yeah, make sure that you're giving your you skip a chance. Gently, gently. 
Oh, there we go. Oh, I like that. It's the right side. Yes. Give me the chance. Yeah, I'm going to do that. There we go. That's a good fault from Kevin. All right, Stoffel. Nice little tickle on this jack. Yeah. Come on, Stoffel. Just looking at the other, the other rink there. I think Lane's lying the shot. Got a bowl left each to play. It's lying on ring two. It's going to be difficult for Hanuman to get a free. I mean, we'll keep you updated. Might give you a bit of ball by ball as they do in cricket. Well, Wayne's gone to cover there. Yeah. He's gone to protect those those back positions. So yeah. 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 Stuffle. Uh, Freddie's Don't jumping up short, and down. Don't no. can't be short yet. And is not a good shot from Stuffle. He's really struggled with his weight this morning. Only a very consistent player, always in the area. Uh, Kev likes. Like Pete, that's another good second. Stoffel has to troll the white to keep the game alive, is that right, yes? Yep. The trouble is his own ball's almost blocked yep. him out. And, uh, I think, ooh, why is he playing that side? Is he going to get to the white there? He has to get, he has to get a, at least a... Yeah. A three. Playing the wrong shot, shot here. Yeah. He has to get a three and he's missed it. And that Game is over. That's your first finalist. Well done, Kevin and Peter. I think uh, Kevin was very consistent, set it up was a slow start. So well played. Yeah, it was a really good game there, yeah. you know. Stoffel and Fred. They they came out of the blocks quick yeah. in the first set. You know, there was yeah. a little bit of scratching going on, but it was that yeah. fabulous conversion shot yeah. of uh, Peter that made that three, got them back into it, and then it was Almost one-sided in a way, so we're just quickly looking at the other. Herman's got one ball in his hand, needs to make a three. So there's one down at the moment. I think if he sticks the white in the box to the left, he can get the three. He's I playing think. it. Is it? And what's happening? Wide. That is wide. Oh, he's narrow. Yeah. Wide. Yeah. Well played, Wayne Roberts and Roger Bull from Port Natal. Should be a cracking final. Yep. So uh, we're just going to join you with the players very, very shortly. Alan Lofthouse is in position. We're going to be back with you, uh, well, very soon actually, <laughs> in about 15 minutes' time probably, by the time the players have had a trial end. We're going to go to one of the World Singles uh, semi-finals. It's going to be Wayne Roberts against Nixa Ben -Gurik.
Right, we've come to the end of the uh, the TV rink semi-final, and uh, standing with me are the successful pair, Peter Harvey and uh, Kevin Douglas. Well played, boys. Um, I think I know exactly where the game turned. Um, let's see if you agree with me. So it was a tough first set, oh, very tough first set. Uh, we were struggling a little on the length. Uh, we changed it up slightly, got back into the game, and um, had a, a good result to get that three. A little bit of a feather onto the ball, turned it through, and I think that was that was a big turning point. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's the way I saw it. Also, must have been your call, Kev. <laughs> no, it was definitely my call, Al, for sure. Well played, eh? Thank yeah. you. Eh? Congratulations, yeah. guys, and all the very best in the final. Thank you, Al. Keep it going. Appreciate Great it. Super Bowl. Ah, thanks, Thank Al. You. Joining me now, the winners from the other semi-final, not on the TV rink, but they weren't too far away. I, what I saw there, Roger, you seemed to set it up for Wayne. Yeah, Alan, um, we did stumble a bit in the second set, but uh, we clawed our way back. Um, maybe got a nice little wick, a rub off uh, my front short ball, and it changed it a bit. Yeah, and uh, Wayne had to play some crackers. Like he normally does, so yeah, well done to him. Yeah. Wayne, as we said up front, form player at the moment, and uh, you certainly seem to produce the goods on that. What did that ring play like? Not bad. Uh, a few patches there, but uh, it finished nicely in the end, and like, like Roger said, he, he started well there. And um, yeah, it helped me. It took a lot of pressure off of me as well, so it's good. How much do you actually know about your opponents for the final? Not much, bar um, the lead. Uh, Douglas, he he played well against me in the in the singles in the same rink, so yeah, we'll see how it goes in the final later. Well, I, both games, both winners played exceptional bowls, and I think we can look forward to a tremendous final a little bit later on. I know Wayne, you've got the singles; that should be an absolute cracker. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> well, then that's between Wayne and Nick Sabingurik. Roger, well played, mate, and Thank good luck in much. the final to both of you. Thanks very much.
On two, on two, on two. Well, a very good morning, everybody. Welcome back here to the Fair Tree Qualifiers for the World Indoor Bowls Championships. We're live from the Durbanville Bowling Club. We've got a great crowd here, and we've got two cracking games ahead. We're back to the World Singles now, and we're into the semi-final stages, and we're going to start off with rink number two. They are two really good players on top class form. So please welcome to the green, first of all, Warren Stain and also Jason Evans. Just join us guys here. I feel small all of a sudden. <laughs> First of all, uh, Warren, that's one step closer to a dream maybe. Absolutely, yeah. This is what I'm playing for, that little bit of international experience. And what would it mean for, for someone like yourself, you know, representing South Africa, probably at uh, one of the biggest stages there is in bowls? Uh, you couldn't ask for more, really. I mean, uh, yeah, like you said, it's uh, one of the biggest things you could do. Um, and for me to get there would be an absolute dream come true, so thank you, yeah. Uh, now to you, Jason. Well, you don't need any introductions. You know, you've played the game on, it's quite fair to say, you know, you're the top level. Um, how is this all going for you here, how this, this new f format of the PBA in South Africa? Um, thanks, Jason. I think it's uh, superb, to be honest, what Durbanville and uh, the committee and the guys have done here. It's probably the best tournament and well-organised tournament I've ever been to. Um, certainly in South Africa, so you know you got to put your hands together for what they've done and they've achieved here. I think it's absolutely superb, and even bringing out you to to add commentary um, with your experience, I think has just been fantastic. So well done to the committee and to Johan and his team and everybody on Fair Tree as well. Superb. That's very kind of you, and uh, good luck, guys. Cheers. May the best player win on the day. Good luck. And now we're going to turn our minds now to the TV rink for the game that we're going to be following in the commentary box. Please welcome to the green, it's uh, Wayne Roberts and Nixa Benjurik. I definitely feel small now. <laughs> I'm going to come to you first then, Wayne. A uh, busy man today, yeah? Yes, very busy and very tired. So as, as a top-class player, how, how do you combat that? You know, What are the kind of tactics you do being on your feet all the time? Just warming up, really. Warming up and trying to stay calm, drinking lots of fluid, and basically that's, that's it. And obviously, you know, your opponent here is no stranger to you, you know. It's, how do you think the game's going? Have you got a good record against each other? Or? We've only played against each other once in the Masters this year, and he pipped me on, <laughs> uh, on the tiebreaker. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Uh, so, on to you then, Nick. Uh, come over here, let's have a chat. I've, I've been warned and told you've won the Victor Ladorum Trophy. That's uh, winning the most competitions, I believe, in your province. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's true. There was a prize given actually yesterday that I missed uh, for this specific tournament. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm happy and chuffed about that, yeah. So, obviously, you're the current Masters champion as well. So, is it fair to say you're almost a man in form? Um, I've been playing some good bowls of late. Um, so, too, as Wayne. So, I'm looking forward to the game this afternoon. Yeah. Well, both of you, good luck. I'm sure the crowd are going to enjoy this one. We're going to throw it back to the uh, the commentary box, which is uh, Nick Rustling and also Alan Lofthouse. Uh, good morning to all our streaming watchers. Uh, yeah, weather's coming in from Dermaville, a bit overcast, but we've got two cracking semi-finals, all, all four players in top form. And I've got the voice of Bolsa Africa on my right, very gentle Alan Lofthouse, your thoughts on, to, on this morning's games? Well, Nick, this to me, you know, now that you get down to the business end, uh, this should be a fantastic game and I just hope that uh, people are joining us out there to watch it because I, I'm certain you guaranteed an unbelievably brilliant game of bowls. And even on the, uh, the other rink, on rink two, uh, two boys from the JBA, they know each other well. Uh, both involved uh, with the open side or JBA, so yeah, another great game. Uh, and we'll keep you informed, even though that's not on camera. We'll keep you updated on that game. Yeah. Um, like you know, as they said in the in the pre-match interview, both players are on form. Um, 
you know, Nixa being the current um, Masters, South African Masters champion. Wayne Roberts is the current African States champion. You know, he won that game away. Very impressive performance there. Um, beating the Nubian boy is, you know, that's decent competition. 21-2. And, and he's really performed well. He's in the final of the pairs. Playing with Roger Bull. So, yeah. But he's uh, opened up a bit nervy here. A um, couple of loose ones from him. Yeah. Uncharacteristically. Yeah, I think we've, uh, we've noticed, uh, even in this morning's game that was televised, uh, the pairs game. Uh, took the eventual winners there, Peter Harvey and, and Kevin Douglas, a little time to settle. So um, I'm, I'm sure it won't be long before these guys find their length and uh, and get it closer than they've got it at the moment. I think what will decide the first set here is the one who settles the quickest yep. on his length, on his hand, because uh, they're both started on opposite sides. Bit of a touch there from Wayne. I still think he's down. Yep, still yep. down. Yep. So whoever settles quick, I think, will, will, will command. Uh, interestingly, Nick's a change in his hand. we we'll have a little trundle down the green to have a look. It's, uh, could be another two, yeah. So they've met each other once and Nick's came out on top in a tiebreaker. So there you go. That sets it up nicely. And that... Was, and that Strange oh, enough, was, this okay. year, was the Masters. Oh, Wayne going out of character. And, and he's got, got a great result. result yeah. Yeah, he's giving, him, giving Nick yeah, some two metres to draw. To draw, yeah. He won't be, he'll be, you know, getting within the range. I like that little tactic from Wayne, you know. Uh, woke up the crowd. Yeah, settled the nerves, I yeah. think. Yes. The crowd is starting to fill in nicely. What's also nice to see is the players that participated in the tournament have come to watch, so that's great. I can understand a couple of the players have uh, gone back home who have had to travel, so that's understandable. But it's nice to see Colleen Webb. Uh, Pick a thing. Yeah, co sorry, Colleen Pick a thing. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. Um, you Eugene. must know, remember Clive. Yeah, oh. well, Clive is a all time great. And Eugene, Eugene Ferrer is here. So quite a few of the players here have come to watch, which is great. And has Nixa drawn it? Can't see from our cam camera angle. Maybe widen out a little bit. Ooh, they're like in red. So, yeah. Um, look, one to red. Yeah. There, there's, a, you know, our, looking at that head, and again, you know, we have a lot of uh, aspiring bowlers watching on, on YouTube. You know, you don't have to draw to the edge of the of the ditch to get the shot. No. All you have to do is just beat the nearest wood. He had two meters to draw, and he, and he, he did it. And he got in one meter, yeah. one and a half meters, which is good enough. Yeah. And first end of the you know the game, I'm yeah. sure a few ends uh, into the game, he would have maybe drawn it a little bit closer. Yeah. But as you say, he didn't have to. You yeah. know, he, he did enough. And the nice thing, he's got the shot now. He can play his length, he can settle down. Maximum. Yeah. He's gone T to T. T to T, yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, so, um, Nix is going to the World Championship, so this is a good, I think, confidence boost for him. Uh, uh, great opener with Jason. Yeah. Great opener. Yeah. Yeah. Asking the questions. Of Just confirm with me, looks like on the rink next door, Warren got off to. Two shots on the first end by the looks of it. Yeah, so would have settled in down here. He must be nervous playing South Africa's number one. Oh, and a good response good from try. Yeah, good response from Wayne. Good wait, good wait. You yeah. don't want to be short in. Yeah. And somebody's left it uh, yeah, a like, bit of a target. Like I say, I'm, uh, I'm expecting a clash of the titles, mate. I'm expecting a high quality game. Yeah. This will be a good advertisement for South African bowls, and Nixa has drawn one. another great shot. Oh. He certainly hit his straps early, yeah. as they say. Yeah, he settled nicely. Must be used to playing in front of crowds like this. Mm. Yeah, that can be quite uh, daunting. Yeah. I always, uh, always feel that these players perform better at this level. They like the crowd. I mean, they enjoy that that uh, the support yeah. and uh, yeah, they feed off the energy. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, and they can engage with the crowd a little bit. I love engaging with the crowd. You know, have a little matter, have a little chat. Oh, that's a bit of a negative yeah. shot, you know. I thought maybe change hands, get to the get to the back bowl. 
I don't think Wayne will be short. He's shown his intention early with a, a jack in the box in the first end. I'm surprised he won't, he's not playing maybe something similar. Hey, that uh, bend back, that hand hasn't changed. Yeah, that hasn't. Yeah. That hasn't. Yeah. That's right, it teases you. You go inside, you drop away, you just add and you hang. So maybe take the line out of play. He's got mm. two, two seconds. I would think that Nick's uh, wouldn't want to go too close to this head. It's a small target. He'll more than likely play a positional ball. Yeah, I'll play the ditch hand and get, yeah. to, get to that sideward there. The side if you slip inside, you know, you, you're covering his three. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he's doing. Yeah, he's well, we've, he's read the, read the head pretty well. Yeah, Dermaville starting to pack him in again, so that's good. Oh, he's played a good one. I like the shot. Yeah, he split those three well played. Oh. I wonder if Wayne will go a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me, but it doesn't look like it. No, no he's stuck to the same weight by the exit. Uh, he's reaching. Yeah, he's reaching. He's got good weight. Can he drop? Nope. And just teases you. Yeah. Played with a nice yeah. Two to the next set. Two, yeah. Off to a nice start, 3 0. Mixing it up, oh, he's brought it up ever so slightly, so he's not settling on a on a consistent weight. He's moving the white that mat around. You know, it's quite interesting listening to, to, to Wayne Roberts in the pre match to say, you know, that he's tired. You know, uh, we, you know, us bowlers, or us up and coming bowlers, don't realise how important fitness really is. You know, especially the amount that he's been playing. You know, you've got to, you've got to stay fit. You know, fit body, fit mind. Yeah. Quite interesting. I've noticed that Nix is playing around the clock. He's staying on his back end. Yeah, hasn't opened up with a good order. Not good. Not, Not good. good. Yeah. So you know, when you were playing at that level, Al, how did you keep fit? Played a lot of bowls, practiced a hell of a lot. Um, now I think there's a thing in our day when it was bowls fit. You know, I think it was I was never once I stopped playing my soccer and my baseball. Uh, I obviously tended to uh, tend to put a bit of weight on. Um, but when I was playing at the at the international level, I think I was still I was still okay. Yeah. Uh, let it slip a little bit. Yeah. Um, those that have seen me on TV will verify that, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it was interesting. I, I was actually quite surprised to hear that Wayne said he was tired. Uh, but he has been involved. I mean, he's playing. He's played in the semi-final, which he won this morning. Yeah. So he will be invo involved in the next game. Yeah. It's a little bit better for me. Yeah. Better weight. Well, you know, let's be fair. He's played every session. Mm. That's right. You know that he's that he's had to play. So uh, yeah, you can feel a bit of fatigue. Uh, myself, you know, I, I did a lot of gym work to keep fit. You know, to 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 stay at a at a at a, at a decent yeah. level. Mm. Still do not as much. You know, so. It's just quite interesting. I know, I know for a fact that Nixa, he, he keeps fit. Um, you know, he does his things, um, and also just from the mental yeah. side, he, you know, nothing wrong. He's he's gone to a sports psychologist to help him on the mental side. That's also a very important aspect of the game. Yeah. Wayne yeah. just sliding through of his third. It's line the one. Sure, Nixa will try and just move that jack on the draw. Yeah. Just draw shot, and if you happen to move the white, it's a bonus. It's a bonus. Yeah. yeah. And if he's slightly wide, he can mm -hmm. sit off the wood. So I doubt he will be narrow. There we go. Nice. Looks like a fair track. track yeah. yeah. And his weight's not bad at all. Yeah, as you Oh my. Well, he's going to get the shot. As you said, Al. Yeah. You know, if he touches white, don't know make sure he's full. He's 3 0 up. And to asking the questions of Wayne, Wayne hasn't really responded in the most positive format. Um, let's see. Well, he's staying on that end yeah. for him. Yeah. He's got a draw inch perfect, yeah. yeah. It just falls off his. I think he will get yeah. shot. <clears throat> he looks on a fair sorry, line. Sorry. Uh, Dixer's in the way. I think he's a tad wide. Yeah. Yep, tad wide with good weight. Yeah. 
Good way. Well, Wayne hasn't uh, got off the mark yet, yeah. so yeah. you better you better do something very quickly. Well, change that. But in the pairs, they were six 0 down in the second set and, and turned it round to a, to a win. So maybe he's like me, a slow starter. Yeah. Nick is maybe one of those that's a fussed out the blocks and then consolidates the heads. As we get closer to what you need to, to do in this format yeah. also. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love you do form. get a second chance, do you? Don't you? you? Do, I mean, you yeah, it's what is. Now the format's tremendous, especially for uh, for watching on TV. Yeah. yeah. Or I mean, on your phone, your mobile. Yeah. It's and I mean, look to watch. And, and it, I think uh, proof is in the pudding here yeah, is that the crowd has come out to watch. You know, it's a good few few people watching. You know, Demo, but I've got a lot of new bowlers, so I'm sure they really enjoying this experience. So yeah. Jason Evans is 3-1 down after free against uh, Warren Stein. So he's opened his account. Next, so just trundling through a metre. And uh, and that's where I, uh, just uh, early early salvos out there is that uh, Wayne hasn't settled on his first wood. He's, yeah. he's been a bit tentative of the first wood where Nixa has generally made the first wood count. He's got to get the white here or he's, he's heavy. Yeah. And what has surprised me, and you know, we in our fourth day at the moment, and yeah. obviously every every game has been on this rink. Um, what has surprised me is that they've always opted to play this side of the green, yes. uh, which you know we've been quite critical. If you yeah. go a little bit wide or a little bit narrow, you've yeah. got to be on that hundred percent correct line, yeah. otherwise you don't. Uh, and yet that uh, clubhouse side, the ditch hand. Um, is, it seems to me the more reliable hand. Well, that's an that's a interesting observation because we watched Warren Stain pull the match yesterday and played the ditch and, and, and won the mm. second set comfortably. Mm. And, and he really played it well. So, yeah. Bit of ball from Nixon. Yeah. 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 You see? That's, that's always, I mean, at this level, um, it's, it's taking that chance, you know, um, yeah. getting inside your opponent's bowl all the yeah. time to put the pressure, keep turning the pressure. You yeah. know, your bowl. Your op opponent puts it a foot away, you get inside it, and yeah. it just puts the pressure right back on again. Yeah, make them play and have a good shot. And Wayne hasn't done that yet. Oh, he's responded well, yeah. yeah. And that looks like that's the shot. What does the market say? Who is our market today? It's Bob. Bob, yeah. yeah. Bob, and he says a measure. Okay. Woods level, I think Nixon won't be short, you know, again, trails are wide for two or three, so it's the wood for two. Heads in his advantage, yeah. Oh, he's got a chance when your bowler's past the white, yeah? Yeah, yeah, he's, yeah, he's got two pass, so he can be just, and he doesn't have to play a crazy weight, so he doesn't have to lose his weight. Just plays nice trundling weight down there. There we go. Oh, I think he's tight, Al. What do you think? That hand holds, so look at this. Oh, look at this. Yes, he's got it. Oh, oh, my oh, my oh, my what a good so shot. Standing. And the crowd appreciate oh. that shot. That was a good shot. Oh. There are, I mean, Nick, Nick, exactly as I was saying, you know, it's very difficult to call that hand. Yeah. You think it was narrow and yeah. it just holds oh. uh, that little bit of extra weight. And that's what you need to do yeah. to get it to hold. As soon as you play over a meter, yeah. Uh, if you go a fraction wide, it, it won't come back. He played it to perfection. Sure. And I mean, you know, he's he's four nil up. Uh, you know, you think Wayne might run this? I don't think so. I don't think he'll be sure, but I don't think mm. running because he's really he got two bowls within inches. Eh? Yeah. I think he'll be playing it with a yard, sit sit the wood. Good call. Yeah, playing it with a yard, sit the wood, trail the wide into the ditch with good weight. Um, has he got the weight? Has he got the weight? Has he got the weight? Ah, negative shot, negative draw. It's a two. It's, uh, yeah, Nix has definitely, definitely taken the ascendancy in the first set. Yeah, still early doors. Yeah, even though even though Wayne was was short on that, you know, he played that hand for the first time. Yeah, and he got within a couple of feet. Yeah, um, he trusted the he trusted the line. Yeah. His weight was just out, but um, once again, I keep hopping on the fact that hand to me seems like um, it's the more reliable. 
What's interesting here, I'm liking, noticing that Nick, so he's mixing up the length. Up the length of yeah. it. And, and not just subtle changes, huge Big changes. changes yeah. Yeah. So he's not letting Wayne settle. settle yeah. And he's confident yeah. in, enough in his own ability to adjust. And, yeah, and his own feeling of mm. the weight. So it shows you he's a man in form, man yeah. confident. For that, he's adjusted perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure the boys watching us, boys and girls from Pretoria, are watching and getting excited and supporting. Victor Lodorum winner, Nixa Ben Gurik. He's El oh, Nixa Ben Gurik. His dad was a very good provincial oh, player. I remember his dad. Yeah. Oh, what oh. a response from Wayne! No, that's, that's more like Wayne. That's a stunning draw. Hitting his straps now. Mm. <clears throat> Let's see what Nixa can do. Can he respond? He's close. Yeah, he's not far out, yeah. It's very close. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's, he's got a good one. Yeah, wow. Oh, that's wow. Great. Standing. Ah, three yeah. balls played, three yeah. great shots, yeah. yeah. Okay, it was worth waiting for. Well, yeah. I thought these boys would um, start sooner, but um, let's hope this is the quality that we, we are going to see for the remainder of this game. They are certainly more than capable of playing <laughs> shot for shot. Wayne well, might just be a tad wide of the right weight. And that's it. He was yeah. a tad wide. His weight was superb. Yep. <laughs> oh, Nixon walking after this one. Having a little trundle down. Let's have a look. See if he gets there. And he's drawn yeah, that's pretty good. good. Really good. I don't particularly like no. it because he's made the head no, big. He's made it bigger, but yeah. there's, there's still little holes there. Uh, I think I'm, uh, the, the form wanes in. I'm going to back him to be getting shot here. Yeah? Oh, he's, oh, having, he's, he's having, having a go. ripper. Oh, he's having a drive. Oh, well, again. Well yeah. Yeah. And it comes back to the two meter. I uh, like that tactic. I thought, I was wondering when he was going to mix it up a bit. He lies the one. And I think his balls come back onto the green. Yes. Yeah, Eli's the one. It's might be just getting a bit of frustration out. No, yeah, no, good shot. I like it. That's 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 the psyche, old. The psyche of Nix's brilliant play so far. Yeah, he's for, he's forcing Wayne to go out of his comfort zone. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think Wayne is is a is a very good drawing player, but a good hit. Okay. Well, Nix is going to the backhand, back which I don't think he's played, but. Maybe he's worried that he won't get back, you know. There's a oh. couple of woods wide of the head there, then maybe he's a bit worried that he won't get back. Is he up, Al? He's not very close here. He's given. Is that the shot? That's the shot. That's the shot. Yeah, it's given uh, Wayne uh, well, a good four and a half feet yeah. Yeah, to draw. A man of his quality should be getting close. Hello? That's it, that's rather interesting. <laughs> yeah, Should be enough. And he's adjusted it. Uh, well, what a good end from Wayne Roberts. Uh, what, what easy to adjust your weight after having a full drive at the head. So well played, Wayne. Good end from both players. <clears throat> Is that one or two? One. One. I think one. One, yeah. One, two, Wayne. Let's see what Lenfi is. He, is he going to take the match right up? Is he going to go T to T? Oh, yeah. He's no, he's going. He's, he's going, going. Going a bit more. Yeah. Going a bit more. Maybe go a little bit more. Huh? Yeah, I think just the uh, the fact that um, the match's up a good few meters, but as you say, could have taken it a couple of extra steps. Yeah, I would have. I would have gone right Almost. up to about the two, giving myself half a meter. Really mix it up because you know when you, when you take the match up, it does change your. Your length, yeah. your line, you know, yeah. throws it out because Nick has been playing to a good line. This is an important one. Get your first one close. So for you, just for you, those that are interested in the all JBA clash, uh, Warren Stain is up 4 3 on JC Evans after 5. So, yeah, that's a tight tussle. Wayne opening just over a meter pass and Nixa uh, similar. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, room for improvement on those two. Yeah. 
can almost see that hand fighting the bias. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. enough for swish up. Yeah. 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 Good line though, he's coming back Very to the good. centre point. Yeah. What you notice with both these players is how the hand, how the wood leaves the hand. It's, it's like an extension of the arm. It's yeah. so smooth. Yeah. Yeah, it's on the shot level. Just and you see that? As you talk about that hand, how uh, you know how tricky it is. You know, he's just missed, and he's he's gone away more than what you expected. Major yeah. uh, Mark not not committing. Yeah, changing his hand. That'll come back. Yeah, but he hasn't got the weight. That's the only thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, advantage, Nixa. This has to be, this has to be a tad more green. Now which he has. Yeah. Yeah. Here's the shot. Yeah. Yeah. Well played. There you go. Yeah, that's the shot. Um, and that's, you know, that's where Wayne hasn't mm -hmm. taken advantage. He had a chance there and he, and he was two yards short. So now he's back under pressure. Yeah. Maybe that just wasn't the right time to change, change. to that hand. Or he should have changed it with his from first his first one. Yes. First yeah, one. Yeah, 100%. You know, now he's uh, come back to the hand maybe a tad faster. And he's just sailed through ever so slightly. I think we've maybe got to take into consideration for Wayne, like I said, you know, he's played every session, you know, he might be over bold. You know, so you know, you've got to try and get your mind to kick in again. You know, he's been playing at a high level. So he's you know, maybe just take a deep breath. Refocus. Yeah. Well, Nix is off to World Bowls. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the month. Yeah. So he's uh, he's considered in the top five, and I think I think you could almost say that Wayne was number six. Hundred percent, yeah, hundred percent. Oh, God, I'm going to be a bit controversial, but Go I, for it. I thought that uh, Wayne was a little bit unlucky not to get into the world side. Yeah, um, he was uh, when they were selecting the side. He was the form player um, in the country, but I think what uh, I think what got Nick uh, the nod was uh, was being. Um, SA Masters champion. That's a huge achievement. Yeah. And uh, and uh, yeah, you know that's uh, from from a selector's point of view. I think that's very good news. Is that we've got at least close on to uh, nine, ten players that we could have that, that you I can select from. Yeah. You know they sent up a very youthful side to the Six Nations. Brendan Ferns was there. He was unlucky not to get in. C.P. Matthewson, you know, had a good. Um, Good run, you know. He's also a form player. Was unlucky not to get in, so that that's boding well for 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 Bolso Africa. And I think competition like this is is is, is going to, you know, increase the, the, the talent that's going to come through. Definitely. I think the five that they selected, yeah. I uh, wish them the best of luck, and um, I'm sure they're going to do us proud, and we and we're going to be. We'll be we're watching. Gonna, yeah, we're yeah. going to be seeing. I'm oh, hoping for some good yeah. positive results. I don't think we were watching a hell of a lot of, a lot of the, the bowls live. Uh, unearthly hour. Yeah. It'll be for us. But um, the nice thing is that at least we can watch it. Uh, it's two shots. A three, isn't it? Well, three. Two. 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 No, two. two. Yeah, two. two. So that's a. Uh, eight, one after six. Uh, yeah. He can now. He can, you know, he doesn't have to chase. He can, no. just, he can just relax. Nice position to be in. Jason Evans has uh, turned the set over in his um, in his game. He's now six four up on Warren Stain after six ends. Yeah. So he must have got a little, f a little. F yeah, this is where set play comes interestingly. You know, Wayne is eight one down. He struggled a little bit with his weight. You know, if I was him, I would change my hand. Um, let the first set, you know, if I let the first set, first set slide. Find that hand going away, yeah. and then go for it in the second. You know, then it becomes a free and shootout. And I like this. He has changed his hand. Uh, I think that's a very good call. And let him settle there for a couple of ends. Even if you lose the set 12-1, who worries? You know, if you win this next set 5-4, you're uh, you're in a tiebreaker. 
just just um, not reaching on that hand. I don't know if it has any, anything to do with the fact that not very many people have been playing that hand. What I like about Wayne is if you look, uh, we, uh, he can't see him off, well, we can see him off camera, is that he's just reset his mind. You can see that he's not watching the end, he's just focusing on other aspects. So he's just, you know, just, just relaxing, taking a deep breath. You know, us bowlers can get frustrated and we can feel like that you want to kick a bank or throw a wood. You know, that's really Speak for you yourself, man. <laughs> Well that's played. much better. What a great response. Yeah, well played. Now that's going to that's gonna almost convince him, um, you know, <coughs> why did I change? Should I go yeah. back to that hand yeah. that's holding? Because that's certainly better than his first ball. Yeah. So he's not really giving himself a chance um, by dropping that first ball short. It almost yeah. forces him back onto yeah. the other hand. And you see, again, look at Nixon. He's, yeah. played, he's played a very good wood here. Yeah. I like that, you know. He's now, again, making Wayne play a more neater shot mm. on a trickier hand. Um, yeah. And he's, he's controlling he's controlling the heads very well. He's, he's actually dominating the hand. Under? He's under, yeah. Slightly under. under. I don't think, yeah, his weight's good. Oh, he got a bit of a ride. Yes. Building, building. Well, I wonder what Nixon would do here. Why would we try to drop it inside of Wayne Shortwood and get to his third shot here on the right, on the right, on the ditch hand? Uh, or does he play to trail or what? A yard or two. Yeah. Change the scenery. Yeah, I'd be very interested without. Um, let's wait and see what he decides to do. I think I would play yeah. the ditch under the yard. If I sit the wood on, on the left there, it's good. If I trail the wide through the port, you know, it, it, it's clean. Oh, he's gone, he's um, gone on the outside end. So let's see. Let's see, maybe he wants to get another one close. That's not the worst call. It's it's under, it. under. Yeah, I think it's a bit of a negative yeah. shot. Yeah, I think it's in two minds, yes. you know. I mean, you were calling one shot, you yeah. were sitting there. Yeah. yeah. So he, he unfortunately didn't yeah. say to himself, okay, I'm going to play this with confidence or pick a, pick a specific yeah. shot and play it. Yeah. If, I, if I was Wayne, I'd be going, I, I, again, I would be playing a similar shot. I'll be playing the ditch hand, trail the white for free, sit the wood for free. Let's see what he does. Uh, Matt, tell us how confident they are in the rink. You've got to be confident in a hand. And, uh, yeah, Looking inside the, on the back end. That's it. There we go. Trail yeah, the that, white, turn the, the ball out. I like that yeah. shot. Yeah, just get it on a good line. Oh, I like the. No, okay, no. no, he's got a bend. Can he do it off that one? Oh. Oh. <laughs> one to Nixa. One to Nixa, yeah. yeah. Oh, the, the game on rink two is a seesaw, seesaw affair there. Now, Warren Stain's got back the initiative. He's 8 6 up after 7. Get a little, this has got a little four there. So that game is really swinging in roundabouts. Yeah. As, uh, as Nix has, take, has taken control of this first set, and I think this is coming to, uh, it's, uh, coming to an end. And he drops one here, he's, he's won the first set. Yeah. I'm interested to see how Wayne responds. That's the beauty about singles, is how do you respond? Yeah. Nix has certainly got out of the blocks quicker yeah, yeah. and has found his weight. He's, he's really settled. That's a good start. Yeah. If Wayne can just respond back, you know, just That's what you have to do. Settle down. Yeah, he's, and he's been playing some really good stuff in the week, but it, it counts for nothing if you're no. not winning semi finals. Makes a change into yeah to the change. The change. Let's see how uh, if he if he drops short. Short. Sure, yeah. yeah. If he's a bit narrow. Yeah. Oh, that's but that's uh, interestingly short. The wind's also changing. Yeah. Just 
give it a little bit more weight, give yourself a chance. Oh, I think he's struggling to get here, mate. He hasn't found the weight on that end at all. Uh, so that half a meter to a meter short. Yeah, Nick's is still lying one. Well, the one thing we haven't taken into consideration, Nick, is that um, you might know a little bit more about Wayne's. You might know a little bit more about Wayne's wife and, and baby. One-year-old baby is here. Right. Maybe he hasn't been able to get enough sleep. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. The youngster keeping him awake at night. Oh, what a run response. And I think that's what he needs. You know, he needs to try to feed off that energy of the crowd. He needs to get them on his side. Um, and, the, and the one thing is that if you are down in the set and yeah. it looks hopeless and it's lost, yeah. it, you can't drop that concentration yeah. because you've got to keep it going yeah. so the next set you yeah. can... I think Jason was emphasizing that everybody oh. that's in the commentary team has been saying, you know, yeah. keep that concentration level up. I think that's the first set done and dusted. Even yeah. if he draws a bonus, it makes no difference. So, no. next it takes the first set. Rather comfortably, I'll be, I'll be quite honest yeah. with you. Uh, Wayne, just, just off form, just not quite there. Not quite at the races. You know, if, if I was Wayne, I'd maybe just say to Nick, excuse me for a couple of minutes, I need to go to the toilet. <laughs> Give me a little toilet break, just throw a bit of water on the face. Uh, you you are bringing up the Nick Kyrgios, uh, yeah. the tennis player yeah. you at the moment. Yeah. Eh? <laughs> there we go. Yeah, just, yeah, just to change the mood. Take a toilet break. Take a toilet break, you allowed that, you know? Yeah. 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 yeah just let him meet Roger in the toilet and Roger can give him a good yeah, Rogering, yeah, you know, yeah, good yeah. talking to, talk in the mirror. Yeah, yeah. Comb your hair. Yeah, yeah, comb your hair. Come out refreshed. Yeah, there, as the camera pans on, you can see we sit in five, six deep here. Very appreciative crowd, very knowledgeable crowd to be quite honest, enjoying the bowls. Over on to ring two, playing the last end. Uh, Warren Stain is eight, uh, Jason Evans seven. And Jason, a little bit of Charles Fortune, we'll give you a bit of ball by ball, listening to the ducks in the background, having a good squaller. Uh, Jason line one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Nix is back on. You see, that's where Nix is very clever. He, he had a little break, had a bit of water. He's just making yeah. Wayne think a bit. He's like, just got, you know, got fresh, smashed around a bit in that first set. You know, let the negativity settle in, so, and he's gone back to a good length that he's been controlling. Enjoy the way how Nixa is, is commanding the game. Yeah. He's in control. He's the man to beat. Can, can Wayne Roberts turn this around? Come on, plumber, give us a game here, pal. Nice. He's peppering the white. Yeah, he's peppering the white. You know, if I, if I was uh, Wayne Roberts here, well, I would have a little bit of a charge. <laughs> yeah, let's fix it up. Uh, it's a good effort, shifting past a little bit too much weight, but um, something you can work with. There we go, there's my mate, old uh, 30 hours commentating. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, listen, let's not talk soccer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a good response from Wayne. I like that weight. Just just over the draw, giving himself a chance. He's been he's been a bit negative with his first ball. So it's easier to adjust for him now. Just uh, as we watch uh, Wayne's wood trundle down, just sliding past. Uh, give you a little update there on ring two, it looks like. Warren Stain is lying the shot with one wood yeah. to come from Evans. Got to play a big one. We'll let you know what happens. Yeah. As Nixa takes a little walk down to have a look to see what's going on. Uh, and he's just slid past for it's two. It's a good spot. And he's played yeah. well. Yeah. He's played a great shot Should there. there. But that looks like three. Could be three. Yeah. Can Wayne respond? Come on, Wayne. 
Need you to show your true colours here. You no. see, that's the problem no, with that hand. hand. That's the hand. Jason Evans has, was shouting it down as just missed. Warren, Warren won the first set. Warren yeah. has won the first set, yeah. yeah. There's a little bit of a turn up for the books, I fancy, Jason, for that one. Tight game. <clears throat> yeah, Nick's are looking at the head, thinking about it. Walks back like a gunslinger from Kauteng North. Uh, Nick, say he's in the he's in the restaurant industry. I think. Yep, he has, said so. He has two, chatting to him yesterday. Yeah, two restaurants. Two restaurants yeah. yeah. So he's, he's and he's got a very supportive family. Yeah. So that makes it that makes life you know easier for him to enjoy his game of bowls. Yeah, and uh, perform at the highest levels. He obviously believes that uh, Wayne might bring out the big guns here. Yeah, the big ones. Yeah. Doesn't look like it. No. Come on, Wayne. Give us a bit of a, give us a bit of a who are you? Give a us a little bit, bit little much better road here. Yeah. yeah, give us a bit of a fist pump. Can he drop out? Ben, can he <sighs> drop? Ah, he had the extra two foot that he shouldn't have. I mean, look at those four the bowls of him. They all, all of them. inches. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this is not a good start. So, yeah, two shows two. Yeah, you know what? You know, like me, um, I always have a little natter to myself, trying to g myself up, and I think this is what Wayne needs to do. Is it in his persona to do that? You know, I don't know too much about him. I've, I've watched him a bit. A very cool, calm, collected character. Certainly, he looks like it. Yeah. Um, Nick's is, you know, the last thing I like about Nick is he's also controlling the pace of the game, so he's moving it on a quickly, quick, 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 yeah. quick. You know, yeah. so it's uh, so that Wayne guy, uh, that yeah. uh, Wayne. Can't uh, sit, you know, um, settle down. <sighs> As you said earlier, toilet break. Toilet break. Slow it down. Slow it down. Yeah. Let him think. Yeah. Let him, you know, you know, let him start thinking about, oh, I could be in the final year, yeah, you know, it could get a bit nervous. I think the plumber needs to do some plundering to get back in the game. Uh, oh, brilliant. Brilliant. Start. Brilliant. No, brilliant. brilliant. So I think we, you know, we say, well, Wayne hasn't really got into the game yet, but you've got to give Nick's a credit. I mean, he's really hasn't been far away yeah. with all his bowls. Yes. He's always in the area. He hasn't he's allowed. certainly settled in this rink yeah. quicker than... He hasn't allowed Wayne to play his game. Exactly. You know, yeah. he's, he's always, you know, he's always got eight inches to beat. That's yeah. tough. And if you're just missing your lines, it gets tougher. You know, I think Nick's has seen the white ball as big as a football and poor Wayne yeah. has seen the white as a golf ball. Yeah. That, that's the difference. Yeah. You know? And Nick's faults have always been behind. Behind, correct. He's, cha he's changed his hand. Changed his hand. Can he get up? He's been short on that hand quite a few times. Hopefully he gives it a bit of a welly. Come on. He's certainly got a bowl, his own bowl he can use here. Come on. Make the trip. trip yeah? Make the trip. trip. Every single time he's short on that side. He's playing to a good line. All he has to do is just correct yeah. that weight. Seems confidence seems to have gone on Nick. I yeah. mean, surely on yeah. that, you know, he, if you're making a mistake on that hand, yeah. especially in that setup, yeah. be through the head. Be yeah. through because yeah. you can sit off your wood if you bowl, drop yeah. shot yeah. bowl. You yeah. know, you're giving Nick a bit of a free ride. Is he going to get back? <laughs> ah, so I can only fall on. Come on, Dad. Come on, play a good one. Yeah, he's still short. Uh, I think he's close here, Al. I think he's close here. Okay. Ooh, I think that's if Brian will go. I bet he goes measure. No, I like it. I like... Uh, I think Nixa's is still short. Likes red. Yeah, yeah, still likes Nixa. And, you know, that's that's a negative shot. Well, now he's, made a, he's made a two-foot adjustment. You know, yeah. he would have been better off making a two-meter adjustment, adjustment. You know, Because now he's killed the shot to, to yeah. run onto the wood to turn exactly. it Exactly. Yeah. Now he's got a hard shot to play. And Nix is playing with lots of confidence. Let's see if he can capitalize and draw number two to make it even more difficult. Now watch that hand hold. Yeah, I thought he was. Watch it hold. I thought he was uh, tight. He is and tight. I'm right. He is and I'm tight. right. Is he going to yeah. sell the shot? Yeah. Oh, he oh, sold the shot. No. Mm. 
Mm, that's a, that's his first that's error. Not, that's naughty. Yeah, that's his first error. Uh, he's going to be very disappointed with that shot. And is that is that the no, kicker? Turning game. Yeah, yeah is that the turner or the kicker that Wayne needs? Mm, uh, let's see if his eyes have lit up. I hope he. Uh, yeah, I like that. Strides down slowly, thinking about the shot. Looks at the head. Yeah. But poor error from Nixa. I'm going to be critical. Yeah. For the way how well he's been playing. No, you're right. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. to uh, being being in a very dominant position. You don't want to open the door for yeah. your opponent, which I think in, he's just done. Yeah. Uh, Wayne can look to turn his bowl. Well, Wayne can at least play in the yard. Up Wayne's here. also. But he's tight. Under. He's, he's tight. He's tight. He's tight. His weight's a lot better though. Yeah. His weight's a lot better. Yeah, and the crowd back, like it. Back door. Yeah, back door. The crowd like it. They're appreciative of that shot. It's somebody shout bowling. Makes a stake on the one out. <laughs> what do you say? Uh, no. Gonna get Brian on his knees. Yeah. Measure. Yeah. So whilst they measuring, yeah. <sighs> Been, uh, Sun's coming out of it. Yeah, yeah. The, the clouds look like they've burnt off. Yeah. You know, typical Cape Town weather. One yeah. minute's winter, one minute summer. That's why I've got a few of the guys with a bit, a bit of snotty noses. You know. Yeah. I want to see if uh, I want to see what Wayne does now. What you know? Will he go T to T and change his hand? Well, you were saying earlier on you thought he should have taken the mat up more. Yeah. Let's see if he may decide on that. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, he'll look, yeah. he's, he's um, and he's in the final of the pair, so that's what he plays next. So it's, it's continuous games for him. Jason's up 2 0 after the first, yeah. yeah. Having lost the first it's set, good, yeah. Um, like I said, that's uh, two very good semi finals, I think. Uh, four players that have been on form all weekend uh, coming in. Um, boys from Karting were talking that Jason was coming back to form which is good to hear so when you get a top player coming back to form he's, he's always one to watch and then you've got the two two younger gentlemen um, um, that are on form two shots two shots okay, okay. that's um, oh. come on Wayne he hasn't really changed the length he's kept a, a length that um, that they've been playing but he's gone short, short on the jack, so let's see, maybe, let's see what he does. I guess that must be about 25, 26 metres. He's asked the question, yeah, I would say, yeah, 24, 25, yeah. He's sticking stuck, on the forehand. Sticking on the forehand, yeah. well, he, he's got to start beating yeah. uh, Nixa to the white. Um, I think he's a bit tight for his ball and short. Not attacking the white. You know, he's been backing with his way. To attack the white. Trail it two foot. If you don't quite get it out the hand, you're going to be always finishing in the area. The way Nix has been playing, I won't be surprised if this is if, if this is outside of 18 inches. A bit wide. Good weight though. Yeah, good Much weight. better weight. Yeah. Just too wide. Okay. You get that feel, your weight's good. Yeah. The next ball you can adjust the line. And what and what Wayne was, is wanting you sort of hunting the, yeah. the weights. And what was interesting is is um, I watched Wayne play Kevin Douglas who's who's uh, yeah, short again. He's a good yeah. singles player in Western Province. Yeah. And Wayne was phenomenal. He was absolutely brilliant. And you would think, you know, coming onto this ring, had a good game like that, you know, positive vibes coming through and he, he just shows you a, a day's difference and he's struggling. Really struggling. Ah, Nixa uncharacteristically has missed with both. So he's let, left the door open for Wayne. Come on, Wayne. Come on, show us your African States for me, lad. Yeah. Crowd getting excited there on ring two. Jason playing a good shot, but just missing it. He's got, he's got the local support. Yeah, he has a good one. Uh, better. Better. That's the shot. Shot. Yes, yeah, that's your shot. Yeah. Not close okay, enough. giving yourself a chance, so that's yeah. better. I don't think it's close no. enough no. For, the, for the quality of, of Nix's drawing. As he takes a little walk down, have a look. Yeah. He's got to sit on that. If he doesn't, he's heavy. He's got it. Has he? Has he? Yes, yes. Yeah. 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 
come on. Come on, Wayne. What I like about Wayne, he doesn't seem to panic, you know? No. He doesn't rush, everything's still the same. No. Yes. Never changes. Just, yeah, you know, that's a, if you're just joining us, I mean, you'd never know whether he's up or down. Yeah, Nothing. Yeah. This is better. Yeah. Can he settle? Can he, can he settle? In? Yes, he can. Yes, yes. Well played. Yeah. yeah he's starting to settle now. He's starting to settle now. He's got the shot. Got the shot. Yeah. Nothing, I think nothing to Nixa. Well, uh, you know, still got a what? Two feet to draw. Feet, Eighteen yeah. inches. Nothing. Nothing too much for Nixa. You know, he won the first set. He can relax. You know, he can drop one. Yeah, he's still yeah. in it. Even if he finds those other balls yeah. and falls in, he could yeah. get the shot. Yeah. line with the weight line. I think he's heavy. So that change of yeah. length, that change of length has definitely caught Nixa. Yeah. Played it short. One to you, One shot, yeah. One absolute shot to Wayne. Nixa's been around the circuit quite for quite a few years, you know, he looks like a young gentleman. I think he's just just turned. I think he's just over 40 years old. So and he's been playing at a, at a really young age. You know, mm -hmm. when when I was on the junior circuit, he was around. So he knows the game. He understands the game. Um, like I said, his dad was a very good good provincial bowler. I think it was uh, Mio Mio Ben Gurik. I think it was Mio played it. Played it at that. Uh, I think it was Victoria Victoria Muniz. Um, Big crowd of them. Uh, there was a guy by the name of Ivo Sinovich, also a very good player. Yeah. So for the first time in the match, Wayne is in front yeah. in the set. First time in the match that yeah. Wayne scored two ends in the in, in, a, in a row and has opened up with a good one. Yeah, you know, it's been a start. And look at that, you know, he's opened up with a good one. He's scored two ends in a row, so now he can settle. He's played the shorter length. Let's see if uh, Nixa can. Um, Respond. Looking good. <laughs> got to stop. It's got to stop. Yeah. No. That shorter length has caught Nixon. Yeah. yeah. His last, his last end, he was through, through, and through. Yeah. There we go. <coughs> yeah, he's looking Bellier. good. Yeah. yeah, he's looking good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Good. Uh, unfortunate. Um, could have got a square, yeah, yeah. but you know what? He's, it's now putting he's putting the pressure back onto Nixa. And now this is where the single starts. Can can the man who won the first set respond? Close, close, like very close. Good response from Nixa. Certainly, Nixa looks to have the better feel for the speed of the screen. Yes, agreed. Absolutely agreed. You know, he's, he's peppering the white. Um, You're going to make it, Wayne. Can't be short. You're surely. Make it, Wayne. Surely, you can't be short. Oh, he is on a perfect line. Let's make it. Make the next shot very difficult. Uh, I'm surprised that Nixa's playing that end. Yeah, I think he's trying to get around that ball. Uh, that's the right call. Two. No, sorry, it's the right call. He, he gets on to. Wayne's wood here, which he's aiming at. Oh, well played. Just missed it. No, oh, it's, it gonna, no. it's well played. And makes Wayne. Uh, makes Wayne shot hard, eh? Yeah, well, Wayne might have thought about playing the forehand to give it a bit of a tap. Yes. Yeah, a bit of a conundrum here. Does he play that, or does he play like a little chop and lie on his front foot? Yeah, I think it's, it's now. Low. It's now speed becomes uh, important. important on that forehand. It's, yeah, I think he's yeah he's gonna go. He's staying, staying on the back end. Staying on the back end. Obviously he's gonna try to fall off his switch. He's got no confidence in the ditch end. Is he? Is he? Can he drop? Not gonna come back. Can he drop? Oh. oh. <laughs> it's not like we're pulling for Wayne. We just want a nice spectacle. Yeah, you know, a tight game of balls. Nah. So. Uh, Please yeah. forgive us, uh, up in Pretoria. It's, uh, 
Nixus would wine to Nix has been peppering like a spectacle. Yeah, well Nix is but Nix has been very consistent. <laughs> been very good. That's why he's this that's why he's the South Africa Masters, Masters champion. champion. Correct. You know, he's been always in the zone, in the area. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Didn't have to be trying too hard. Good end again. One to Nixon. Yeah. Seven woods within three foot of the white. Very good. It levels things up at three all. Three all on four. I think the next two ends is, is going to be critical. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to be uh, giving up my commentary seat to organizer of this tournament, the main Mackie, what counts, Mr. Jan Duplessis. Hello, Johan. Hello, Nikki. How's it, boy? Yeah, all right. It's good to see you, and I just want to congratulate you on an amazing tournament down here in Cape Town. You must be really chuffed. I am a good week. Couldn't have had for better. Everything has just worked wonderfully. Everything has, the plans come together. A little cup here and there, not, not much, nothing yep. serious. Yep. Um, a lot of things to sort out going forward. Yep. But good things, yeah. very good things. And as we change uh, commentators, Nixa plays his worst wood of the match. Hopefully he can uh, correct that, which he has beautifully. And level, but just a tad wide. Left the door open for Wade. I think the quality of the bowls across the four days has been exceptional. I like to see, I uh, love seeing how your good average club bowler that has entered has learned from the experience. Your good provincial players have had the opportunity to play against the likes of the Wayne Roberts, Nixon and Gary Grayson, and have learned from it. And saying that, Wayne Roberts has given us a front toucher, which is fantastic. You must be really tough for Nixon, being from Gauteng North yourself, you know, watching him grow up, because um, he might, maybe a bit of a mentor to him. A little bit, um, yeah. Um, look, he's a uh, good response, good second ball. Uh, he's got the right DNA, you know, as far as I'm concerned, he was raised in the game by, played a lot with his dad, yeah. um, brought up the, the hard way, the tough way. Yeah. Um, and you know, he's playing with a lot of co confidence, uh, as mentioned at the prelim interview, uh, one of the three goals, and from his colleagues, yeah. and so that was at the moment, on the JBA Open. Comfortably. Yeah. Wayne now is really starting to. He played a good last end, although he didn't score. He, he did play a good last end, and this end he's, he's really played it well. Um, as uh, Nixa takes a slow stroll down to observe and to survey the land, live the land of the woods. Um, yeah, you know, like uh, Gauteng North have always been a, a tough, tough district to play against. You know, they've produced the likes of. You, Johan, a Kevin Campbell, a, 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 a Francois, you know, all pro tier players. So it's a good learning ground. But what I like about both players actually is Nixa and Wayne is they're both well grounded. You know, both absolutely, both absolute gentlemen, love the game, and 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 not shy to share a, a, a comment or two. Look at this shot from from Nixa. Oh, great shot! Unlucky not to get the shot. Certainly, two two of our rising stars in South African bowls. Yep. Uh, but I, I almost sense a bit of a change in momentum in this game. Yes, by, you know, when, before I came on here, I was yep. in the stands, yep. following the lines, yep. and Nixon in the beginning, this four end going down, yep. was nailing it, and um, Wayne was just was on the outside yep. of that line. Yep. Um, but he's now seemed to have found it, yep. played it slightly a little tighter, and, uh, and he's and, got. And, and Nick's just gone off his line a little bit. And yeah, Wayne's got a bit of a chance here. You know, trails the white for three, but he's chucked it on the professional side, slightly wide, little flick in. Has he maybe sold the shot or has he made two? Measure all round. Oh, the crowd having a bit of a giggle. I think Nix is engaging with the crowd, which I enjoy. <clears throat> one, one to Wayne. Ah, sets nicely set up. Five, three after six. 
both players tremendous temperament. Yes. Nick. Yeah. Yeah. And you know yeah. how important how temperament important that is at this level. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, all four semi-finals have got a good temperament. I like Warren's temperament. I saw nothing phases him. Jason, nothing phases him. You know, seasoned international. <laughs> Coming back into his into form, just getting ready for uh, for World Bowls. So yeah, I like this. You know, Wayne stuck to his guns, kept that length. Um, he's trying to find his length. Um, you know, he, in the first set he was a bit loose with his first ball. Didn't give him a chance. No. Like like he rightly pointed out, the momentum shifted nicely, and he's starting to pepper the white. Whereas Nixon was peppering the white in the first set. Look at this. It's a good opener. I don't want to take a cheap shot here on the, on the mic, but I, uh, I predicted Warren in the earlier stages. He's yeah. my dark horse. Yeah. Uh, he's playing with tremendous weight. Yeah. Yes. And what's interesting, Lee? Oh, here we go. I'll play Nixa. Changed his hand and then got past the white, whereas when Wayne was changing to the hand, he was short. So he's going, so Nixa's definitely got a feel for the green. Wayne's staying true to his. True to his hand. Can he get back? Yes. Oh, where's that yard? Hey, just missing that yard. Yeah, Warren Stein has taken a 5 2 lead after four ends in the other semi final against Jason Evans. Warren Stein. Jason is definitely up against it now. Yeah. Uh, Lexa just lost, his, just lost his way there a bit. He has a big opportunity to, for Wayne. What would you do if you were Wayne here? Would you stay to your hand, try to turn your woods, or would you change to try just sit um, Nix's uh, backward? Yeah, possibly sit the back. Sit the back ball. Just taking into co into consideration, he hasn't he hasn't uh, he hasn't played that hand particularly well, eh? Oh, he has changed it, and I bet he's short to what he's trying, but he's drawn another shot. Well played, Wayne. Well played, Wayne Roberts. I wonder if uh, Nixa will have a little charge down the middle. Let's mix it up. Come on, Nixa. Let, let's see your attacking ability. I wonder, uh, yeah, looks like he's, he's going to light it up. Or is he, he going to stick to the draw? Is he confident on the draw there? I think he's going to have a ripper. He, he's going to have a drive. I like this, but he's pushed it. He's pushed it. Mm. He's got the best back. Not a bad call, can take a couple out, you know, gets half and half, lies one. I thought Wayne was a little bit tentative in the first set, you know, yes. there was a situation, I think on the third end, yes. where Nixon was lying two right on top of uh, the jack, yeah. and he played with two, three yards of weight, and he had back bowls, yeah. and he played that sort of in-between shot. Yeah, which is very hard on that trick, because it, it teases you, you know, it holes, and if you go inside, you go... And the the drivers, yeah. might be in a different yeah. line. And he's got a good drive on him. Yes. You know, he's, he's yeah, well, look at that. He, his second end, I think he stuck the white in the box and mixed it up. He's gone with the back. You know, if I was Nick, I wouldn't be changing the shot. I would be looking at at inside half on the same hand that he played on his forehand. Inside half, he gets both woods and stays for stays for one at the back. Or he puts the white in the box and drops one. He saves the shot. I wouldn't be surprised to see if Nixa doesn't... Uh, if, uh, I'd be surprised if he goes on the draw, yeah. Oh, he is going on the draw. Yes. Mm, I think that's a bit of a negative call. God, must... Hot shot, just after a full drive. Oh, yep, yeah, that's why he's the SA Masters champion. Look at this. Oh, and dropped in for shot. Good thing. What have the crowd said? The crowd are apprehensive and they're staring, but not giving us an indication. One green. Yeah. Good effort. Good effort. <coughs> you know, it's like so much that. Uh, it's amazing what confidence gives you in the game. Yeah. Because now that. Uh, and you know, he backed himself to draw yeah. the shot there and yeah. he, he almost pulled it off, Nick. And, uh, and that's just purely on confidence and that's backing your technique. What we've got now is 5 3 off to 6. And you know, you want. Um, Look at the score next door, Nick. Yeah. Uh, Jason, Jason got a little free there to get it. Attack. All on 5. So if you get Game it, on. It's, yeah, 5 all. And he's dropped his first one quite a, f quite a few yards short. Nice big crowd coming in. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So we'll have a good crowd for the finals. 
I was hoping for the Goodwood Grunt or the Durban Raw to be here because they'll get the atmosphere going. And it looks like some of them have stayed away, maybe the weather. Maybe they're enjoying our commentary or enjoying the streaming. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it doesn't come better than this. I mean, you've got four top bowlers here playing it out in the singles. Uh, there was always, you know, it was always great having Jerry on because he was, you know, he's got so much knowledge and he loves sharing the knowledge of the game. So it was right. a big shout out to you. It was, a, it was really good with him and Jason. Brilliant to have Jerry here. Whether he's going to come back, as I said previously, as a commentator or a player, I'm not sure. Uh, never, think, you're never sure about Jerry. Uh, I think we have his next move. I think he'll come back as a player. You know, he, I think he could check the, the oh. glint in his eye, thinking, "Wow, I could could do something here." Uh, Wayne just just overcorrected the line. His whistle was inside. Nixon took advantage. I think he has to score here to stay in touch of the set. And maybe. Maybe just maybe he can just sniff that final. Oh, he's just missed, just missed. Nah, chance for Wayne. Come on, Wayne. Let's see what he can do. Now, I'm sure the Port Natal. I think he plays out at. Uh, no, he's moved. I'm sure they'll be be cheering him on. Right, this. Uh, I like that he changed the hand and for once on that hand he's actually pushed it through because he's been he's short, on short on that hand. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so he's now giving himself a chance and can feel it. Let's see what Nixa does. Short. Be short. Short. Mm -hmm. Now this is a big chance, yeah. Big chance is interesting. Pull, pull, does that, pull that jack a couple of inches back. And if he's inside and too tight he can sit the wood for free. You know, but I would play it with two yards. Oh, he's going back to the four. Hmm. Hmm. Well, will he play the shot on his four with a yard or two? Yes, he's playing it with weight. He's playing it with weight. Can he drop? Oh, he's played a good one here. Yeah. He's got him a miss the white. Yeah. Oh, he was unlucky. He was unlucky. He played a good shot, but he was unlucky and he could be two down. That's the nature of this game. Maybe only one. One indeed. Brian only shows one. I wonder if he's got two seconds. Well, I think Nixon must just stick to his hand and beat the level, oh, would there's you? A, there's a bit of room there. Yeah. A bit of lady luck, lady luck wasn't on Wayne's side there. Gentleman in the background shaking his head, can't believe what's happened. But uh, yeah, that's it. That's where maybe I think I would play, would have played the other hand. It might have taken that. Would game back onto the white out of, out of contention. Big, I think this is a big ball for Nixon. Gets it back to 5 all. Play, you know, playing the eighth. Opens up with a good of suppression away. Remember, Wayne has to win the second set. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed the chance. Oh, big opportunity. One, he missed the five four. Yeah, and uh, you can see the disappointment in in Nixon as he trundles down the thing. Warren Stone has just picked up one. One great to six five lead off to six. six. Yeah, both games are really warming up. So um, is the crowd. Yeah, so is the crowd. I think we need to get some more ales. I think they'll get a bit louder the more the ales drop. Um, is it Devil? Is it Devil's Peak? Devil's Peak. That's our sponsor. The guys oh, were, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, they were really enjoying them yesterday. We saw a lot of the, a lot of the crowd at the at the concert. Okay. Having a good few. So thank you very much, Devil's Peak. Yeah, nice beer. Amazing concert. Yeah, oh, Neil Diamond. Johan Liebenberg. Johan Liebenberg and his band. Brilliant. Well, like you once said, Neil Diamond comes to listen to him. <laughs> what has Nixa done? Oh, that's unusual. Uh, it does happen to the best of us. Might have just slipped out of his hand. Forced Wayne onto, a, onto the hand. Uh, people are appreciative of Warren Stein playing a good shot. He's just nailed it. Front touch up. Come on, plumber! Oh, what's well, gone wrong here? Okay, well, it does happen. I think maybe they're playing curling because in curling the leads put blockers in first. I think Nix has gone under the line here. Not by much. Not by much, yeah, he's got a solid one. Play. Great recovery. If he missed the white, he was at least five foot heavy. 
So a good players do that. Eh? Yeah, they are just a, just they're back to their ability. Come on, wait. questions from the boss? Yes, I like this. He's adjusted nicely as well. Promo's on a good line, yeah. Can he, can he drop to stop? No, good response. Good recovery as you wanted to say. Dixon ah, changing hands. Let's see if Dixon can get up. Oh, well, you know, interesting. Why, did, why didn't he stay on the hand on the same line? Oh, he's very inside. He's very inside. Oh. This is. You sort of called it, you know. Yeah. Why change? Why change? Why change? You know, on the other hand, you've got to look for new line, new weight. Yeah, there you know the line. There you know the weight. There's definitely a difference between yeah. the two hands. This is a decent line from Wayne. And what's his weight like? Uh, is he going to drop? Is he going to drop to stop? Uh, crowd getting excited. Shouting it down. But just missing. Mm. Just out. Yeah, just out. But now, let's see. This I think this is an important ball from Nixa. Because if you don't get close here, I think uh, Wayne Roberts has, uh, has, has a couple of questions. What hand does he play to sit the wood? And he's missed it again. Or is he going to get lucky? Ooh. Can Wayne Roberts see that wood? An opportunity, yeah. Yeah, most definitely. What side does he play? Does he go inside yellow blue? Or does he go outside of his own ball to try to sit it? He's going inside. Got a, got a bit yeah, he's, got he's going to go inside to sit that for two. And take control of the third, of the second set. He's laying on the back okay. end. He's close. He's close. He's, he's got it. Well played. Well played. And the crowd goes crazy. That's a great shot. Put him right, in, right into contention. Back in this game. Three, three up playing the last. Big shot. Banana boys are going crazy. Banana boys are going crazy. Yeah, that's right. The Mexican wave. Big shot. Big shot at a crucial stage. That puts him right back in the game. Three up on the set, yeah, yeah. And you know, um, Jeff and Jerry, me and Jerry were talking. It's amazing how the guy that wins the first set going away, nine out of ten times loses the second set. It's uncanny. Does the guy that's lost the first set up his game, up his concentration, or does the guy that's won the first set just relax? I think uh, even at Potter's Resort, the percentages are eighty percent and, and more. Yeah. Second right. set winners. Yeah. That's Potter's Leisure Resort. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So, um, yeah, there we go. Uh, can Nixa bounce back? You know, he only has to peel. Uh, lost his way, lost his way a bit. And again, it just shows you the mind of the singles player. Jason Evans has got a big ball. I think he's three down and he's, and he's having a run. He's having a trotter. He doesn't like it. What's happening there, you want? He's dropped a three. And the crowd have gone, ooh, and he's... He's under the pressure, he's dropped a bit there. Yeah, Jason, I thought that uh, stars might be in his favour. Wales beat England last night, 29 in the rugby. South Africa beating Argentina. Well done, Boca. Nixa, Nixa just come off the ball a little bit. bit. Yeah, I don't think that's what you call pressure. Yeah. So, yeah. Been a good sporting weekend, you know, we've had the Netball World Cup. Girls, South African girls showing up pretty well. Uh, Banyana Banyana losing 2-0 to Netherlands, but that's no shame in that. Well played, Wayne Roberts. Did you like yeah. yeah, next has to draw three inside 18 inches. That's not in, it's not impossible for a man of his of his calibre. No, he's, given him, he's given himself a chance here. It's a wood at the back. Yeah. Wayne Roberts will be trying to put a front touch here, put the lights out. Jason has yeah, yeah, gone up 9 5, up to 7. We won the first set. <laughs> okay, what's the next going to do? Yeah, he has to, he has to make some magic. Try to trail the lights here, bring his back ball into play. That. Oh, that's it. Goodbye. <coughs> Can he get three out of that? I don't think so. Got a short wood, got two short woods. Yeah, I can't think. See it. No. no, can't see it. I think we're going into a tie break. Ah. 
Well played, Wayne Roberts. Which really is great for the game. Yeah. The spectators. Yeah. Well, we did think this would be a catch of the party, but it has produced that. Back in the SA Masters, um, they were in the same section, and Nixon coming out on top in a tiebreaker. So, um, and you know, I think the smart money is on Nixon. Meanwhile, next door, Jason's in trouble. He, he needs uh, multiple score and more. He's dropped his other thing. He's dropped his first one short. First one short. No, but you never, never discount a champion. They fathom something up here. Yeah. I think he's just drawing, just get just get the ribbon back. Think about the uh and about the time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. It's conceded. <sighs> as we I think as we predicted, we were expecting it to go to the tiebreaker. <coughs> yeah. And the ascendancy is with Wayne, but you know, Nixa, he's got a great great mind. Really enjoy him as a player. Just on rank number two, Jason Evans has put a front toucher. And Warren is responding. Nope, just missing. So Nick, have you enjoyed the tournament? Yeah, it's been great, too. It's been really good. I've been really impressed with um, the organisation. Um, you know, from the moment you walk into the door to watching, it's just been an experience. <laughs> And you know, that, that, that Potters uh, resort feeling that we created inside with the uh, yeah. prints yeah. of, of the affordable surface and the stops the players yeah. around the pub area has um, created a, a nice little vibe yeah. and amongst I mean, the players. And, 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 you know, what's to wet their appetite. And what's important and I did note it is that when you walk, when a player walks in here, it's all about the player. It's not about well, it was that we wanted our objectives to yeah. make them feel special. Yeah, I, I think we've succeeded at that. Yeah. And you know, and, and the price that you that you that you uh, uh, pay is is it's it's nothing compared to what you are experiencing. It's really for money. I mean, they yeah. have the boys, you know, the, besides the clothing, uh, the meals, yeah. the cocktail party, the show last night yeah. it was all in. All in. And remember, you, you, you've got to remember, if you like a winner or a runner-up in the singles and you win in the fours, uh, in, in the fours, in the pairs, remember, you don't represent South Africa at, uh, at, at the World Indoors, at Potter's Leisure Resort, and, and I mean, there you go, that's proper professional, like I noted, you know, first round loser, I think gets about a thousand pounds. Close to that, 750, 800 pounds. Oh, so what, Wayne, yeah. Wayne was off to a great start. Yeah. And, uh, and Nick Nixon has responded. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Nixon just, uh, just shook his head, reset his mind, attacked the white with a good weight. So you remember, you've got all of that to take into consideration. You know, if you win here, don't just look at winning here the amount of money, there is a bigger prize. So your total prize must be close to 30, 40, 50,000 rand. The total prize at Potter's Resort, um, I think the winner, the winner gets something around 50,000 pounds. Yeah. Uh, and if I have to make a quick calculation, it's close to 1.2 million. Yeah. But obviously it's, it's, it's about the, um, if you can go there and succeed to yes. win a, a round or two of the yeah. points that are available, yeah. try and break into that yeah. top, maybe for starters, into yeah. the top 20 yeah. or so. Um, you know, and hopefully the same player can have, can have another crack. Yeah. I don't know if he, if he plays well enough, qualifies again. Yeah. Um, it's just difficult. Yeah. It's not but easy. it's possible. It's not, in, it's, not, it's not impossible. That's right. <laughs> I mean, this year at the World Indoor Championships, as you know, uh, oh, two qualifiers. What a shot from Wayne Roberts. Yeah. Oh, okay. The crowd are really warming up to Roberts. Yeah. Shouting him home. But it's still one to Nixa. I'm, I'm still going to go for a Nixa tiebreak win here. Um, yeah, so we have two qualifiers yeah. at, at, at the World Indoor Championships yeah. in, in uh, Jason Banks and Jamie Walkers, okay. which was fantastic. Yes. Yes. It can, yes. It can be done. Nixa, like, like the Gauteng North, guns slipping as I call him, walking backwards. Line here, it doesn't have to, do, all he has to do is score the end, doesn't it? Call, score one or two. Call the shot, Nicky. No, you won't get but, close. Yeah. I think he'll be drawing, trying to lift his up once. He's got the best back. Roberts has got a hard shot. Uh, here we go. Next up. Yeah, he's going to be drawing close here. I think he'll just try and lift his up. Ah, oh, very good weight. 
very, very good weight. That's a good wood. I wonder, oh, I it's a great I wonder if Plummer will uh, trundle one down on the outside end. <laughs> gets a square. Oh, I think it's a, it's a backhand with a, with a bit of weight. Uh, get a quarter bowl on the inside. Inside, yeah. Trundling uh, weight, you know. Just allow it to bend. Or will he play his four? But you know, the, the, the third bowl could, you know, could get him more flying. If yes. He, if he's slightly tight. Yes. I think the percentage is most definitely on the back. Back end, yeah. My opinion. Yeah. Mickey. Trundling, if he gets the split, he scores. Like you say, he gets quarter bowl with good trundling weight. Trundling weight meaning three, four yards of weight. Looking from that, that's a tight head with that front wood. Or will he play? the perfect shot and try and lift his up once. I think that's what he's trying. He's on the forehand. And he hasn't played that forehand particularly well. Uh, let's see what he does. He's going to play the perfect draw to lift his wood up once. Uh, yeah, he's close. He's very close, Johan. Good effort. Good effort. Oh, and the crowd, the crowd giving, giving their cheers <coughs> on that one. They definitely, as lunch is being served, uh, they're definitely enjoying this. And the one lady almost flew her lunch over the balcony from excitement. Grayson, uh, two down. Two down, yeah. And he's playing with a bit of weight. Let's see what he's doing here. And he's one down. This to stay in the competition. And he's wide. Is he wide? Oh, he's got it. But is it good enough? It's only a feel. Warren Stain is through to the final. Well played, Warren Stain. That's an upset. That's an upset. Well played, Warren Stay. He said last night he was due to beat to beat him, and he wanted to have uh, a bit of international experience. What is that mean? Uh, oh, very interesting. He said, "This is going to do it." Oh, no. okay, yeah, congratulations for Warren Stay. Crowd again, bananas. Yeah, JBA boy. That's an upset. I think that's Warren Stay out of the JBA side. Just beat his skip. <laughs> So uh, yeah, Nixa changed the length up beautifully, got a bit fuller. Uh, it's, and good on the weight, but he just good on the weight, yeah, But it's a good change up, you know. That's you know, nothing adventure, nothing gained. Uh, Wayne, yeah, he has struggled with his weight on the longer length, but he's opened up with a cracker. He has opened up with a very good one. Well played, Wayne Roberts. That's a great bowl on that length. All to play for, all to play for, yeah. I think, um, you know, the guys must be facing their chances against Warren Stain, but don't underestimate the underdog, as they say. He's just taken out the South African number one. Great weight. Just, just, just overcorrected on the line. <coughs> Come on, Wayne. Drop us one. Uh, give us a front toucher. It's not short. It's short. Oh. I think, uh, I think he's left the door uh, slightly ajar for Nixa. Uh, Nixa taking his time like that, like that. Let's see. It's on its way. No, the line looks fairly okay. It's just all on the weight, yeah? The line's good. What's his weight like? Pretty close. No, aye, uh, short. Okay. Short. No, he's put him northeast and west. He just needs one on south to get the shot. Oh, big bowl for Plummer. Yeah, Plummer. Don't touch it, touch yeah. the jack. Yeah. So, is, this is the wood. Uh, next wood is, well, let's see if we can use some cliches that the industry that they are. Slightly better way, Yeah, it is good. Uh, I don't know if that's a good wood. I don't think that's a particularly good wood. But I think the crowd slightly agree due to the fact that he's dropped at level. So Nixa can play a nice positive draw. Still a bit of room there. Yeah. I think yeah. Would like to play it off the line. So can uh, Nixa have his slice of cake and get into the final? This is this is pressure. This is pressure. <laughs> yeah. This is pressure. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this is and this, is, and this is why they get paid the big bucks. This is why they're in the South African side representing at the World Championships. Yeah, he stayed down beautifully. He's got it on a good line, you know. It's all on that last Looks yard fair. of running. Looks fair. You know, he sits off this, he's got it. He's got to sit off this. He has he done it. Can he fall? Yes. 
is the back one the shot? And what does Brian, what's Brian gonna tell us? Everybody's looking. His weight was perfect. One, two, Brian. It's a one in shootout. And Nick's has got the last ball. Come on, plumber. Take it right up and sink the white of your first. That's, uh, that's Nick Rusley. That's, uh, that, Jens Fraser taught me that. Uh, and, I, and I saw him do it once, I couldn't believe it. Then he got it to perfection. Did he get it? Yeah, he got it. The Ike, the Ike on the other side there, yeah. Seven woods were declared. <laughs> Warren Stain got a tear in the eye there after his great win. Well played, young man. Following his mother's footsteps. Jason put in a great effort, you know, you know being, being South Africa's number one target is always big on your back and it's always tough. Has, um, has Wayne Roberts made a fundamental error here on the white? Has he thrown it long enough? Mix has got a smile. This is our four is I think we're going to get the umpire to measure. Uh, yeah, it was great to have Jason Evans making the trip down, yeah. coming back to his, own, his old home club, Dillon yeah. Ball. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Making him some ranking points. Yeah. In the PBA. Yeah. That's right. Cool. So the Wayne Roberts, let's have a look. He's, he's on the prowl. He's on the prowl. Can he stop? Can he stop? Uh, yeah, well played. Good luck, good luck. The hands are a bit clammy, a bit sweaty, a bit sticky. Heart's pumping. Doesn't look like it. <laughs> no, you know, they just Gentle get all drawn. Just get on with it. Make sure it's off team. Yeah, off team, you know, he's played that so well. Oh, and he's got sure. it, you know, well played. It's so good. That's still a lot of wits to come. Quite a bit of room to draw for both of them. Yeah, I think he's close again, Dion. I think he's close again, you want. That's brilliant. I think he's close again. Yeah. Like this, yeah. uh, that delivery is yeah. just worth cold because yeah. it's just the same relaxed, easy flow. Of Both players, hand. I think Mixo was off the mat a bit quick there, and he's a tad wider. Tad wider, but it's coming back, eh? It's coming back. Yeah, his weight was good on the tighter line. Only advantage for Mixo is that he's got the last wood, but I don't think he would want to play the last wood. I certainly wouldn't. I'll be shaking like a leaf. Probably would want to beat his last pole. Sort uh, of get right in front of that jack. If I was, yeah, if I was plumber, I would be putting a front toucher. Absolutely. Or, or a foot in front, you know, on the draw, make him change his hand. And he's done that. He's played a great last end. Oh. Yes. Now he's playing to a blind white. Oh, play. uh, playing to a blind white. Uh, that's what you want to do. Although his his shot would is sticking out ever so slightly. I'm going to back Nixon to go closer. I think he's got the temperament. I've seen him play a lot of good shots. Ooh, he's on a line here, yeah, you win. But maybe the weight. I think so. I think he's outside the line. I think his weight's going to cost him. Is he going to get lucky? Oh. Uh, he had quite a bit of weight. That's why he didn't come back. One wood to go. Wayne Roberts is in the final. Is he going to flush? Nicks are being Gurich's chances. Or is Nicks are going to have a cup of tea? Would you play if you were? Would you be going well, class or would you be trying? I think to he's got the back bowl. I'm not, I'm not saying Nick shall have a go, but he's got the he's got the back bowl. I would just uh, try and close that backhand yeah. and 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 get even closer. Yeah, I would maybe try to sit off that side with there, like this. I think. Oh, he's gone back. Uh, not the worst mistake. Yeah, right. Nick, uh, he's confident. You can see. I like this. He's striding purposefully. And I've purposely played that. I, you know, I just think that there's still a little bit of room yeah. for next on the back end. Yeah. Just sit the back ball and the back push shot. Yeah. That's what I would have done if I was playing. Uh, maybe know, he did play for it. I'm not sure. You know, Nix has played two indifferent ones on that hand, so I would take a deep yeah. breath, just That's refocus. Right. I think it was a bit quick there. Yeah. He's taking his time. That's do or die. Well, he's on a good line, you one. He's on a good. Now it's all on weight. He's running after it. He likes it. What, what, are we going to hear what the crowd says? Has he got it? He's got the hole! Oh, unbelievable! Wayne Roberts! Wayne Roberts has won 
Mayo Fight Alex Semi Final. Well played, both gentlemen. Excuse us, the gentleman and Nixon. Cards, you can see who's the card favourite, Wayne Roberts. Great job. Yeah. And, and the plumber from Durban is through to the final. Well played, Wayne Roberts. And lucky Nixa Ben Nice to see you. Yeah, like I said, Wayne Roberts is the form player. Yeah. Final double. He's really got his money's worth here. After you, what a choice match interview. Yeah, Jason Parkinson. Yeah. What a thriller. What a thriller. Yeah. Great. Now nah, that's what we expected. That's what we wanted. Slow start. Go get some lunch, Bill. Go get some lunch. Okay, so there we go. That's the uh, the semi-finals of the singles uh, <laughs> completed, and what two semi-finals we've just had there. I'm going to come to you first. So, first of all, you're coming to the UK. Oh wow! Uh, Got to get that passport in order. Yeah, have you, have you been to the UK before? Yeah, I have years ago. Yeah, so you're looking forward to it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that was uh, that that was some some win there for you. Yeah, it's a uh, long time coming. Uh, Jason is my mentor. I play with him, so he's taught me well. It helps to know who you're playing and their game a little bit, I guess. And I'm sure you'll appreciate those, those kind comments. You know, he's such a nice guy. So, in a way, he'll, he'll take a bit of pleasure from that as well. You know, when you're mentoring someone, even though they're playing against you, seeing them succeed is also a little Brucey bonus, I guess. Tough when you're, uh, tough when you're the person being beaten, but, uh, you know, well, well done there. And... Uh, this guy here now, you're going to play this guy. I mean, what a game that was on, on for the uh, the television rink. I mean, it's fair to say, slightly struggled in the first set, stuck in, played a couple of good conversion shots in the second set. And I always say when you, you drag it to a tie break, a tie break can be anybody's. Definitely, most definitely. Now, that, that first that first set was, was ridiculous. I mean, he played super, super well. And I tried my best to, you know, find my weight, find my line. It's missing slightly, but um, he definitely deserved that, that first set. And, yeah, I stuck in there in the... the the second set and pulled it through in the tiebreaker. And how do you feel about uh, being guaranteed to come to at least Scotland or over into the uh, the England part? Yeah, fantastic. It'll be my first time, so looking forward to it. Oh, really? Yes. Okay, well, you're going to have to go and get ready for your, your pairs game, so good luck for that. Uh, we're going to be back with you very, very shortly for that pairs final, but until then, one of you is going to have to change, so the look of the green is your changing, is here. <laughs> good luck, guys. All the very best. Join us very soon. Thanks for now.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, once again, a very good afternoon. Welcome to the Fair Tree PBA qualifiers, and we're back to the pairs, and we're down to the grand final. The winner of this game would represent South Africa in the World Indoor Bowls Championships in the UK, which start on Friday, the 5th of January. Well, without any further ado, let's get the show on the road and please welcome the players. First of all, please welcome Roger Bull and Wayne Roberts. Well, Roger, <laughs> come and join us. First time we've spoken properly here. So, really important game. How important is it to get off to a really, really good start today? Yeah, I think it's, it's going to be tough up front. Um, I've been watching Kevin and he's putting them dead close and he's had like five touches in the trial end, so <laughs> it's going to be tough. <laughs> Let's see how much chalk we go through. Uh, Wayne, obviously, we've been speaking quite a lot. <laughs> I'm getting fed up of seeing you, to be quite honest. <laughs> how are the feet, mate? Feet are fine. The back's a bit sore. <laughs> oh, really? So, you know, I'm not going uh, to tease you too much. I'm not going to talk about tactics because I think that's a little bit unfair before a game. So I'd just like to say is really, really good luck to the pair of you Thanks. and may it be a great game. Best of luck. And we're now going to move to the, uh, the opposition in the green shirts. It's the local pairing of Peter Harvey and Kevin Douglas. Good afternoon, gents. Good afternoon. So, uh, local guys, how, how, how much do you think that this, uh, this crowd is going to really, really help you? I think it'll help a lot. It's just really, really a nice atmosphere. Really great to be here. And the crowd's uh, fantastic. So you just heard the comments there from the opposition. It's quite complimentary. I don't think it would have been as quite nice going into a final, but on form, it seems. Um, yeah, I know. We, uh, we've, we've picked it up over the last couple of days and just looking forward to playing against uh, two great players. Well, once again, have a great game. May the best team win. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the stage is set and we're going to find out who's going to be representing South Africa. Talking you through this game is in the commentary box, the voice of South Africa Bowls, Alan Lofthouse. Joining him is the PBA chairman of South Africa, Johan Duplessis. Over to you guys. Thank you very much, Jason. Very professional, mate. Very professional. You've obviously been doing it for a long time. There's, uh, there's certainly no hesitancy in your voice, uh, and it uh, certainly projects it. And we all appreciate the fact that you're here in South Africa, and I'm sure n no one more than uh, the man sitting next to me, Johan Duplessis. Hello, Alan. Nice to be here with you and share the mic with you. Yeah, it'll be. In fact, I'm already thinking, uh, you know, we've still got a job to do here, but I'm already thinking for next year, and there's no doubt in my mind that I'll try and secure Jason again for next year, uh, so he can become uh, part of this fabulous event. Just adds a lot of value to it. No question. Right. First bowl is on its way. From Roger Bull. So, in my opinion, um, three of the players here um, have played on the TV rink. Wayne, uh, Kevin and um, Peter. Roger hasn't. No. And as you know, uh, in this format, uh, your lead's very important. So, to me, uh, a big deciding factor would be how quickly Roger settles to the line and wait. And as you can see, yeah. Kevin first hole. Yeah. Um, very close. On the money. Yeah. Yeah, I was watching Roger uh, in the uh, semi-finals on the rink next door and um, he was getting it close. Good, yeah. very good. <laughs> Seems to have a good line again. Most of his weight. Oh, Alan, we, we couldn't yeah. wish for a better strip. I mean, uh, lovely weather. I was a bit concerned this morning. Tell uh, me about it. With the wind, and you yeah. know it better than me. Yeah. Um, sun is out, big crowd. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Should be a great game of bowls. Yeah, and it, you know, we, we, we've spoken about this so often. You know, when you get to, um, to play in a competition like this, um, mm. 
it's so important that you have a decent bank watching. You know, it, it just it just creates a fantastic atmosphere, and the, I'm sure the players uh, will will appreciate the fact that people have come out to play, come out to watch, I should say, and uh, it just it just adds it just adds value to the competition. No doubt, but it makes the sponsors happy. Hundred percent. Mm. Local boys seem to have got off to the better start. Oh, money straight away. Uh, Wayne has forgotten about the first set in the singles. He openly admits he battled. And this doesn't look too good either. Can they take advantage of this? opportunity here to draw for four. Come on, touch the jack. They were talking about touch the jack there, so maybe, 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 maybe it's, it's not. Yeah. Get the measure out, mate. The sort of start the uh, the locals would be very happy with. That one's in, and it's got to oh, oh, two. And it's definitely. Although I mustn't say definitely because Jason proves me wrong every time. I'm three, four. By the looks of it. Three, three, three. Oh, so good start. Fantastic start for the, for the local boys. boys yeah. Yeah, look, um, Peter and, and Kevin have, uh, for different reasons, um, not been able to commit themselves fully to the game this year. Um, and maybe that was the reason they got off. I mean, we watched them early on in the competition playing on this rink, and, and Peter admitted openly that he just he just didn't, he couldn't find it. Was it and, in the group, yeah. Yeah, and, and maybe it's a case of the, you know, you need to, you need to play yourself into the competition. The, the quality field we have here, you gotta, you, you know, you gotta be on your A game. Yeah. Anything less. From the start. Yeah. You're in trouble. Good wait. Yeah. It's so important, Alan, as you know, to uh, follow, follow it up with a another good end sure. after making the three on the first. Absolutely. Let's see if Kevin can adjust that line. His weight's perfect. Jack Lever. Looks like a better road. Kept the weight. Oh, he's good. And there you go. Very good. Yeah. It's nice. definitely a perfect for the side of the rink. Don't get it. Look, I think uh, people watching at home might be a little bit tired of the fact that we keep harping on the fact that. Um, uh, we feel that the clubhouse, the ditch hand, is the better hand of the two, but the players keep proving us wrong. Yes. They keep to the other side of the of the rink. with Peter, he gets into a groove, groove he's, he's phenomenal. Uh, Wonderful touch. Nice. And of course, I think we've mentioned it before, he's the son of the late, Tommy Harvey. Uh, talking him up here and he goes and let me down. Peter, come on. Did you ever see him play? I saw Tommy Harvey play. In fact, I was very young um, and there was a Nationals in Cape Town. And 
You know, I, I got into the game from a very young age, sitting on the back watching my parents play. And I saw... Oh, and I saw uh, Tommy Harvey playing in the final stages of the Nationals at Double Bowling Club where my parents played. So. Similar delivery. Similar in a way. Yeah. A long stretch, yeah. yeah. He used to get down really low. He was a tall man. And he used to get down extremely low. Did he miss that one? No. Oh, you probably know, or well know, that uh, Here's the we read Doug Watson's book without bias. Uh, he speaks of Peter, uh, Tommy Harvey being his mentor mm. in his early days. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and he fortunately passed away at a very yeah. young age. Yeah, yeah. Early age. But of course, South Africa was still in isolation in those days, so I don't know how many international games he played. Well, the Natal P have got one back. Scores now 3 1. After two ends. The viewership also, from what I can understand, has been pretty good. Um, yeah, I believe it's passive. Yeah. Well, that's good to hear. Cape Town Bowls, Talking Heads, with Noel Solomon, have done a fantastic job. Yeah, it's been brilliant. But, um, obviously, as chair, I'm delighted then. Very really appreciative of what the committee's done. And um, you know, once the tournament started, there wasn't much for us to do. Um, yep. We've been pretty relaxed. Yep. Everything is just falling into place. Yep. That's what Roger was doing in the early games. Oh, I was getting them yeah, getting the right on top now. of the jack. Well, Johan, when I was uh, fortunately approached by yourself to uh, head up the commentary team, I was... Uh, Did you say fortunately or I was. unfortunately? No, 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 fortunately, mate. It's no question. I mean, <laughs> obviously, I, I, I took, a, took a little bit of a chance having no experience doing this, and um, I did an under-30 interview um, um, commentary at um, under-30 Western Province and uh, got a little feel for it. Um, so thank you for inviting me, and it's um, it's really been fantastic. And and I think I said to you up front. Brilliant, brilliant. I said um, I said to you right up front. You know, when you you get onto a committee and you get that uh, that feel of enthusiasm, you know, coming out of everybody. You know, then it's then it's then it's very easy to come on board. Yeah, the energy has been brilliant. <laughs> Been in the horse racing game for many years. I'm yes, Ben. I'm gonna pick them. Ben, no. <laughs> look at this. Come on. Look at this. Come on. Oh. Ready for Peter Harvey? Mm. That might just keep it down to two because let's see if Wayne's got to get within inches. Yeah. What a comfortable delivery he's got. Eh? Oh, yeah, my big mouth. <laughs> yeah, there's no doubt, Al, with that delivery, it uh, stands in good mm. under, under pressure, pressure situations, yeah. different conditions, yeah. um, speeds. And he's been around, he's, he's played a bit of indoor. 
Definitely brought a few cheer to them. I was speaking to him early on and um, he tells me he's now with Hillcrest Bowling Club okay. in Durban. Uh, he's moved away from Stella Park and uh, we all know Stella Park is a very, very competitive, strong club. Uh, a lot of their players fe uh, feature in the provincial setup. Uh, but uh, you know, Wayne was saying he's very happy with the move. Peter's winding up here. Close. Oh, he's got nothing out of that. Three. Yeah. And with that, um, the Natal yeah, the Natal pair have hit the front. No one shot. of us called it, this will probably go down to the wire. There's our Green Ranger, Ian, Ian Gordon. Done, Ian Gordon's done yeah. a great job. Attention yeah. to detail has been superb. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got to mention Jeffrey Clausens. Absolutely. He's been looking after these greens for many years. And uh, having played in the Western Province, uh, you get drawn in a competition, and uh, the draw comes out. You're at Durbanville. You're Happy smiling. Days. You're Happy smiling. Days. Yeah. Mm. Brilliant oh. start. Brilliant. Start. What's always amazed me also when I come to Durbanville, uh, you know, that a lot of clubs are going artificial banks, and you come here and you say why. I mean, the, his banks are superb, his course banks. The maintenance, they, they're doing something right. Well, they've got, uh, I've seen the equipment that they use, you know, they've got the right equipment. Let's see if Roger can compete his... Do the same again. What do you do when you get your first one close, Johan? What do you tell everybody with your second one? You've got to be anything don't, fast. Don't be, be short. short. <laughs> don't be short. Mate. Play through it, especially at this level, you know, with jack level bowls. Would he been? What, did, what have you thought of the, of the steely rink? Well, I mean, traditionally they, they don't, um, you know, they're sometimes not your best rink. Yeah. But I think it's okay. It's um, changed a little bit from day one. Yep. And two, they've moved it on, as you know. Yep, they moved it over by a meter. Um, you know, Johan, I, uh, you know, where, where do you go? Where, wherever, wherever you're playing, whatever competition you're playing, um, you know, this level competition, the players must they must adjust to it, you know. And I think we've spoken at length about the hand that uh, that Wayne is playing at the moment, and he's still playing it short, unfortunately. He's lucky Nick's not sitting next to me. <laughs> well, I mean, from a practical point of view, I mean, we don't have no, options to stay here. We uh, owe it to the spectators, yeah, yeah. Uh, and more importantly, the sponsors, yeah. Petri. Close here. Close here. Yes. Yes. Okay, well that leaves no doubt as to who the spectators are supporting. The local boys.
Will he come back? Can draw, Peter can draw another one, yeah? Seems you got the same similar line. Yep. Is he up? No. I think he was more concerned about being over the draw and sending the shots out. Well, that was an important draw from Peter. Absolutely. Square the game up. Does the uh, shirt slip out and the the bibs, if I may say, nice and bright, magnificent. Yeah. You use Tracy Mayadrix. Oh. Yeah. Don't, uh, yeah. Give yourself a pat on the back, Tracy. Oh, she she did a wonderful job. You know, it, everybody's she, commented she on the shirt. Did all the design yeah. work for us. Uh, produced the goods in time, accurately. Yeah. And I think it also helps that communication that you had with the players. I mean, you wear the green shirts or the white shorts, and you know, and, you know, make sure that the, your your uh, your partners dressed the same as you are. It helps. Tracy did the um, logos for us, oh. stickers. Well, there you go. You might go a bit brighter next year, just to make it a bit more visible. Yeah. You know, more yeah. red, more green. Yeah. yeah I think you, uh, certainly from a commentary point of view, you get to know the bolts, you know. Uh, so if the, uh, if the spectators, um, they pick up on the bowls, the colour of the bowls. It's not like in the old days when we started, John, and I hope I'm not ageing you uh, too much. Uh, I never played with brown bowls. <laughs> brown shoes. <laughs> <laughs> brown shoes, mate. My late friend, Uncle Francis, was he always said, be careful of the guy with the brown leather bowls bag and yeah. the brown belt and the brown shoes. <laughs> well, thank goodness the game's moved on. That old story of old man's marbles drives me absolutely crazy. Strange, changing very yeah. quickly, I believe. Yeah. You know, um, what well, that's got to do with, I believe, you know, what South yeah. Africa is doing, and yeah. uh, business league, yeah. and what we're seeing here now, and, and the likes of World Bowls and the World Bowls Two event, yeah. very colourful, yeah, and obviously that shot, uh, you know, the shot Nicky Brett played. Was absolutely brilliant for the game of, of bowls. Yeah, I think uh, for those who aren't aware of what Johan is talking about, uh, go onto YouTube and type in Nick Nicky Brett or Nick Brett, and you will see the phenomenal shot that uh, that he played. I think Jason was saying it meant so much to the game of bowls that uh, that one particular shot he played. I would add it. Uh, to that was Hannah! Oh, oh. oh. comment before he played the shot Correct. in front of the crowd. Yeah, yeah. Something to the effect that you've got all of two inches, two inches to do it, to mate. Uh, you yeah. go and do it for us, yeah. and he did it. The crowd just oh, loved oh. it. Yeah. Sensational. <laughs> nice to see the boys are smiling, having a bit of fun. Uh, you can't tell with Wayne eh? whether he's up or down, nothing changes. from the crowd to that shot.
54 to Wayne and Roger. Off to four ends. Five ends? Yeah, sorry. Five ends. Sorry, there's a bit of a glare coming off the TV screen monitor. This has made a big difference, Sean. Roger's come to the party. As I said earlier, you know, it's a question of how quickly Roger settles. Um, it took him an end or two. Um, but he's, he's in business right now. What a running. What a running. Yes! Uh, we'll take that yeah. with a little bit of an apology from Kevin to, yep. to Roger. Yeah, careful, Johan. <laughs> okay. Watch your language, <laughs> mate. Uh, that's it. Well, there you go. That's yeah. you Roger Ball saying, mate, you've got to that's draw the it. Way you do it. Yeah. Just don't do it again, Kevin. Back on the draw, mate. <laughs> Won't come back from there, will it? No, no. And he hasn't really dropped the weight. Yes. Weather conditions also. Sorry, too. Yeah. You know, it's a factor. Right? I mean, you know, from this morning when we first started, and uh, it was obviously a little bit slower. It speeded up as they playing on it and walking on it. It was cold. It was breezy. It was cold. Yeah. It's turned out beautifully. It's uh, yeah. We're very lucky. I mean, I know we were well, concerned. That, that was the one thing that was out of our control Alan, from that very start. That was our biggest concern sure. because, you know, you, uh, we've only, we only had the four days and yeah. if we had adverse weather, we would have been in a, we could have got ourselves into a bit of trouble. Lots of trouble. Um, Look at this. Oh, he's going to stay with it. And as in any other sport, in the game of cricket, you don't want to shorten the game uh, <coughs> and say the plus to bowls. You don't want to be down to a seven in the... Uh, Etc. Mm. Yeah, we're very, very fortunate because I think if it happened last weekend, we would have been in trouble. Oh, well, I mean, <coughs> the weather we had three, four weeks ago, storms oh. flooding. So there was a risk. The fortune we got that sort of weather early in, in Cape Town, in the Western Province. But, you know, we don't. Uh, fortunately, we don't, didn't have too many options no. uh, playing this event. Um, we've got to do it timelessly so that uh, yeah. winners can yeah. make, ensure that the travel arrangements are made, uh, the visa applications are in timelessly. Be that one there. It's a sort of problem we would love to have had ourselves, eh? to be on an opportunity where we could have been going overseas to play bowls well, at an event like this. Oh, you played oh. it. I mean, I know, I know, Johan, you've been there before. No, no, no. That's not, that's now not, I'm actually sorry I've raised that point. That's not the point I want to make. The point I want to make is that I am going to Potters next year. I've been invited by Mr. Jason Potters. All expenses paid. It's the same old story. It's not what you know. All expenses paid. Cheap air tickets to Cathay Pacific, courtesy of my son, John Pierre. Wow. Well. What a pleasure. Absolutely. Peter. Come, Peter. Run. Peter. Run. Oh, he's Peter. Close. He's very close. Peter. What a great shot. Yeah. What a great shot to the hobby. Take you back to that semi final day when uh, I think playing the eighth end of the first set, things weren't looking good for him against Stoffel and Fred, and, uh, and, he, and, he, and he played a played top a shot, shot to get three. Yeah. That, that yeah. turned that game, that made all the difference. All the Anna. difference, yeah. Yes, Alan, I can't thank my committee enough. I mean, you know, Jenny Griff is arranging the uh, markers. It's nice coming to a tournament like this as a player, mm. not to have to mark a game. Absolutely. And they're professional markers. Uh, unlike our tournament director that's just dropped the shade on us. Shade drop. If 
so I'm going to add to that our tournament director, Bruce yeah. Lafonsqua, put a lot of work into this, you know, the setting up of the scorecards, arranging the format, etc., etc. He's done a great job. Brilliant. No, brilliant. I mean, you uh, you go onto Facebook or, or YouTube and you see the colourful display that comes up in front of you. It's, um, it's really magnificent. It's half decent, yeah? Fall then. There you go. Hold on. Very close. It was a bit loose the last two ends. Yes. What can Roger do? Yeah. It's, um, I'm sure it's a phrase that you've used, heard, uh, used very often is dovetailing. It's a very important part, you know, if the one fell, the other one's got to get there. You know, I'll be like what he's seeing in front of him. All to play for, touch on the jack. Seems to be, if his weight's good, he's close. Very close, Alan. Weight's good, he's close. Don't find the hole, Pete. What a great effort. Unreal. So as I was saying, um, dovetailing you, I'm not sure you you've been in that position. Um, yeah, it's important, but I mean, yeah. in this format, uh, more so the leads yeah, got yeah. the first two bowls, you know, or his yeah. first bowl. In that two ball, two ball pairs, eh? Very good. Got we'll the a, ball. We'll have a discussion um, for next year's event. There's been some talk about changing it to a three bowl pair game. It's interesting, um, it comes with challenges from a timing point of view, have yeah. we got enough time? Uh, it certainly makes for better viewing, uh, more consistent teams I think would, 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 would do better under those conditions. Watch this. He's played two good bowls but got so, no result. So it's, we're looking at that. Uh, our tournament director, Bresler, quite brilliantly said that we just stop and have enough time. So it's, but that's something we, we, we're going to be discussing. It's a possibility. Uh, we don't have to play to the, the same format as, as the World Bowls Tour. If, if it's going to make for better bowls and better viewing, then we may consider it. I think he's good again. Doesn't want the edges. Oh, oh, didn't want that. Very lucky. Nice little steal. Want to Kevin? Yeah. No. No. Seven five. To picture of Kevin. Yeah, Johanna, I'm always. Um, of, a, of the opinion that it's um, always good to communicate with the players and see what, how they feel about it. Um, I think everything these days is, is leaning towards um, speeding the game up, game up and make it more interesting for the viewership. And um, I think this one's, I like this two ball piece format, I, I really do. I mean, when they've gone in the uh, sort of the recent past, they've moved from four ball pairs to three ball pairs. Um, I, I prefer that also, um, but but this, this, this is the way I, I think we're moving in the right direction with something like this, personally. I certainly think four ball pairs are something of the past mm. at, at all levels yeah. of play. Yeah. In my opinion, the, the three ball pairs game is uh, the ultimate. Yeah. Yeah, that's my opinion. Well, I can recall uh, many years ago, and, and, and I went regularly to uh, what Worcester called the two ball trips. And 
um, that that format also was was brilliant. I mean, you were playing something like five quick turnaround, five yeah. games in the day. It was an outstanding competition. Very popular. Those three greens at Worcester were always, always full. Yeah. If, if always the, good. Always good. If, uh, if, uh, if the wind's not right, if the wind can get up there, trust me, I know. No, 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 no. I fully agree. Now, I've played there where the snow is so low on the mountains. They are the trophies. Yeah. Not too bad. Huh? Well done, Cole, our producer, for showing us that. Uh, Very good second. Great yeah. hole. Now for your shot, but uh, gives his skip a chance. that Wayne will be feeling that um, the two of them will have to score on this end. Yeah. Even if it's just one. Yeah, definitely they need mm. to score. Yeah. Make the trip, Peter. Are you going to make the trip? I've just been wondering, we've seen a couple of games um, where the players don't favour playing that clubhouse side of the green. And I don't know because they're falling short. If it's not, you know, they're not playing it on a regular basis. They're not playing that hand, so maybe it's a little bit heavier because of that reason. Whereas they both, they all seem to be sticking to the hand that seems to be holding a little bit. But um, the games we've watched today, certainly somebody like Wayne Roberts, uh, to see him falling two meters short on that hand, there has to be a reason for it. That could, uh, yeah, that could change uh, Wayne shot. Wayne shot yeah. He's thinking. He's got the best back. I'm sure he's got to go. Uh, Wayne's actually just said, "What about the burn? Where does because the white gets spotted on the two meter mark?" I think it belongs to you. Yeah, it does. I don't think he's got an option. Yeah, no, he's, got he's, to go. he's got to pull the trigger. Yeah. Bowl helps him now. They've got knocked in. It's uh, what we decides. call it the working bowl yep. sometimes. If he decides to play the backhand, he certainly has the option of using that ball. And he's been pretty accurate. Uh, I was surprised in the yeah. earlier game, early in the game, when he was. Uh, um, oh. Okay, I'm sure Wayne will say that's not the best drive he's ever made, but um, hasn't done any damage as such, he's only one down at the moment, and that's what it is. But he needed, as you said, John, he needed to score that in, so they put themselves into a bit of a pickle, there's three shot difference with one end to play. Now they're all wishing it was three ball piece. <laughs> Well, certainly, no certainly Wayne and, and Roger would be. Yeah, to to get three out of a you know, four bowls, not easy. Not against these boys. Yep. So uh, a good first bowl would obviously secure the set. Will make it very tricky. Yeah. In the top boys. I think he's off to a good start here. Well, Nick Russell is going to be taking over you over from you for the second set, Johan. So before he gets here, although somebody will tell tell him, please don't adjust your sets. Uh, <laughs> No, he's, he's been yeah, good. Oh, yeah, yeah, I love it. Yeah, and Nicky gets, a lot of yeah, spark Nick gets very, the very, he gets very excited. excited. Yeah. And um, he understands the game. He calls yeah. it right. So don't adjust your volume. Right. Do you adjust his weight? <laughs> Value 
his yeah. first bowl. Yeah, I was very really fortunate to have played with um, Kevin's dad. Look at this. Oh, just under. Yeah, ah, sorry. Kevin's grandfather, Eddie Douglas. His dad is also Eddie Douglas, who's out here watching. Nice to see a few of our Constantia members have come down to support Peter, standing on the ramp there. Important bowl, you know, to get another one in the head yeah. in case they get uh, rid of Kevin's bowl. It's going to be very tricky for yeah. boys from Devon to get a possible peel, yeah. Three shots, that's what they need. I don't Four see how they can get bond. it. No, won't come from there. Mm. Sure. Yeah. Just got to, got to, got to get to the back yep, now. Yeah. Secure the seat. Oops. Oops. Hello, Peter. Settle. Oh dear. He's got a lot of weight on this. Oh dear. Hello. Oh dear. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. That's good. That's very good. Somehow Wayne has to get that ball to get past his front ball through to the back two over here to have any chance. I don't see how he can... Maybe if you're looking at the screen now, if you can get the ball, the jack white ball to move to on, the right of the screen. On, onto Roger's ball and then through. Yeah. Maybe a flick off, the, off Roger's ball. Positioning, positioning, and positioning themselves on the rink to see where where the jack needs to be. Not impossible. Very difficult. But very difficult. Peter's was so important. Yeah. It doesn't help when you get yourself into this position and you're walking back to the mat to play and there's so many different, you've talked, spoken about this shot, you've spoken about that shot. Very difficult to focus again and play the shot that you're supposed to play. Well, let's see if he can do it. As we were saying earlier, you've got, you got to be clear. Yeah. So you've got to go on the mat with uh, different thoughts. Oh, I can plan and pull it off. Okay. Control weight. Or is under. Is under. Yeah. First set to the local boys. Thank you very much, Johan. Um, Coming, in, so. coming into the hot seat now is uh, Mr. Nick Russling. Thank, Thank you very you. much, Johan. Hello to the one and only, Nick Russling. Welcome, young man. Uh, afternoon, Al. Yeah, had a good lunch. Fantastic. That's another. Uh, that's another point we can raise. The the, the food at Durbanville. You know, the, you have competitions like this. I mean, the most important part is to get uh, the players. You know, make sure the conditions are good for them. But anybody that's come down and supported us, the spectators, and food has been phenomenal. 
been been uh, first class. Yeah. Kudos, kudos to the Moore Bowling Club. It's been outstanding. I think uh, I think um, Kevin has really come into the final. Yeah. Uh, good turnovers from Peter. Got them the first set. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Once again, came to light with a great shot. Yes. To turn that set around. Yes. I think Roger Bull has been very consistent. He's been one of the finds of the tournament, I feel. And he's in the in the provincial setup at Port Natal. Even in the interviews, I think Roger pointed out that uh, in the trial heads, uh, just about every one of Kevin's balls was toucher. Yeah. So. Uh, it's going to end up, and the needs have had a good battle. You know, it's been look at this, pretty even. Look at this. Yes. 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 Nice, yeah. nice big crowd this afternoon. We'll come after lunch. Come enjoy some yeah. top class bowls. I mean, off off mic, we've been speaking about Kevin, Kevin Douglas, his ability. Oh. I was saying <coughs> before you joined us, his uh, his granddad Eddie was a top bowler in the Western Province. Uh, got to play, played at, uh, at my club, Constantia, also. Yeah. Got to know Eddie very well. Went to a few nationals with Eddie. Also, it's almost like a professional lead. You know, that's that's what he made up his mind up front. Him and the late, great Dennis Granger. I'm sure that's another yeah. one. Yeah. And I've always said to guys that start this game, you know, don't, don't be too keen to jump to second or third or back rank. If you want to play at the highest level, if you can perfect that that lead position, I think selectors will almost put you in first. Huh? Pick you first. Yeah. 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 Playing another good shot. Yeah. shot. Maybe a bit unlucky, just yeah. made the head slightly bigger. One less roll on Kevin's whip would have been better because it would have tightened up, given uh, Wayne Roberts something to play to. <laughs> Roger, close. He's in the way, I think he's close. close away. I'm going to listen to the roar of the crowd. Oh, the roar of the yeah, crowd tells you he's found the port. Okay. Uh, a lot of muttering going amongst the crowd. Oh, oh no. Geez, okay, now we can see. Now yeah. we know why they were muttering. How did he get through there? Yeah. Oh, you got to get past there, I think. Maybe just turning. I like the call Do you? Do you? Okay. Okay. Right. Make up your mind, Pete. You're happy with it? Right. Yeah, Pete likes it. I mean, Wayne I mean, Roberts was unlucky there. Couldn't play it any better. It's uh, been the first end of the second set and you've won the first Come on. Come on. even if he plays a good shot here he could fatten it up aggressive a nice little chop and line four or five yards away gets anything up front there he's getting results he's got the best two backwards no just coming back to kevin douglas you know he was uh, on top you know he was on top form and he's then he had a, a young boy. So yeah, you know, quite rightly, he took a sabbatical. I uh, see Mrs. Douglas is here supporting with the baby. So it's great to see. And Wayne. Yeah. Wayne's wife and baby right. are yeah. also here. Yeah, I was watching the little one crawl around, so mom's keeping busy. Yeah. What, what hand would you play here? Would you drop, try to drop inside a yellow on the ditch side, or would you stay on that backhand? Um, look, he's got to be aggressive. It's more than likely because of the short bowl of Rogers. Um, I would take the option of playing the backhand. Uh, you've got to get some sort of movement yeah. on the white ball. Yeah, but at the moment, I mean, he looks like he's four down. Taking into consideration. I wouldn't play with it. Taking into consideration the backhand does hang a bit with yeah. a bit of weight, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play with weight, and even if I get the shot ball onto the white, and the yeah. shot ball goes through. It's one down. One down, yeah. If you, if you get it perfect, you make two. The perfect result is to chop on red, follow through and trail the white through for three. Yeah, that's the maximum result. 
think we spoke earlier about percentages. Yeah, yeah I thought you would go forehand. I thought you would go forehand, yeah, because he gets the split there. Split there with, let's see, I think he's going to play trundling weight, 4 5 weight. Oh, yeah, yeah, there we go. That's the, that's the trundling weight. Is he just, oh, he's wide. Got one out. Yep. So I think that just goes to show viewers that I was right. <laughs> Maybe not. <Okay. laughs> I like yeah. the shot, yeah, I like the shot, I think he, yeah, the split was there, maybe could have got a bit more of a better result yeah. off uh, Rogers Wood, but not to be, they took one out. Well, the local boys have uh, settled nicely, um, it's now for the Port Natal lads to try and uh, rattle the cage a bit. Get that mat. Mm. I think uh, I think what's important here is that Roger stays close to Kevin. Yeah, because Kevin is, is really starting to to, to, to ping the white. You know, he's attacking, playing with good weight, good line. He's in the zone. It's for Roger just to just to stay. Don't have to get shot, but just build it up for yeah. one to turn. Correct. You know, and if, and if Kevin does slip, is to then climb. It. Look again. Look at this opener from yes, from Kevin. Kevin. Can hear the crowd. Yeah. You know, when Kevin was playing in the provincial side, you know, as a lead, you know, I think he played two, three tournaments each time he came back, player of the tournament. Yeah. And then we moved him up to third, so he was game was progressing lovely. Roger, uncharacteristically sh very short, he's been in the area. Going to switch his hand to the backhand. Yeah. Surprised, I'm yeah. back myself to go inside. What do you say? Oh, I think he's a bit tight, eh? Looks tight. Yeah. Oh, he's running on. Oh, oh Kevin! Good training, Kevin. Good training. Good yeah. training. Watch just needs to get something close. Yeah, second yeah. shot. Give something to play to. Yeah, he's kept on his hand. Of course, uh, Kevin's dad is also with us today. Yeah. His proud father, uh, sitting on the on the bank, watching his son perform. And uh, yeah, Kevin Douglas, fantastic drawing by the. See, good crowd here at Dermot. Packing them ten deep again. Devil Pete's ales have been dropped. <laughs> Yeah, so what's nice to see, I've seen a couple of the under 15, under 30 junior players of Western Province coming to watch. Oh, well, that's good to see. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. 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 Robert, let's see how he's played. You know, in the singles, he struggled on the sand, and a little bit I've watched this in this year, so I wasn't. It's good. Again, he's short on that hand. The whole day he hasn't found a weight on that hand. Mm. Weight speed. Uh, Peter's weight was good. Just drops it inside. There we go. Round weight inside. Round weight or inside? Inside. Little white will be good. Yeah. Mm. Be dead dry. Um, certainly doesn't look around. Play your own game. Yeah, play your own game. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's the right yeah. shot. Why is the skip? There we go. Skip me! So I'd like that. I'm a bit fortunate. You know, if you uh, could have hung and turned Wayne in for second. <laughs> I'd love that little chirp from Kevin. Just play your own okay. game. Yeah. You know, don't listen to me. I think he's wide. He's wide. Local boys are taking oh, like yeah. definite control. Definite control is set. Set in. Get another uh, clear of four. Oh. Mark is already showing three. Yeah, Jenny. Jenny Phillips from Western Province. Yeah, quite confident. Must have a good eye. 
You think she's trying to twist, uh, trying to twist Kevin's off? Yeah. See? It's a pity that they couldn't get uh, maybe a bit of a grandstand going down outside, eh? Yeah. That would have been quite nice. Yeah. Um, they did it a few years ago when we had the King and Queen of the Rings here. Right. Um, I was saying to you, saying to Johan earlier on if you know they put some of the seats down there they could have maybe put a few more down there yeah. you know yeah. created a nice atmosphere I mean the one year at the SA Masters I think it was when Jerry won his first SA Masters when he played uh, the uh, Australian Steve Glasson and South Africa made like a stadium rink it was phenomenal yeah. you know, great, great atmosphere Roger needs to just just get back good. I like it. He's turned his back on it. Yep, and he's short. Is the occasion getting to him? I think just the constant pressure, constant pinging of the white from Kevin is you know making Roger trying to be too good. <laughs> he's just got his weight. Yeah, he's weight so good. Yeah. The locals, the locals are enjoying the expedition he's putting up. Yeah. That's what we've come to see. Can Roger respond? Can he get it back? Can him and Wayne turn this around? Six nil after two. Yep. There we go. Yep. There we go. That's all right, Mr. Roger Hall. Well played, sir. <laughs> Roger liking that one, giving himself a nice little tap on the fire. Pete, yeah. Pistol Pete. Pistol Pete. People always ask, why, why, why do you guys always refer to Pistol Pete? Well, you know, the great tennis player Pete Zappas. <laughs> they called him Pistol Pete, Pete because yeah. he was just so consistently well, good. He doesn't like it. And there he gives the commentators uh, curse. Uh, Pete. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah. You'll get the next one. Half a chance here for Wayne. See it here, United. Never paddocks, never rushes. Just gets on, gets on with the game. Well, they would have been hoping to pick up multiple, yeah. yeah. Uh, Two, three. Yeah. But why? Come back from there. You think it's a bit wide? Uh, Roger likes it. Wait's good. Wait's good. Good fall in. Yeah, it's in. Roger calls it in. That's a good guide for Peter. He beats that one. He'll be close to shot. Let's see if he can make the correction. That's what Bowles is all about. Making the correction. Nice, good. Oh, Kevin's calling it. What's the weight? Ah, uh, weight's going to cost him. Yeah. Oh. Asking for a good to move. You know there's something wrong. Well, I think that's a bit of an opportunity. Uh, Get them back into the game. Get, get them back into the game, yeah. You know, six to up and, you know, what do you do? Drop one, it's fine. But dropping a three gives them hope. And he has, he has a missed opportunity. Well played. Yeah, well played. Yeah. Well played. Yeah. Well played. Yeah. Three shots, six three. Looking forward to the singles final, Warren Stein versus uh, Wayne Roberts. Yeah, should be an absolute cracker. Yeah, uh, let's see if Warren, uh, Warren pulls the mat like he did yesterday. Yeah, yeah, turned the, turned the game yeah. around. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it's it's uh, lovely watching Warren and the enthusiasm. Uh, yeah. He's really appreciating the fact that he's involved in this. And yeah. You know, he's got nothing to lose. Yep. He's the underdog here. The yep. pressure will be on Wayne. Sure. Playing well, he's just played here. Yeah. Gone, a, gone a bit longer, have they? Yeah. Matt's two up from the two meter. It's been a busy weekend for Wayne, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, I mean, he's played every session, so 
his bowling eyes in. Change of length, let's see how this will affect his, his weight, his line. The weight was superb. His weight was superb. Might have fallen in for sure. Yeah, no. Seems to be on that longer length there that the wood seems to be holding. And then you go adjust and then you drop inside. Yeah. yeah. Here's a good one. No? See, there it goes. It just goes. There's, yeah. there's that drop. Yes, it is. Just don't correct anything. Play mm. the same wood. You actually get the inside of Roger's bowl instead of the outside yeah. as you did, and yeah. good result. He looks good. Uh, don't no, like he's it. Tight. Don't yeah. like it. He was off the mat a bit quick yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, the change of length has affected Kevin. Yes. I mean, that's that's by his standards. Uh, yeah. He'll be very disappointed with that. Poor end. Um, and he hasn't had many of those in this game. He's been very very good. Yeah. Talking to Eugene Ferreira at lunchtime, and he says, "Brilliant, absolutely brilliant." Living it, yeah. yeah. He says this is living the dream. Yeah. You know? He says from the moment you walk in to the moment you walk on a green, you can, yeah. you know, you can see everything is well organised. Well, if nobody else is going to give us a plug, we'll give ourselves a plug. But uh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I think it's been very little wrong. It's really been a fantastic. Uh, Four days of bowls. Uh, it's not over. No, still another game to play. Yeah. Well, Pete, I think this is a good line for the Tiger. Very good line. Because it should drop. Don't hold. There it goes. Yeah, he's yeah. got that. His weight's good. Yeah. See, on that long, longer length for Joe. It's hot. It's all coming. This is a good line. If he's got good weight, he's a bit over. No, he can be a bit over. He can see inside the edge. No. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Uh, uh, so let's see. Can Peter make that slight adjustment to the line? I think he's nice. tight. He's going to get the white ball. There we go. He's, he's going to stay with it. He's going to stay with it. Yeah. Stay with it. There he does. Yeah. 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 To uh, Douglas and Harvey. Fortune favours the brave there. Absolutely. He hung, hung with it. Yeah. Uh, you can see by Roger's body language, he's not too happy with his yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh, I like that little bit of uh, needle there. I like that. Come on, Rog. Me and him had a bit of a ding-ding in the Interprovincials, which we had a few beers over afterwards and a laugh. That's what it's all about. Yeah, that's all yeah. about trying to get into your opponent's head, yeah. which he successfully did on that day. that last ball he got the result yeah. and when he delivered the ball he almost seemed to lose balance a yeah. little bit yeah. yeah it looked like it eh? yeah and we thought he was tight well he was tight but he but the weight held him up now as soon as you get control of the mat and you get back to the length that you're finding it makes all the difference yeah. eh? and he's got the support of the local being a local boy he's got the support so always helps always help that could be the the third man in the pairs yeah Rogers, Rogers responding. Yeah. Oh, on the crowd there. Trying to pump himself up. I like that. Yeah. And a fair crowd also. Yeah. I mean, well, obviously they're going to be behind the local boys, but they they're still applauding yeah. for uh, the boys from Durban. Yeah. Appreciative. Applauding. Yeah. Very appreciative crowd. Like I said, you know, normally Durban will get their their Durban raw, Durban will raw going, but. Well, uh, Marilee's been a bit quiet today. I don't think she's behind the camera. Maybe she's a bit shy. 
Stay. He's asked if he can change, and he's, he's changing. Given the go ahead to change, yeah. he's playing the clubhouse hand. I thought maybe he um, could have stayed. You know, yeah, I'm sure he could turned have. his wood, dropped inside wide. You know, if he's even tight, he sits on Kevin. Yeah, he's got to change, change a weight, change a line. Got to hang around for a second. Oh, Wayne likes it. Wayne, uh, gee, the weight was good. Huh? Yeah. yeah. To me. Perfectly honest, I think that did change the better hand. This is what we've been saying over four days. Yeah. Um, I mean, look at that last year. We saw four woods hang wide, a perfect way now. Okay, Peter happened to the white ball got in the way. Yeah, yeah. Um, he had two yards away. Yeah. But you know, when you're playing a hand like that and you've played one ball and it hangs a little bit yeah. and you find the wrong side of the shot ball, yes. I always have a problem here. How do you adjust that? You know, you know, you've got to be so perfect on the hand. I think there's a huge chunk of luck that the white ball got in the way. Sure. Peter yeah, was off Peter, balance there. Yeah, yeah, again, again. Sure, uh, yeah, I wonder if he's yeah, getting okay, tired. There we go. Okay. Well, that tells a story. Yeah. Yeah. He's uh, stretching a bit. Oh. Looks like I, I need to go in for a, a knee op. Maybe yeah. I can get a uh, buy one, get one free. <laughs> How wide is Wayne? Can he get back? Yeah, Wayne's good. Yeah, Wayne, is that wood a bit of an irritation? What's going on in the back here? Let's see here. Seven three down on the set. One down on the head. Two at the back. Peter must be really battling with that. S skipper's half Stop injured. Supposing right? skipper's half injured. Narrow. Yes, man. Yes, sir. So three down. If it's three down, I'll be drawing. If it's only one down, I'll be putting the white in the box. Uh, for see, Roger said to him, have a go at it. Does it? Yeah. 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 Wayne yeah. might not have agreed, but I think Roger's certainly indicating. Yeah. No, change it up Control a bit. Control the weight, eh? Huh? Control the weight. There we go. Get his rest there. He's going to rest and he sliced the white. Yeah, yeah, I like that call. If, yeah. he, if you hang, you turn in Roger's wood. Good call, Roger Bull. Surprised the, lo the local boys didn't see it. Because this is uh, Wayne's attacking shots are, are pretty accurate. He has to drop Gal. He has to drop, and he's not good effort. Good effort. Jenny showing Jenny two. Jenny two. Two. Yeah. Yeah. two. It is. I'm still looking, and she's walking away. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Nine three. Yeah, it's, uh, Nine three. <sighs> It's getting away, it's getting away from the boys from Durban. Are they are their hands warming towards the trophy, the, the local lads? Yeah. Come on, Western Province. <laughs> Don't get nervous now, lads. I think Pete's maybe getting nervous and he's giving in. Now my, my concern with Peter is that he seems to be battling a little bit physically, yeah. so hopefully yeah. that doesn't affect his game. Yeah. We're moving closer to the end, so hopefully he can get through it. Yeah. You can just hang hang tough for four ends. Yeah. Ah. Port Natal boys have got, got it all to do. I think Roger needs to just up his game 5%. I think if that happens, and uh, I think we could be in for an interesting last three or four ends. I've just realised something. Peter wins, and they go over to the UK. Yeah. He more than likely won't be available to play league for us. Well, then that might put Constantia <laughs> into the relegation zone. Right, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, they go yeah. over in uh, January. They go to Potter's yeah. Leisure Resort. Yeah. Uh, that's a phenomenal resort. Yeah. Being there, it's, it's just next level. Uh, put on a great show. You, you get bowls during the day and um, and in the evening. And they also have, uh, it's uh, more like Roger. Yeah. 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 Well played, Roger. Bull. Just to heard me say that he needs to up his game, he has that most definitely. I mean, at, uh, last time I was there, they had an indoor swimming pool, they had a gym. Um, I watched uh, Tribute to Queen. <laughs> ah, brilliant. Yeah. You know, and, and, and you get to mingle with the crowd. Ah, it's, it's a great experience. So if you ever go out to Norfolk, Norwich, Stow I think it's in Stow Stowworth or something, out that way. 
have a, have a look at it. Really interesting. That's Potter's Leisure Resort. <clears throat> Come on, Rog. Draw, show us your drawing ability. Yeah, somewhere two. between Kevin's back yeah. closest bowl. Is yeah. he going to bend in time? I think so. Yeah. Wayne likes it. Just, no. just, just. Oh, good effort. Gets two good woods. Gets the other side of that bowl. He's yeah. better. You know, I certainly need shots now. You know, all, all you need is don't panic. You get two twos. You get nine seven with uh, two to play. Yeah, game's on. So uh, you, know, you don't need to go look hunt the big numbers. Oh, okay. Like like we said earlier, you know, like the tensor he said, look for the small tots. Don't go look for the barrels. Peter really flexing that leg. Yeah. Uh, four days of tough competition, you know, does, does question the fitness. Uh, we had a good chat Ooh, about that. Yeah, I didn't like the look of that. Yeah, yeah it's definitely, definitely worrying him. And you know Peter's delivery yeah. as he plays at your club. Yeah. His weight was good for what he was trying, just inside. Yeah. Come on, Pete. I think that little conversation they might have had in the, yeah. well, they had in the middle of the green there, it might have been a discussion about yeah. his, uh, his leg. His leg. Yeah. He says, no, I'm fine, I'm tough. Come from Constantia, born and bred in Plumstead. Good effort. I need that weight. <coughs> Just take your time. Yeah. Just wait for my ball. Yeah. I think the next one is quite important for. Well, I, I, boy, I don't like the look of that. I really don't. Well, it seems to be coming out yeah. smoothly. Yeah. Yeah. He's in the area. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's close here, yeah, Al. Yeah. Is he going to hold up? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Off a chance, yeah. I think Wayne Roberts needs to take his time, make sure he gets, uh, just needs to draw another one. 9-5, yeah. three to play, not out of the set. I'm sure he'll he'll be close, man of his calibre and quality. Hasn't really played that hand well, has he, the no, whole day, all even all when day. he was playing singles. Come yeah. on, prove me wrong yet. Well, for once, he's up uh, and past, so he's yeah. given it a chance, okay. I think that's a missed opportunity. One, yeah. One, yeah. Yeah, the Western Province pair will be quite happy to drop one at this yeah. stage. Kevin's finding it going back down. So let's see. What are we going to do here? Oh, here we go. Here we go. He's asking the question. Yeah. I would go even further, Rog. Yeah. Like it. I like it. He's changed it up, mixed it up. Saw that uh, Peter Harvey might be injured. Might be taking a bit of physical strain. Tell you one thing, Peter will be exceptionally happy this is the last game for him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He did mention to me early on in the week that he had a bit of a niggle. Yeah. Uh, hasn't shown until now. Yeah. As you say, you know, four days of bowls. Mm -hmm. And um, I know Peter find you know, he's he doesn't get down uh, regularly to roll up. Okay. Normally waits for a a, a, a big yeah. event and then he comes down and he yeah. rolls walls. And Look at this, Roger yeah. Bull. He's up yeah. his game. He's up his game. That's two fun touches. You heard me. Very good, Rog. <coughs> yeah, as I was saying, you know, Peter, I think, just finds it very difficult to get down to the club. He's a natural. No, he's a natural. I mean, I've seen this. close here. Yeah. Look at this from Kev. You're going to hear the Durban Bull roar. There's the Durban Bull roar. Well played, Kevin Douglas. Charlie, you had a good shot. 4-6, 4-6. Yeah, Kevin Douglas is the man. Yeah, he's the man. Forcing Rod to change, I'm sure. Gets the back end of his wood, gets the shot, or gets the inside edge, gets it open for Wayne to draw. I don't think uh, Roger will be short. No, I know Kevin Douglas has been playing for quite a few years and, yeah. you know, he's, as I was saying earlier on, you get the professional leads. Oh, what are you running off to that wood for? Hey, what's your oh, Professional leads, yeah. Kevin Douglas to me would make a professional lead. I, I, you know, that's, if I was sitting on a selection panel, he would be my first pick, Kevin Douglas down his lead. Yeah. I mean, any skip would... Um, I to have Kevin pouring balls into the head on a regular basis. Yeah, he's got a good technique. Yeah. You know, so and, and he's still got a little bit of ambition. Yeah, good call. Not short. Maybe on the wrong side of the white. Should have maybe been on the other side. Let's see. Wayne needs to make some magic. Ends are running out. Needs to get a two here. Far field. 
Definitely. Needs to manufacture. Four down, two to play. Tough ask. Wayne Roberts is Close. trying out. Close. He's trying out. He gets Close. the back end of that. He gets the shot. Can he get? Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, what a good oh. shot! And he's still down. Is that a, is that a sign? You know, you always look for little signs. Mm. What a good shot! What a good shot! Pete Hagner. shot. Pete Hagner <laughs> jogged down to the green with an injured knee. Now, how injured is it then? Mm. Yeah. Good call. You can take one. What a good shot oh, from Wayne. He's Wayne. running. Yeah, he's running. He's, he's running. running. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe that run might just yeah. loosen up the knee. Let's see how look at the delivery. He's got to try and get back to Rogers back with that Wayne turn. Very good shot from Wayne. Was unlucky not to get the result. Definitely. Is Lady Luck on, uh, on, on the Western Province? Yeah. Oops. He was not wide. Actually, he's well played. I do apologise. I do apologise. He's well played. I don't think he wanted to get that close. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Uh, I wonder. Mm. Has to play the same shot, just on the yeah, draw. Yeah, he's just got to. He can't play with too much weight because Kevin's got a back ball. Yeah, in that in that uh, corner. Right in that corner. Yeah. So he's got to play a neat shot here. Just to tap it. Can hold? he hold up? Can he hold? No, he can't. Take the one, boys. Yeah. 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 You're not having another go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Kevin's called it. He's taken charge. Just take it. Yeah, don't yeah. listen. Yeah. Don't wait, Kev. Pick it up. Yeah, Roger. Yeah. 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 Mm. Ten four. Kevin's definitely uh, to the play. Gaining in confidence. Uh, there we go. There's little chirps coming out. Yeah, focusing there on Jason Evans and Annika Snowman. I wonder if they're talking about the World Championships yeah. a bit later, hey? See me a bit there. Uh, uh, appreciative crowd. Yeah. There's the trophies. Yeah, looks like uh, Jason. He's a man from Manchester. Uh, Jason. Jason yeah. Parkinson. Yeah. I was watching the MotoGP before I came on. Okay. Nice sunny day in the UK. Watching, watching the drill and stuff, and then coming to watch the most of the So, what? Come on, let's see if Kevin can put a front toucher. Hey, deep breath. I think they can smell victory. They yeah, I think, I think uh, need a free. Uh, my opponent puts a front front toucher at this stage of the game. I think I'd be almost shaking hands. Yes, yeah, and he's not far out, Al. Yeah. he's not far out. Peter saying settle. Trevor, yeah. Okay. Is that a bit of adrenaline? Is that a bit of nerves? Could be. Could Roger, be. the last two ends has played a great first opener. I think he's close again, Alan. No. No. Oh. Advantage. Mm. The way Kevin's been playing is he's uh, almost like the first ball's a sighter when it's yes. not on top and his yeah. next ball he corrects it so it'll be interesting to see yeah. just smooth easy delivery and he's hit the line again do you think he's over corrected yeah, he's over corrected he's there he's there yeah. oh, you've got to try to get the inside of a foot that's going to be tough 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 You know, after losing their first game and, and playing absolutely putrid, they've really they come to the party, haven't they? They did. Yeah. Oh, Roger Bull, you need three shots and you're short. Yeah. Yeah. Now, I interviewed both uh, Peter and Kevin yeah. after that first game yeah. on the TV rink. And yeah. They were bitterly disappointed. And yeah. Jason and Jason Evans and Sean Thomas took them to the cleaners. Yeah. And, uh, uh, they were very disappointed, but they've certainly turned it around. Yeah. Bounce back. Come on, Pete. Just two good deliveries, and you are going on, on your way to the United Kingdom. Come on, it's Kevin calling. Oh, it's close. He's played a good one. He's close. He's played a good one. 
Uh, Alan, I think we're looking at the champions, yeah? yeah. Unless Plummer can plunder some magic. Sure. Come on, David. David Copperfield. <laughs> Come on, Wayne. That's a good one. He needs free, yeah. He needs a free. They need a free, because if they get two, it's only four. If peel is no good. Yes, I still no, he's in trouble. He's in no, deep they're in trouble. in deep trouble now. Now they're in trouble. Yeah. Now they've got to conjure up something. Well, this could be Peter's last bowl. Well, yeah. Okay. Yeah, Grimace. Grimace of pain. Uh, he's hoping it's his last bowl. I can see the guys at Constantia or Regas must be already planning a uh, trip. Yeah. Fill up the fill up the plane and let's go over and watch Peter and Kevin play at yeah. Potter's Leisure Resort. That's it. Huh? Have they conceded for a negative shot like this? No, I think they have. Have they conceded? They've conceded. Have they got, or have they got the entry? Yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Take a bow. That was a good showing from the Port Natal boys. I think uh, man of the match to me was Kevin Douglas. Set it up beautifully for uh, Peter. Peter. Peter again just played a great conversion in the in the first set to swing the momentum. Well played. Been a lot of bowls from Wayne also, yeah. hasn't yeah. it? So yeah. Maybe that was a factor. Maybe he's focused. Although he was under a bit of pressure. Yeah. Maybe his focus is on uh, on the singles. singles. Yeah. Kind of back himself there. Yeah. I think uh, we will cross over to John Parkinson on the green, and he will interview the winners. Over to John. Okay, well, I'm jo uh, joined on the green now by the winners of the World Open Pairs qualifiers. First of all, a massive congratulations. That's some achievement. Um, over the moon, uh, Jason. Over the moon. And uh, well played, Kev. Fantastic. You really were on fire there. Yeah, I think I think you both played really, really well. I mean, the, the first first set was you know it was very, very tight, wasn't it? It was a difference of the conversion shots, the positional bowls. You know, you really led very, very well, which always helps in two bowl pairs, isn't it? It's been, almost, I would say, the pressure is on the lead. Oh, you know, I've got uh, I've got the best skip in the back rank, so no issues at all. But <laughs> yeah, no, it's been an absolute pleasure. Eh? Like I'm over the moon happy. I'm um, sort of we've played well together. Great tournament, great organisation, team. Yeah, I, th I find it quite fascinating. Not only have you just played very, very well, but you've obviously had a bit of a sabbatical. Obviously, be becoming a father, you know. I think it's even more so. You know, maybe you have a, a couple of uh, breaks more often, and then you can go, go back and play. <laughs> just talk about the crowd. You've got you've got a home crowd here, but they're a fair, fair crowd. Did did that help how you were playing? Yeah, it definitely made a difference. The crowd was amazing today. Thank you so much, guys. <laughs> And I'd just like to, I'd just like to thank uh, our, our opponents today. They played really well. And uh, yeah, all the best for Wayne in the singles. So now you're coming uh, all the way over to the UK in January. You better war dress warm. <laughs> It'll be very, very cold. Uh, you'll be playing on either the, the 5th or the 6th of January in the World Open Pairs at Potters. I mean, there's not not a lot I can say, really. Is go on a diet first, because it's just lots of food. So make sure you have a good diet before you come. But talking about the conditions, so the World Open Pairs at Potters, for those that watch it, um, it's very quick green, it's more so because in the pairs, it's only laid almost 18 hours before you start. Yes, there's three indoor bowling greens there for you to get used to. So when you're going for something like this, is a very good surface, I think. But when you're going on to, you'd be expecting 19, 20 seconds for pairs. How are you going to deal with that? Because you don't have the indoor facilities apart from, is it midstream? So as a pair, what's, what's your tactics? What's your game plan going forward? Uh, we practice in the road a bit, uh, Jason, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On the, on the dance on the dance floor yeah 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 well uh, we're going to do the the trophy presentation later on so uh, until then enjoy the afternoon I'm sure you will enjoy the afternoon and once again congratulations. Thank you very much.
Well, that's it for the World Open pairs here in Cape Town. But coming up in around about 25 minutes time, we're going to see who's crowned the World Open singles qualifier.
Well, a very good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, uh, from all around the world. Welcome back here to Durbanville Bowling Club for the Fairtree PBA World Qualifiers. Four days of action-packed bowls, 64 top-class players. We're down to the final two. We're going to welcome onto the green now, please. So give a massive round of applause for Warren Stain. Uh, first of all, well done for getting here again. Um, now, let's talk about this. It's, it's a big game. It's all about tactics. I believe you have a very famous and successful mother, medalist in uh, Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. Yeah, yeah. mum's my inspiration in a big way. So what would she be saying to you now? You know, what kind of, Have you spoken to her? Is she giving you any little sneaky tips? Yeah, get closer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, could she be my coach as well? Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's just going to be really, really interesting. You, you're both playing very, very well. And uh, I just want to wish you the very best of luck. We'll chat more later. Thank you so much. Very welcome. And now to his opponent in red. Please welcome Wayne Roberts. Hello. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so once again, congratulations. Um, just been looking at some of the just looking at some of the comments that we get through onto the uh, the YouTube channel. So uh, for those people out there that may be wanting to improve the game, how how do you bounce back from something like this? You know, how do you people are saying it's tough to reset? But I mean, you've been around a long time. I remember meeting you in Hong Kong what five years ago. Uh, how do you bounce back? How do you reset? Yeah, just just a matter of just staying calm, really. Drinking fluids, obviously, and yeah, if you can have something to eat as well, and try and get your mind focused and just try and forget about that previous game. Well, once again, well done. Ladies and gentlemen, we're in for an absolute cracking World Open singles final. Massive round of applause, please, once again. We're going to hand you to the commentary box with Alan Lofthouse and Nick Russling. Thank you, Jason. Yeah, very interesting words uh, from our two competitors in the final. Um, and we... Uh, for the last time, you're joining us from Durbanville Bowling Club, who have put on a marvellous show. Four days of, as Jason was saying, spectacular bowls, and now it's down to the last two. If it's anything like uh, the performance that uh, Peter Harvey and Kevin Campbell produced, then I think we should be in for a great game. Just uh, welcome, welcome, Nick. Welcome back. Thanks, Al. Just to correct you there, not quite KC, but KD for Kevin Douglas. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Um, I think we're going to be in for a good, good game of drawing. Both players have been drawing quite well. Uh, Warren Stain is a front drinker in the JBA side. So yeah, and you know, yesterday when he was when he played, he, he went to the ditch end, and he started on the ditch end. So uh, yeah, yeah, I think he's learnt. I think it's um, we've been talking about it for days. Yeah. It's the first person I think that is actually, other than the first day, they were playing it. Yeah. And look at this opener. Yeah. Great look at opener. This opener. Cool. Great opener. And start. What is start from Warren? You know, and you know, Wayne Plummer Roberts has just come off a disappointing loss in the pairs. Mm. So he's got to get his mind uh, going again. You know, try and get that negative out. Now men alone, so if he plays game. Oh, good, good, okay. good response, yeah, yeah. Uh, after his first one. Hevel. The Warren Stain beating SA's number one, Jason Evan in the semi final. That's a, a nice little yeah, feather in his cap. Yeah, sculpt, yeah. yeah. So his confidence is brimming. Good line again. Taking his mother's advice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, good played. well played. Hello to Ismay Haley. Can you remember back in the day when I was still involved? Um, yeah, Ismay's a fine bowler. Has been for many years. It still is, eh? He's still competitive. Yeah. At, at the highest level. Yeah. SA Masters, you always seen her there in the always top there. runners. Yeah. Good effort from Wayne. Just hang in. Good weight. <coughs> so, yeah. A little bit under. A bit under. A 
under, but remember he's got the quantums and they'll hang, uh, they'll hang around. So if you're missing the line, he's not going to be punished too much. Uh, turn in his wood. Yeah, I might have been carrying a yard. Uh, is it Jenny Phillips on marking duty again, showing one? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. Yeah, just open the head ever so slightly, so exposing the white for Wayne to have a look at. Can he drop? Can he drop? Can he drop? Oh, oh that's done. One green. That's a bit unlucky. Not too much danger, I think, if he's got drawing weight, stays on his hand. Took away the chance of uh, Warren attacking those two bowls that were sitting together. Takes that away, so it's, I would think it's just back to the draw. Yeah. Yeah, a little tickle. Good drawing weight, keep it slightly wider. You should be fine. Good line. No, I think he's okay. Yeah. A little bit lucky. Was yep. um, yeah, on target. Yeah. Actually, a good opening yeah. in from yeah. from all of them. Yeah, from both of them. Orange. Yeah. yeah. Well, if that's the opening end, well, then we're in for a cracker. I think I must have a chat to Jerry and get myself a set of quantums. Well, it's not as I thought it was Warren's, but yeah. it's. And a nice tight measure. This will check, this will test the umpire's uh, shaky hands. Oh, and it's, well, it's, and it's hubby. And it's hubby. It's so hubby it's Alan. Hubby combi uh, combination. Husband and wife combination. Oh, and he's pulled out the 23 meter tape. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need a uh, one a bit shorter than that, Al. <laughs> I would suggest Jenny stands back. Yeah. Let Alan do his job. Yeah. It's fantastic to see him, Alan. Yeah, a couple of years ago, he had a brain operation. So it's fantastic to see him. Yeah, very, very, uh, very studious and very, very good at uh, umpire. Okay, one to Warren. Yeah, one to yeah. Warren. After the after the measure. Well done, Phillips family. Yeah. Let's see, yeah, there we go. Matt up. I like it. He's, he's learned from yesterday. Correct. Playing to his strength. Yeah. Yeah. Once he took that mat up a few paces, he was uh, he was nailing it. Yeah. He was really on fire. Yeah, you really, yeah, you really put uh, Gillian, Gillian, Gillian under Gillian pressure. Under pressure. Yeah. Didn't really see much of his semi-final this morning against Jason, but it, it, it was a seesawing game. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, there you go. Warren's yeah. opting for the yeah, clubhouse side. Yeah. The yeah. That might be a dead white. It's coming back nicely. No, it's all well, right. this. Yeah. 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 Ah, we Wayne staying, staying on that outside hand. Apprehensive crowd, but you bend, but you a bench of the ball. Just, there, we just a kick, just a little kick at the end, yeah. and it took him past Warren's ball. That's interesting, you know, mingling with the crowd at uh, during the break. Yeah, it's, listen to all the comments, and they really have loved, loved the tournament. You yeah. know, and, they, and they've been most impressed with the standard of bowls, especially today. So this is this is next level stuff, which it is. You know, yeah. it's a, and it's been a good advertisement. These players showing um, their skill levels from Port Natal up north. You know, because yeah. the locals only get to see the Western Province guys. Brilliant, I'll play yeah. Warren. Yeah, I think. Um what I've seen of Warren, and I must admit, it's not a lot until he arrived here in Cape Town. Um, I've been very impressed. I like his 
demeanor, his yeah. attitude. Yeah. Look at that, well played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just, um, you know, when he wins the game, the arms go up in the yeah. air. He's really motivated for this competition. Great response from Wayne, getting the check out. Line the shot. Uh, change yeah, change that. Uh, maybe he's going to try to play the turn or drop inside to trail the white to the yard. No, oh. he stayed on his four foot. So. Okay. It's got one of those de deceptive deliveries where you have to wait to see when it leaves his end. Is he up, Al? From four. Oh, he's well played. Yeah, well he uh, settled on this yeah. end brilliantly. Well yeah. played. Yeah. Yeah. Very consistent. Uh, we've actually been saying for four days now. Why? Why aren't they choosing to play the mm -hmm. club outside of yeah. the green? Like, have you got enough cross, mate? Yeah, has he? Wayne, have you got enough weight and enough cross? And I think he's got the weight. I think he's got the weight, but he hasn't just got the line. Just under. Oh. Yeah. Getting a bit yeah. in. I think this one's going to be really interesting as me and Alan are playing footsie footsie under the table. No, you didn't have to go there. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what uh, Warren will do here. Um, interesting head this. Um, when you try to draw another one close, because, uh, you know, will Wayne go a bit aggressive, put the white in the box for two or three? Will Warren try nullify the shot? What's your thoughts here, Al? I'm going to wait until Warren plays the ball, quite honestly. <laughs> Early part of the game. Yeah. Um, he's 1 0 up. Yeah. I, I think maybe 1-0 at this stage is good. You don't yeah. want to see, um, I'm now giving you advice, yeah. um, or calling a shot. Maybe get past the white ball, I think, is important. Yeah. He's playing the forehand again, and he's only drawing it. Wow. Let's see where he finishes. Is this a good fault? Yeah, well played. I like that shot. That's a very good shot. It makes uh, Wayne play a more neater shot on a hand, and he struggled with the yeah. whole day. Yeah. Um, that's a yeah. Very well played, Warren. Not too sure the way those balls are lying now. If it's actually, if Wayne's got two seconds or three. He'll play, you know, keep the line, add a yard, sit the wood out for that would be first prize. For yeah. three, yeah. yeah. Just keep the line, just add the yard. Guys kept the line. Has he added the yard? That's the question. I don't think yeah. he's got the weight out. That's unbelievable. Yeah, hey, oh. hey. If he went yeah. for the dead draw, I would have been playing through the head. Yeah. yeah. Add the yard, sit the wood. Yeah. But you know, like he had that extra weight on yeah. him, might have held the line. Yes, he would have. Yeah. But what's, what's interesting is he's hit the line twice and he's had decent weight, so I think it's coming into his own right. Warren has uh, settled nicely. He's played two good ends, but only scored two, two, two ones. Yeah. It might be a bit frustrating. He's thrown a bit of a longer length here. Uh, let's see, and I think on that longer length, uh, on the outside hand, it doesn't bend at the chain. Let's see, we haven't seen guys play with the chain in the longer length. Well, under normal circumstances, I would say this is narrow, but quantums. Yeah, I think he's, he is narrow. Uh, yeah, he would have been narrow. Yeah. Now, let me join to that. Wayne's yeah, sticking, yeah, sticking, staying, to staying to his game plan. Staying to his game plan. <coughs> yeah, it'll hold. Nice. It'll hold. It's opened up with a good no, one here. Yeah. He's well yeah. bowled. Well played, yeah. yeah. Response. Target on the hand he's been playing on the ditch end, you know, he's got the wood, the white. Oh, he's proved me wrong. I mean, Jason, yeah. who shot? Who shot? Come on, Jenny, stick up those. Yeah, show us the up. lollipop. No, she's scared. Maybe she needs a closer look. That's the road. 
That's right, and his weight's good again, Al. I think his weight's good, yeah. Yeah, well played, so. Very good. Very good. Very good. Shane, one red, so Wayne's got the shot. Oh, no. Shot, so yeah, the uh, way he's lining up, yeah, I'm surprised he changed his hand with his second one. I think this is a good shot for him. Yeah, can hold it up. Here we are, set to lip, the light. Yeah. yeah, he's got another one to recover if he slices it into the pocket. Uh, he's on a good track here, Al. I think he's close. He, uh, I think he's on a good will track. He here, Al. Will he be? Will he be? Oh, he set it up. He set it up. I like that weight he played with, yep. positive weight. Definitely. Crowd have gone into a bit of an afternoon uh, <laughs> lull. And uh, maybe just uh, bucking them up a bit. Will they come back from there? Oh, I think so, because I think when he hits this pitch here, it drops out about a 90 degree angle. Oh, such good, good weight, weight though. Good the weight. He's played a few good weights as they take a slow yeah. stroll up it's Sunday afternoon in the final. The weather's been absolutely fabulous a lot for the four days. Cape Town weather has played its part, which is good news, you know, the amount of rain we've had. Wow, very fortunate. Yeah. No, I think, uh, yeah. you know, they say if you're struggling for rain, always organise a tournament. Yeah, <laughs> quite right. right. Yeah. Warren taking his time. Well, he's got on his forehand. Again. Well, I'm surprised, you know, on his back and he sits the wood or he trails the wide. Right. Yeah, he's got one, he's playing uh, one one target. I and think that hand would be more difficult to play with the quantum. Quantum, yes. Yeah. yeah, look at that, it's just drifting. Yeah, I think uh, I think he played a wrong shot there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I agree. He played the other one and he played it with good weight. Why not just yeah. you know yes. sort the sort the line out or something like? If and anything, he could have maybe got a little bit more positive. You know, sat the wood or trailed the white with into the ditch. Yeah. Early blows. And Wayne take advantage. Yeah, early blows, early doors still. They're still filling one another out. No, I think he's close. Good, yeah. No, I think he's close. Very good, yeah. I think he's close. Very good. Jenny says, yeah. What's falling out? Oh, the fella. So, one, two, eight. He's opened his account. So, the, the, okay. winner, the, winner, the winner goes to Potter's Resort. And the runner-up goes to the Scottish, is it Edinburgh? Correct. Scottish yeah. Masters, yeah. yeah. Great experience. Uh, so, yeah. So, they're not just playing for first prize yeah, they're playing for a trip overseas. And to showcase their talents to, to, the, to the United Kingdom public. Yeah, I just love that chirp from uh, Peter Harvey about where you're going to practice. Jason said to him, you know, for the speeds, 19, 20 second, he said, out in the road. Because that's going to be the difference. Yeah. How quickly yeah. they can adjust to the speed of the indoor surface. And, yeah, uh, the indoor surface is, uh, it's, it's a great surface, but it's a very yeah. tough surface to do. Well done, Good open Yeah, you know. Try to play with a yard on, there you're going to get punished. Mm. So you've got to set your mind that you're just going to be drawing. Yep. I like this, Warren, not, not being intimidated by a good opening ball. Sticking to his close. Hand. And he's close. Very close. close. Yep. He's well played, yeah. He's going to stay with it. Oh, yeah, I think he might have sweet. Two good opening salvos. <coughs> There's 
the drift on that hand. And, yeah. <coughs> His weight was good. Yeah, yeah very good. But Titus Bolt gets his ball, gets his yeah. ball 100% correct. Yeah. Sits there for two. I think Warren's going to play a similar shot. Try to turn his round the corner. Uh-huh. It's all in weight here, Hal. I don't think he's got it. That's a bit no, he's dropped it. Yeah. It's unfortunate. <laughs> too, too neat. Whereas Wade is at the fault of being behind. Mm. I think he's under it. What do you think? I think it's, hold, it's holding it. Yeah, he's close here. He's close here. Oh, oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. oh, man. If it was a measure before, yep. it's now definite. Yeah, yep. yep. it was very close, half an inch to playing the perfect shot. Uh, but it won't change his shot much. It might uh, might get Warren thinking a bit. I think that's the unfortunate thing with Wayne is that um, he's only just missed by millimeters, yeah. and uh, the results haven't gone his way. Yeah. Even in the pairs final. Yeah. Positional ball. I don't think the jack's going to go anywhere if, uh, if Wayne's going to stay on, on the hand he's been playing. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I would have, if I was Warren, I would have been drawing close. I would have maybe slipped one in between the yellow and the, the turquoise and white ball. But let's see, he's maybe just trying to stop the worst wit. Yeah, yeah, it's all right. I think uh, oh, Wayne will f yeah, try and fix up that line by. A fraction why, no, on the why, back end. Oh, or why didn't he just add a foot to running? You know, that would hold that line and he sits the wood for three. Let's see what he does. I think that's what he'll do. I think that was a bit of a negative play by Warren. So he's, he's left the door slightly open for Wayne. Can he take advantage? Has he added the extra foot? You know, it's I close. think he's close, Al. Oh, he's played it like Very a bomb. Close. What a oh, great oh, shot. Oh, for three. Oh, what a good shot. Oh, what a good shot. Yeah, he's nice. forced Warren to change his hand. He hasn't played that hand much, so yeah. let's see if he can... Uh, As you said, Wayne just had to yeah. add a few... Just a little bit more weight, yeah. and he got a magnificent result. Ooh, will it come? Think, will it come? Can he get back? It's getting, it's coming he's back, coming Al. Back, yeah. He's coming back, yeah. yeah. Okay, well, he's cut one out. Yeah, well played. Good effort. Very good effort. Yeah. Yeah. Shot. Well played. Two, two, Wayne. two to Wayne. Goes three, two after four. That's tight. I think that's where the final could be decided: is who plays the conversion shots better. Yeah. I think they're going to both players are going to create heads and and see who can convert or play the right shot at the right time. Yeah. You know, there's never a wrong shot in bowls. There's never a wrong hand. It's yeah. just it's just the percentages. Wayne's taken it up the green a little bit. Yeah, he's playing yeah. a bit of Warren's game. Mm. Wow, it must be, uh, Interesting. Back in his ability, and he's running very yeah, short. short. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Oh, in the semi-final game against Nixa, Ben Gurik, he was. This was his favourite length. Yes. Mat up. It's quite short true. end. Yeah. Just over 23 meters. Yeah. I think it takes out that little kink there, on, yeah. you know, coming closer yeah. down to the two meter. He just gives a bit more of a bend. Uh, he backs his, the fact that he's a touch bowler and he'll... Good opener. Yeah. Yeah. There you are. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. About 30 centimetres. Playing to a blind white. Never easy. That's what's so good about it. No. Yeah. And he's changed his end. Oh, okay. I don't know if that's such a good idea, especially yeah. on that hand with quantums. Yeah. Okay, he was a little bit over the weight. But and he hung wide, look yeah. at that, he's at least two foot wide, so I don't, and I'm, I'm surprised he's changed his hand. Yeah, there was certainly no need to change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Is that the mental aspect that Wayne has created pressure? You know, first two ends, Warren played it very well. And good only again. Only got two, two singles. Good again. And Warren's played very well. Yeah. Oh, well played, Wayne Roberts. Oh, 
Lawrence, dang it. I see him. Umpire to move. Yeah. That's still staying on his forehand. Mm. Surprised. Yeah, this could be a better line for the front. Has he got the weight out? No. Has he got the weight out? No. No. But you know, no. interestingly, he's, created, he's starting to create a shot. Yep. Yeah, uh, setting himself up, up to yeah. change his hand. Yeah, he's got he's got the backward. Backhand. Yeah, what will Wayne do? Will he try to tickle it around the corner? Will he have, be thinking, let me have the fault of being three foot behind? I think he's certainly gone wider. He's gone a lot wider. He's no, not he's sure. Actually, he's actually putting in the back one. Oh, yeah, yeah, well played. Yeah. yeah, like I said, his weight was good for yeah. the tickle around the corner. Just, just pushed it. This will, I haven't watched, I haven't seen much of Warren, so I don't know how aggressive he is. Doesn't look like an aggressive person, um, but I'm sure he's got to play his backhand. About two, about a yard, two yards away. Or is he going to back himself on the draw? Let's have a look. That's staying, staying on the forehand. Staying on the forehand. What's, uh, yeah, backing, his, backing his ability on the draw. I like that. I like the confidence. It's a better line. Much better. It's a better line. Much better. Yeah. Look at this. Can he drop? Difficult. No, unlucky. Foot, foot less and yep. he had the perfect result. Is it one? Oh, no, Jenny's still showing two. two. Yeah, yeah, you can see on the shadows there. Yeah. If I was Wayne, I'd just drop it inside of my last foot, make it free, take a nice okay. little 6 2 well, lead if, if, if Warren seems to miss okay. after five. Putting a bit more pressure on Warren by yeah. walking up and letting him think about it. That's it, slow it down. Yeah, yeah let him think about it. Head's not in it's not in his favour. Don't see that Wayne's got to do a hell of a lot. As you say, just draw yeah. inside yeah. his if I was position. Wayne. Yeah. Position's yeah. good. Yeah. Just uh, adjust your weight slightly and fall inside your previous ball. If I was Wayne I wouldn't be looking at turning that front ball because no. that's that's uh, yeah. perfectly positioned. So yeah, just uh, just beat your last one down. His weight's good. He's close. No, he's not far off. Al. His weight's good. He's close. Very well played. Yeah. That falls. Yeah, yeah, that's a very good, very well constructed end from Wayne. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Took a long time to play such a good shot, but yeah. it was well worth the wait. Yeah. I think we might see, uh, I think Warren's looking at the back end, yeah. Has to be a little bit aggressive yeah. into Got the channel. Even if he jumps the jack out, drops one, you know, get out of town. If he gets it perfectly right, it, uh, he lies the shot. And a little bit inside edge, he's not dropping anymore. He'll be more than likely cutting down if he comes off his. Correct. Uh, so, Nice two, three yards of weight. On the ditch end. Let's see. Yep, no, definitely back end. Back end, yeah. Yeah, yeah he's got to play it. Got to play the shot. Yeah, yeah he's played it. Oh, but he's inside. Horribly inside. Okay. Looks like 3 2 Wayne. Wayne, that gives him a 6 2 lead after 5. Yeah. Three shots to Wayne. Okay, I'm going to be vacating the chair, commentator's chair, and wel welcoming Jason Parkinson. Jason, over to you, mate. Nick, thanks for that. Thanks, I'll, I'll see, see you later. See you just now. Afternoon, Jason. Um, good to have you back on the mic. Thank you very much, mate. Yeah, yeah. uh, been a, a good final, close hits. Touch yeah. here, touch there. Yeah, they've been playing uh, consistent in the singles all the way through this yeah. uh, this event. You know, it's uh, 
at the end of four long days of bowls, it's just when I say long, you know, it's uh, long as in when you're playing at this level, uh, it's sometimes uh, just a bit longer than a normal bounce game, the concentration. Yeah. You have to really, really concentrate on yeah. sets play. So, with the two local lads from Western Province winning the pairs, uh, you know, there's been quite a bit of interest to to hear about Potter's Resort and is there any packages that the, the, the fans or the supporters of them can go and, and watch? Uh, yes, there is. They do a two day, three day, four day package. Um, it's uh, all inclusive at Potter's Resort, so you, you pay the price. There's, uh, Four, well, there's three main meals, you get your breakfast, lunch and your evening meal right. and then they have, it used to be called the midnight buffet but they have a buffet, it's around about 11 o'clock now because what happens is at the end of this, the evening session of the uh, the World Championships uh, there's a, a little bit of bingo going on whilst people settle then okay. the shows they put on at Potters Resorts are amazing, yes. you know, the West End standard, they are yes. top class and then obviously with it being all inclusive and people uh, having a really, really good evening they, just in case you've not had enough food, they put more food on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some people were just saying that was just chatting to the lads that yeah. have qualified in the pairs, and yeah. it was like, what should, what should, you know, your, your, your tip if you wish. I said, uh, go on a diet before you go. Yeah. <laughs> and and what's and what and, and the web web page that we can have a look. Well played, I know. Yeah, you go on the Potters Resorts uh, on Google. Now Potters Resorts, they have two resorts now. They have Hopton on Sea. Right. Hopton on Sea Resort is the original resort. Yes. That's the resort where the World Championships are based. Yeah. It's at the home of the World Indoor Ball Championships yeah. now. Uh, and then they have a brand new one at Five Lakes. It's uh, just in another province, as you would okay. call it. It's another yeah. county. Another county. Yes, yeah, yeah. in a county called Essex rather than oh. Norfolk. Yeah. Okay, so we'll just Google Potters and we'll have a look and Potters see some yeah. yeah. We might see you there. A great response from Warren Slane, being two down, join the shots. Yeah, it's Potters Holidays, yep. pottersholidays.com. Okay. And then you can see these loads. And if you can't make it for the time of the World Indoor Bowls Championships, just look at the other packages. There's yep. always something going on. They'll have like an Elvis weekend, etc. Okay. etc. Sneaky touch off the yellow. Yeah, so, and he has done that, yes. I saw that. Yeah. Yeah. And he's, he's felt it for two. Yeah, I think uh, Warren needs to mix it up a bit, yeah. Like to see him maybe drop it inside on on the ditch end with about two three yards. Let's get the jack out. It's got a score, change the length. Yeah, I like that. He's playing his forehand. I wonder how much. Oh no, he's playing his forehand. Okay, yeah. yeah, he's playing his forehand. I like that. I like that. He was off the mat a bit. He's inside. Can he get the split? No. Wayne line three six two up. N5, I think I'll cover the back. Yeah, I'll be going to the back. Lob it down the back. Yeah. He's going to have a quick trundle up. Like I say, if he's, he's, lying, he's lying 9 2 after yeah. six ends, three ends to play, you yeah. just play defensive from yeah. there onwards. Yeah. If he elects to try and make it tidier or make, make it more safe and doesn't get it 100%, he's leaving that chance for Warren to get three and get straight back in the game. Yeah. So, it's, you know, for me, just take the chance. It's not. It's not 100% certain, I think if, if Wayne covers the back, he could also get the bowl and the jab. So even though he gets the jab, yep. you'd expect maybe one of Wayne's bowls to be promoted to, towards that yeah, area. But to trundle through. Yeah. But if he gets, but if he gets it perfectly right, yeah, then there we go, Wayne has put the back ball, well played. It's the easier of the two. two yeah. Try and make it safer or right. put it somewhere within six yards. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'd be doing. <laughs> I wonder if Wayne, you know, Wayne's playing with the quantum, so I think he could hold it up inside of his yellow ball on the ditch end. You know, with two, three yards, trailing it there for two, keeps him in the set at 6-4. Um, yeah, let's see what he does. He can nearly get, if he gets the front, front right hand, as we're looking at it now yeah. if he gets the front right hand edge yeah. of the shot ball yeah. he can nearly get rid of all three yes yes see, he's, going, he's going on the forehand yeah interesting to see how much weight he plays it with. i think he's going to go it's moved on the mat if you notice yeah. moved yes. right across yes. on the mat he's going to be trying to hold it up inside oh, he's oh my goodness he's gone the draw he's gone to his strength it's too quick no, nope, it's a quick. Will he get back? Will he get back? Will he get Second, back? Will he get back? Will he get back? Second, third. Yeah. Yeah. Bit of a, a wry smile from Warren. <laughs> <sighs> Wayne's really up, up, up the ante. <clears throat> Playing really well. That's why he's the African State Singles Champion.
was, I was talking to a couple of the gentlemen at lunch and talking about the streaming and, and they said that you know you've been getting a lot of hits that must be making you smile a bit yes it's uh, it's the exposure you know yep. it's uh, getting a good streaming company that we've got but getting that exposure not yep. just for the PBA not just for World Bowl yep. but for the sport yes. it's getting it out there yep. Yep. people that may just stumble across the channel because yep. every now and then you get the pop up it's yep. those person that struggles across the channel yep. has a little look yep. and thinks I'd like to try that yeah and you know what, like we said, the production has been very good, so if you don't enjoy the commentary, you just switch off the switch channel. Switch off. <laughs> switch us off, and you, you can make your own commentary, you know, and, and you your comments. But, but, that, but that's how important it is to have a good production team. And I think Noel and his team have done a, had an excellent job. Thanks for that, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> just switch him off. <laughs> no, just switch him off. Um, more, more, like, more than likely be myself. <laughs> so, eight, two. two. Start. We have to start scoring now, isn't it? I mean, it's probably going to need to score every end. I think. Yeah. That's, that's going to be my prediction. We have to score the last ends. There's a very nice comment there from Wayne Rutmiller, a current South African player. Yep. Let's go, Plumbers! Shouting for his man. Oh, I like that. Hello, Wayne Rutmiller. Is he a singles player? Wayne? He's a singles player yep. in the World Championships. Wishing him all the best of luck. Yeah, good one. Like I said, I was a bit disappointed not to see him here. I think this would have been a good preparation for him. People have busy lives as well, don't yeah, they? They're probably yeah, working. Yeah, you know, we don't have a professional circuit here, if I can put it that oh, way, okay, you know, right, where okay. people can make a living off it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We all have to work. It's Sunday afternoon, and uh, Jason, my teammate, uh, commentary teammate here, has got a pink gin. Is it a pink gin? No, it's pomegranate juice. Oh, pomegranate juice. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> Oh, Wayne's really, really starting to ping the whites, playing a good, consistent length. Yeah, I was just, I mean, we spoke at the interview about how, how, he, how do you bounce back. You know, yeah. he's, he's in two finals. That takes some doing. I mean, you know, you're going to be so disappointed to get into the last hurdle. Yeah. It's, uh, it's not, so, if you got like maybe this game was tomorrow, yes. not so much because yeah. you usually sleep on it, yeah, you yeah, batter yourself you up all night, yeah. you? But, you know, maybe 25 minutes yeah. to just get it out of your head, I guess. Just having a look at the two players' body language, you can see Wayne's in the ascendancy, his body language is positive. Um, Warren's shoulders have dropped ever so slightly, heads down a bit. You know, I think he must just give himself a good natter. Do you think, I mean, you've played the game at this yep. level anyway, you know, big, big, big games like this, this is, you know, going to the pinnacle of indoor yes. bowls, in my personal opinion. But yes. do you think sometimes when there's a, a want too much, when you really want to be too much, it just throws you. I don't think you maybe you maybe you tense a little bit. Yeah. There's a bit of that, a bit of nerves maybe. Right. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, you're trying too hard to um, you know to play the perfect shot instead of just relaxing and enjoying the moment. You've done the hard work. You're in the final. Showcase your talent. And I think uh, I think that's what I think that's what Wayne's done. I think he's turned it around. He says, "Let me show showcase my talent." Yep. He's in the squad, like you say, yeah. just missed out, I think would be yeah. probably fair to say, of the getting in the five. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you know, he'll be wanting to, uh, you know, to, to stamp his name, put somebody in that picture. Oh, hey, that's Butterfly. Yes, yeah, Butterfly, charging it down. Warren's yeah. playing a loose end here. Yeah. Look that Butterfly at that, I think it was a bit short. It's <laughs> 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 so the Butterfly ran after it and kicked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I gave it a bit of an yeah. extra two foot run there. Get him with that one later. Come on, Warren. Play's a good one. Oh, he's on a decent line. He's all on weight. He's all on weight. I think he's played a bomb here. As you guys would say in the UK, yeah, he's played an absolute yeah. bomb. Yeah. 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 That's a way of trying to Yeah, the car finish it above the shot. The venerable Roy has lifted it, has raised his head, finally. Well, that's saying that that was a set lie there. Yes, that three. that's right. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it would have been 12 2, thanks very much. Yeah, eight three. I think he's still un under the pump. Now, what's interesting is that in in his game against Julian, he pulled the mat right up. And now Wayne Roberts has pulled the mat, and he's playing his length that he dominated on. So, what does he do here? Does he go T to T? T to T. Does he really change it up the length, or is he going to stick to his strength? Ah, he's must have hurt you, Jay. Depends how far he throws. But I'd say T to T. I think he's gone long. Gone long. Yeah, there we go. Good call, good tactic. It shows you that his mind is um, still positive, yep. still thinking. We get 
it's a little too here. It could maybe do a sneaky flee. Odds are against him. Wayne's really playing well. He settled nicely. This is open ball is important. And he's played it well. That's a good opener from on a change of length. That's not too bad. What did you say? Two foot through? Yeah? Yeah. Just over. Foot, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. Now to see people tuning in there, 424 at the moment. Yeah. If you want to ask us a question, just pop it in the comments. You met Nick. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Plum is on his game this afternoon. Wayne, Wayne Roberts, you know, his, his profession is a plumber. That's why we refer to him as a plumber every now and then. But he's really focused in on this singles. I think he doesn't want to go home a bridesmaid. He's too tall to be a bridesmaid. <laughs> no, he's deceptively tall. You know. <laughs> Made me like a midget. Oh, what a, re what a response from... Uh, Warren Stein, what a great shot. Brilliant. Is it one or two? No, it's one. She showed one, yeah. Wayne can, can drop one here. The sportsmanship between them both has been exceptional. Yeah. Well, the whole week has been yeah. exceptional. There's been no incidences, you know, no, no unsavouries. Did he get that one out the hand? I think it came out the smoothest, did it? Here it comes. That hand. Just slightly wide, right, yep. yep. That hand of that weight just teases you the whole weekend. Oh, that's such great weight. If uh, Warren, oh, Warren having a jog, that shows you he's, he's positive. I like, the, I like the attitude. It's exactly the same bolts, isn't it? It just draws down to his own that's ball. Right. Even if he just finishes yeah. just slightly at the side of Wayne's short ball, yeah. that'll force him to play something a little bit different. But to ever so slight touch on that chat would be the bonus. But you concentrate on making the two. That's you don't right. go chasing. That's right. Quite right. Yeah. You just get the wood in the area, and if you do happen to touch the white, it's a bonus. If he, oh, yes, he's just sneak himself in front. Like I say, get a two, eight, five, play the good end, change your length, you know. You never know what might happen. Yep. Smiling away, look. Smiling, that's good, yeah. Uh, yes, the concentration. Uh, got it away, I think. Sort of, I think it's a dead wide. Yeah. Yeah. Playing with the quantum, does it? Yeah, yeah quantum, yeah. it won't get back from there. Look how good that weight was, eh? His weight was superb on the tighter line, it would have been brilliant. Yeah, let's see, Wayne. Same shot for Wayne, really. Yeah. Down to the yellow ball. That's it. Yeah. Keep, keep the weight, just tighten the line ever so much. Crowd are very pensive, all thinking what shot they're going to play. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Listen to the crowd, you get in there. Oh, I'll play this, I'll play that, <laughs> yeah. I'll play that. Yeah. Oh, he's changed his hand, Jason. What? And he hasn't really? played that hand well at all. He dreamed the day. I'm quite surprised with that. Yeah, I'm a little surprised, surprised but he knows he's always going to come back yeah. on this hand. Yeah, but, he, but, but he's been generally short on that hand and he hasn't played it well the whole day. So I'm quite surprised. I think that's. Maybe he's a bit worried he gets a niggle on the white and, yeah. and then turns the wood for his two down. Maybe. Gonna say, you know, four up going into the last end, yeah. you'd, you'd take that, wouldn't yeah, you? Yeah. Yeah. Puts the pressure on, on Warren. Warren has to play a goodie here. Let's see. He's always smiling. <laughs> I think he's wide again. It's tighter. I don't think it's too bad. I think he's wide. He's wide. Can he get back? Jay, can he get back? Can he get back? Oh, oh his weight was so good. I think he to sit back on that. Yeah, his weight was so good. He's mm. going there again. Yeah, he licked him. I'm going to try to fall off that back one. Doesn't mind dropping one, which is fine. No, exactly. For uh, playing the last thing, he's on a better line. What's his weight like? What's his weight like? Can he get back? Can he get back? Nope, good effort. One, eight, four, playing the last. 
you know, that's been, uh, I think that's been the slight difference in the set is that Warren has played good ends but only scored singles. Uh, whereas when uh, Wayne Roberts has played his singles, uh, his, his good ends, he scored multiples or, or triples. And that's, I think, the difference. Yeah, one. Mm, yep. Yeah. Mm. So, to set this one up, uh, Warren Stein needs to open up with a good one. He's going to go keep the length like that, kind of T to T. You normally find when you need a four, if you're going to get it, it's normally from a scrappy end. Yes. Isn't it? You know, that one of those ends where you just have a stinker. Yeah. You very rarely get a four yeah. from a good head. And what's interesting on this length, um, the hand that Wayne Roberts has been playing doesn't, doesn't come back. So you'll be playing a good line, but you'll just be hanging wide. Let's let let's see. Well, it's, I mean, I think is that the that's the tee there. Yeah, I think it's, the at the end. It's I think it's if it's, if it's on the tee, yeah. it's slightly better. I think in that hand because it's just yeah. slightly browner. Yeah. And and we'll soon see. We'll well, see. that might block him out anyway. And that's uh, not a great hand. Well, he stayed there. Ooh. Either side with good pace. Yeah, should be good. Now watch this. Let's have a look at this. I reckon he's got a yellow ball, hasn't he? Yeah, he's got a lot of weight. Oh, Ooh, oh. he had a lot of weight. Ooh. <laughs> talk. What's that about that scrappy end that you were telling you us about? about? Yeah, there we go. I think he's still. Well, it's not a bad line. Tight, is it not? But I don't think so. Eh? I think it's a good measure. Line quantum's very yeah. 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 Needs to pick it up. Oh, it's straight, isn't it? Yeah, that's it. Wayne, with his first was about two metres heavy. Let's see if he can correct. I mean, this is why you don't be too uh, precise. Too. I mean, yeah. all you need to do is just get good yeah. second. Good just, second good. just beat that short wood yeah. of, of, um, of worries. No, he's tight. Let's see. Yeah, he's going to drop, but it's, he's, he'll get it on weight. What a good correction. Well played. Well played. asking if the ball is level and she's just said it's slightly different. Just try and get another another ball in the area, hope Wayne misses and, and then remove the ball, the ball yeah. and it misses again. And then ask him then ask the questions if he can play it. I think it's a bit tighter. Yeah, he is a bit tighter but he's well played again. Not very hey. strong then. <laughs> well played. I mean that hand's a good swing it down, that's yeah. they both surprised me how how tight that was. Well, what's interesting, that's a plane into the shadows now. Yeah. So that's also going to change the green, the green a bit. Oh, I ain't changing his hand. Mmm, interesting. Just, that's a good line for him, I think. I think he's closer. We want to finish on this opposite side, won't yeah. you, really? Yeah, I think he's closer. He's got a so oh, hello. 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 He's left the door open. He's left the yeah. door open. Oh, Mr. Stain, come no, on. You've got to turn that it takes. Yeah. It's always a bad end where you get yeah. a four. Yeah. Warren's just uh, ran down to have a look. I think his eyes will light up when he sees. Well, look. it'll. I mean, this is Christmas Day for him. Yeah. You wouldn't expect to have yeah. this opportunity yeah. against someone like Wayne. I know Wayne. Wayne's been playing. You know, it's, he's left the door open. Well, let's see. Come on, play us a good one. Get us excited here in the commentary <laughs> and lift the crowd. Wake us up from our mid-afternoon slumber. Well, he needs to yeah. two or three, four yards of pace because he needs his ball to stay in, obviously, yeah. as well. Yeah, and he's played that end well, and he just keeps it tight, gets it square. And you hear the crowd go. So, playing for the ball. Yeah, I like his line, eh? Has he got the weight? Is he going to get back? Is he going to get back? Oh, 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 oh. great effort! Great effort! Say a relief from yep. Wayne Roberts. It's yep. just a two. So, yep, and first set to Wayne Roberts. Well done. <laughs> oh, he was, he was <laughs> close. <laughs> I see Wayne almost looking through his fingers. Yeah, so. there we go. Yeah, I think he was. Uh, it was like Sir, the great Sir Alex Ferguson said, "Squeaky bum time." <laughs> there we go. There we go. Well done, Wayne. Yeah. Very consistent. 
when you sit comfortably at eight six. Well, he's got one foot in the world championships at the moment. Yep, that's it. But, you know, like I said, Warren Stein is a hard tenger. There's a lot of fights in those in those lads. He won't be giving up just yet. It's important now not to uh, relax too much. Oh. Oh. So what's, uh, the comments coming along, Graham Elliot. Very now, oh, Wayne, there we go. Nice comment from Nardine there. There we go, Nadine Ascareo, have you met her? Yeah, there we go. I'd like to try and make it a bit fun, I don't mind more. Yeah, we've got to make it fun. You know, we've got two very, um, very soft personality guys. You know, they they get, get on with the business. You know, they're not uh, Nick Curious of the Bowls world. So we're going to try, we're going to try and up it up, make it fun. We'll give our opinions. Our opinions might not always be right. You know, we'll give short selections. They might not be always right. Surprise that. You know, I thought Warren was playing that swinger quite well. Uh, He's changed, which is not in his way. Jason, when are you flying back to the UK? Uh, I fly home on Tuesday evening. Oh, right. I'm, uh, from here, I'm going down to uh, the waterfront just okay. to have a, just a couple of nights, just to chill out, to be honest yes. with you. Uh, and then from there, I fly into, fly into London on the Wednesday morning. Right. And then Thursday morning, I start commentating at the England um, national finals. Okay. Bowls England finals, yeah. yeah. I was watching a bit of the uh, MotoGP, I enjoy my motorbikes. Okay. Uh, racing at Silverstone, so it was a nice oh. sunny day there, so you might be going to some nice warm weather. My father used to like motorbikes yeah. when he was still with us, yeah, it was right. his, uh, his go-to form of transport. Yeah. My brother works for Red Bull Racing, he, right. does, he wow. designs probably kill me because I'm getting it wrong with it. It's something to do with the designs, the aerodynamics of the fins for Max Verstappen's uh, wow. car. I will. Yeah, well, yeah. his bonuses must be fantastic. This year, he's got a bird of fortune. They are flying. The cars are looking good. As you, can see, again. as you can see, we like our sports. We can kind of do it. And look at this. Wayne Roberts continuing. He left off on the first set. Warren needs to, needs to get, into the, get into the set quickly. Change into his forehand. I like that. I think he's. I think personally, I think he's played that hand very well. I don't know why he changed. He's trying here. Yeah. He's trying here. Yeah. Can he get to the gap? Can he drop? Can he drop? Oh, good effort. Good effort. As the sun starts to set, you can see it's getting a bit cooler. Can, can Wayne, as, as he got the whip out for the finishing line, can he finish it off? He's had a great week. He'll be disappointed if he doesn't get home here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Or can Warren Stain be the sole destroyer? Oh, he's playing a good way too. Just to force his own ball well, through, yeah, I guess. Like this, why? Oh, just miss it. Yeah. Got to change something up. Two. First in, nice start for Wayne. As he walks down, focused. Give a little jog on. It's fantastic to see that Wayne's brought his family down to Cape Town, beautiful part of the world. That's right, yep. Yeah. Uh, I've always enjoyed it here. It's yeah. my third time in uh, Cape Town. Right. Uh, first time at a, at a bowls club. Yeah. Other times I've always been for work. Yeah. Ever been to Johannesburg? Um, no, I've, I've yeah. flown obviously into the airport and yeah. changed, but uh, yeah. no, I, I haven't. Good thing. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> <Come. Just> <laughs> Can we just lock the commentary box, please? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Joe, the city of gold. Oh, is that what it is, is it? Yeah, yeah. big mining. But uh, yeah, I've got their problems, unfortunately. <laughs> 
careful. Look, I mean, I could say they'll cut the power off, but they already have done. Near <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, the generator, just heard the generator. Right yeah. the generator's yeah. going. Yeah. 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 already off. Yeah. Look at Plumber. You know, Plumber's really pinging the white at the moment. The last couple of innings, he's really been, been steady, steady Eddie. And the way he's played it, he's forced he's forced uh, Warren out of his comfort zone, off his hand. So good play from Wayne Roberts, read it, and um, and Warren hasn't been as effective. Good way. Playing with the quantum model, that's uh, one. It's for those that are not quite you know familiar yeah. with all the different balls. Uh, the quantum is slightly weaker than yeah. what uh, Wayne is playing with. Uh, is Wayne playing with the groove, I think? I think he's playing with the groove, yeah. So that, but the groove yeah. means it'll slightly bend, Come back, yeah. Yeah. which you can see. Yeah. You can hear the crowd shouting, blubber yeah. home. Yeah, I like that. I like, I like a bit of crowd interaction. Come on, boys and girls. Let's hear you. That's his wife there, sat on the, the grass okay. version, I think. Mm -hmm. I think Maybe, so. Yeah. I saw her inside of the baby, the baby was crawling all over. <laughs> Same she Whoa, oh, that's that's Warren. Can his wood get back? Come on, Warren. Boy, where's the two foot son? I have to play the backhand now, I think. Just, just if you just draw around, you can draw around still on both hands. I mean just just wouldn't want to be slightly underneath and lift that yellow ball. Yep. He's lying to I would um, Yeah, I would I wouldn't be short. Sure. I wouldn't be short, I would be... Yeah, a little shake of the head. Yeah. So what, what I can see is happening now is that with the sun setting, playing in that direction, it's setting in their eyes, so I think it's going to be a bit more difficult. He's played oh, he's here. Played he's it played here. He's played it well. He's played it well. Oh, the last Oh, that's oh, not... Mm. What would you do if you were Warren now? I'd play a forehand runner. Yeah. Oh. Forehand is less chance of flicking the yellow ball away and yeah. then running through the other one. Forehand, I think if he plays three or four yard of pace, yeah. gets that plant with that pace, he'll yeah. get the shot. If he's slightly underneath and lands into the split of Wayne's bowls yeah. with that pace, yeah. he'll then run through and remove the other ball. Could get two out of it. Yeah. As long as he's yeah. not too quick and no. things just go flying all over the shot. Yeah, he's playing the forehand, yeah. Oh, I'd say that little trundling three, four yards. I think so. Get the set, you get the shot. If you get the split, you're following through. Like you say, you could get two. Oh, he's played it on the draw. Hey, that's a bit negative. Come on. Can he prove me and Jason wrong? Oh, good effort. But I think the, the, the percentages on that shot is very low. Whereas if he plays with the three, four yards, the percentages are a lot higher. Heads in his favour, actually. I was Wayne. I, 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 st I still oh, think I play the backhand. No, yeah, would you go there? I'd actually play the backhand. And you get to that one. Yeah, I play the backhand to go behind. If yeah. you do slightly come underneath and remove the yellow one, yeah. might even sit for two. And if you get inside and come back, yeah, yeah. maybe sit it for two or three, yeah. Because if he, if he misjudges it, it's not going to cause any damage. I mean, the only danger here yeah. is now by playing tight. And another thing, the reason why maybe he's not playing the other side of the green, he hasn't particularly found that hand all day. So there he's gone to the back. Go on, Warren. Good play is a good one. Get back into the set. Get back into the game. Yeah, because respots are in operation. Yeah. You play to the tee, don't you? We have spots either side in the UK. Uh, here, it goes on the two-metre spot. So if he lets fly and it's killed, it will go on the two-metre spot. And Wayne will still be lying a shot. You know, if, if he plays it, yeah, you know, he could get a little three or four here if it comes off 100%. Zero percent, zero percent. I think uh, the percentage shot is uh, that trundling 3-4 yards. Yep. A bit quicker. Yeah, that's it. Quicker and a bit tighter. Come on. Come on, play the shot. No, oh, he's got on the draw again, Still Jason. Sticking to the draw. Oh, he's Fair gone, enough, yeah. He's gone wide. I think he's gone wide. I think that's not well, typical. Yeah, well, yeah, there we go. I think uh, that could all be. I think that could all be the mind game. Mm. I think so. I think Plummer's got him. I think Plummer's got him. <laughs> got him. You know, I'm not gonna. You know, Warren's sticking to his strengths, which is the draw. He's a good drawing player. And that's why he's in the final. 
And that's two, four nil after two. Just the two hours today, you load the loads. Is it always groups of two hours? Two hours, is it? Is that yeah. Yeah. two hours at a time. Two yeah. three. It depends on the because you have stages, don't yeah. you? So, so we're on, I think we're on stage one. Mm -hmm. So it's just once a day, is it? Once a day, once yeah. Once a day, which is okay. great. But sometimes if we go up to like four, it's then you have two, two, two hours. I think when I stayed with Johan, yeah, it went off, went off late at night and first thing in the morning. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I see that I'm off uh, from six to eight tomorrow morning, which is the worst time because you wake up, you can't have yeah. a cup of tea. Cup of tea. Oh, the kitchen uh, stuff. Isn't yeah, it? and you can't. Oh, yeah, you shower in the dark. Oh, look at Tommy. He's really thinking in the wine. His class is coming to the fore now. That consistency, isn't yeah. it? The, it's the consistent players that always do well. And it's always when you get that, you always get yeah. one bad game, don't you? In a, in a yeah. tournament, it's, it's how you scrap through that yeah. bad game. That's right. Always had a very good. Uh, we had a very good family friend who was a, a you know, and a, a professor of the game, I would say. And he says, if you win a bad game, you got to back yourself to win the tournament. Right. And uh, you know, he had a, he had a little bit of a. He hasn't really had a wobble, but he's really coming good. Warren has just lost his weight because he's he's now changing hands. He's not settling. What he's going to go back to? I'm sure he's going to go back to the outside end. Be surprised, yeah. There we go. That's why he's struggling with the weight. Wide, wide. This is going to hang out there. He's under pressure. He's under pressure. Needs to regroup quickly. Yep, quickly, very quickly, or else the set will be gone and the title will be gone. And Wayne. It's just Mr. Consistency at the moment. This is where sometimes time for a little cheeky toilet break. That's just it. go and get in there, throw That's some right. water on your face, and look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah. Just yeah. Oh, worry yourself. That's what we were speaking about in the first. In oh, really? In the semi-final when uh, when um, Nixa was really getting. Given, you know, I was really playing well, and I said to Alan, well, I'm surprised Wayne hasn't gone for a toilet break and gone, had a little chat in the mirror to himself, you know, to say, come on, get your game up, son. He doesn't need to now. He's right in the rhythm, and he's really enjoying the final. You can see it, his body language is relaxed. He's looking happy. Oh, don't turn that in. Yeah. Uh, was it the semi-final? Yes, Nick's a soldier shot. And that was the error. Come on, come on, Warren. Take your time. Something's happened. Ah, he's put the wood down. Just relax. He's got to move. He's asked it to move. See, it? what's happening now is the small things are irritating. Because your mind, yeah. your mind has got. It must be something he's aiming at on the bank. Yeah. Perhaps, it, perhaps the markers just yeah. be blocking it, or and he's gone wide again. He's gone wide. Oh. Whoa. Oh. That's a free to uh, Wayne Roberts. Seven 0 after three ends. If I was Wayne, I would maybe just try and pick up the pace a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Just to, you know, so that he doesn't. You know, I can't think, you know, you know, I've got to get down. Yeah, like. correct. Say that at this, at this level, it is, it is that. It's all about getting the edge. Yes. But, but in a sporting manner. Yes. You know, just get an edge. It's That's all right. about psychology, isn't it? You read, right. I've read loads of books on sports yeah. psychology. I find it fascinating. Yeah. How you can just little throw away comments. You know, you see it, you see it all the time. Yeah. yeah. A little little side comment there, like yeah. <laughs> have you changed your delivery? You just got a little bit of a bump on that forehand, yeah. <laughs> you drop your shoulder slightly, yeah. That'll sort him. <laughs> Do you breathe in or out when you release the ball? <laughs> <laughs> Definitely out. <laughs> Just questioning the, uh, the, length. the length. I like that call. Doesn't matter if it's in. It's just changing that pace again. Warren can try regroup, get his mind going. Yeah, 
Yeah, for those new players on, or you're just uh, tuning in, the measure in this jack, the uh, the law, or the rule of the sport, if you wish, uh, for this uh, is 23 meters. So the end of the tape there is held right against the front edge of the mat, and the jack has to be 23 meters. Is it very close? Trust me, 23 meters. Uh, good. That's almost as small as it gets. I think he must have been an inch over, I think. <laughs> it's a good tactic. I use this tactic myself. When you're playing an opposition that's got a, a, a very weak bias bowler, a much weaker bias bowler than mine, I always tend to, my go-to would be for a short length jack. And the reason for that is the less distance, the less chance the ball has to bend. makes them think about the line a little bit more. So here, it's going to the, the swing of your hand because it's a shorter length. That's a very good tactic. Got a good line, just the pace. Just 18 inches too far. Very easily done. Rain will go again. Put that pressure on. Yeah. I've played Wayne Roberts. Yeah, he's really, he's really turning the screw. Yeah. Whether it's two or whether it's three, I mean, it's. Uh, Made it's the angle so much harder now. It's, it's not got much apart from you know almost yeah. dead pace or a spring on the jack. Yeah. You know if I was uh, you know if I was Warren, I would you know I've been I've played on the draw, but he's played a rubber. Oh. He's just fallen out. Yeah, very unlucky. Good shot. the crowd. If I was Warren Stain, you know, I've been out played on the draw. Maybe I'd go a bit more aggressive. You know, try jump the jacks out a bit. You know, maybe go yeah. a bit more faster. I mean, he played a tremendous ball though. Yeah. So unlucky to get that little double bounce. Yeah. Just pushed it away. But still, uh, Wayne is on top of his game. He was, oh, he's played another good one. Well played. This is a chance. Take a chance, maybe. I don't know. You can play just slightly up, get the split. Get the split, yeah. He's got to score. He's got to change yeah. his length quickly. He needs to score, yeah. He needs that jack. There we go. Well, I see. I think he's wide again. That was what I was saying about that's, that's my go to yeah. length when you're playing with someone with a weaker yeah. ball. Scratching for that tight line all the time. That, but I mean, it didn't bend much that yeah. ball, did it, coming yeah. down there? And you know, if I was Warren, I might have gone fussed down the middle. Yeah. Yeah, get it out, change it up. One? One, yeah, but you know what? Tell, tell of the tape there was it was one versus four. There was only one yellow wood amongst the four turquoise and white. I think Wayne can uh, smell smell victory here. Yeah. It's a big prize, isn't it? I mean, the winner of the singles here for the World Open singles, ten thousand rand air tickets. These are all paid for. You arrive at Potter's Resort; it's all inclusive, um, and you're guaranteed a minimum once you get there of another sixteen thousand rand. So, twenty-six thousand rand in money. You now I've been here over a week. Yeah. <laughs> I know what that can buy for me. Yeah. I mean, see, you know, that's just the, the money, but you know, have a look at your airfare that's paid for, your your accommodation that's paid for. So, you know, the total prize, I think you're looking at it close to 30, 40,000 rand. Yep. You know? 
And don't forget five world ranking points. Five world That's ranking points. Five, five world ranking, ranking points. points. Yeah. And if you and if you and if and if you uh, have a bit of a running potters, you know, and you get invited back, you know, you get into the top sixteen. Yeah. Yeah, you need a run. Yeah, I mean the uh, top sixteen. Uh, I think the number sixteen place is on forty-four points. Okay. So shows sure. you know, like you say, the, uh, it's a potter's ten. 10 points per round. Right. Yep. Wow, there we go. Yep. So 10, 20, 30, getting to the quarterfinals. You could be pushing number number 16. Yeah. So the so don't just look at the prize money, look at the total overall prize while played Wayne Roberts. No, he's, he's been very impressive this afternoon. He's really uh, punishing him, isn't he? Yes. Saying, yes. I know you're not on your game, yeah. and I'm going to punish you. And he's asking, and, and Warren doesn't know how to respond. I don't think he's got that in his makeup. Is the attacking drive, what I would call it? Does it when he plays team games? Is he more front end? He's player? a front end. Is he more of a front end? Player? I think he's he's either a lead or a, or a second um, in his in his provincial side. Provincial side being similar to your yeah, county, county side. side yeah. Well, he's human then. Well, that's one of his. Oh, it's very few wasted woods. Don't forget the runner up of this event, well, they don't go away empty handed at all. They will play in the Scottish International Open, sponsored by Lead to Succeed, just outside of Edinburgh. And uh, they will pick up 4,000 Rand prize money. 5,000 round um, hotel allowance, also all the flights, etc. Et yeah. So, yeah, so again. Just on that, uh, that but you, you're playing that at an indoor centre, eh? and you know, that's not the portable rink. Is that going to, to Edinburgh? No, no, you're yeah. right. We play it on a, a bowling club called the West Lothian Indoor Bowling Club. It's a very good, true surface. Um, running last year, ran at about 18 seconds as well. So okay. good. Yeah, watch that. The West Lothian, I think that's where they've produced a likes of is it a Paul Foster and a Darren Burnett? Yeah, they're Darren Burnett's slightly further, yeah. Okay. But for Paul Foster he's from that end? Uh, no, he, he's more the other side. Okay. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Two. I think, um, I think this game is getting away from Warren a bit. Man, like I said, he has to start mixing things up here a bit. Yeah. Oh. He's stuck to the draw, it hasn't worked for him this afternoon. The plumber has pummeled him. <laughs> I'm sure you've been researching all these little sayings. No. <laughs> <laughs> book, book of commentary sayings. Oh dear me. Uh, the plumber has pummeled him. There we go. Me. Where did you get that from? A Christmas cracker. <laughs> Christmas cracker. Oh, no. oh, and here we've got a, a sweet called the Chappie's Rapper. <laughs> <laughs> Ten nil after five. Come on, Warren. Come on. Show us your fighting spirit, lad. Or oh, is he content with going to uh, Scotland, Edinburgh? He won't be content, no. He'll be, he'll, be, so. he'll, be, he'll be disappointed at the moment, but he'll be yeah. still fighting. Yeah. Half he is. Yeah. Oh, Plum has just missed the first time. Good line, good line for her. Come on, lad. Just, he's just lost his weight, hasn't he? Just lost his weight. I think with way the way it is, it's, it's, it's almost like he's playing down a shoot. He's finding good line all the time. Yeah, look at that. He's, he's trying to touch, uh, you know, his first two woods. is always in the middle, not not to the side. He's giving nothing for Warren to play two. Uh, Warren's playing to a blind jack most times. Oh, he's close here. Yeah. He's close here. Yeah. yeah, he's played a good one here. Yeah. He's played a good one here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well played. Good response. <laughs> Uh, well, you know, we want to gain close. Uh, 
Yeah, very Perfect good. position, yeah. yeah. Very good. Very good. Because if, if he lies, if he lies this, this shot here, he, all he do, needs to do is just win one more end. Yes. That's all he needs to do. Yeah. So he won't be bothered. I mean, there's no point in playing down here and, and trying to make a two or a three, giving him a target. He'll be happy with this one, knowing yeah. there's three ends to play. Yeah. All he needs to do is win one of them. Yep. Yeah. I'll go to the back again, you know, making. He'll have to let Warren play the perfect, perfect draw. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Don't forget, after this game, we'll be showing the prize presentations live on air. Please stay with us for that. Yes, my baby. Yeah, there we go. Somebody yeah. likes that in the crowd, shouting, yes, my baby. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's, there's, not, there's it's nearly not got a shot, almost, without. The shot he, he has got, if it yeah. goes wrong, You'll be three, four down again. Done. Yeah, yeah, it's done for. Yeah. And then it's done. <laughs> so that's that's a clever ball. That's yeah. uh, showing you the, uh, the professional think It's a professional that's right. play. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. His, his uh, green management is superb. Yeah, game management is what we would yeah. call it. Yes. Yeah, so like you say. Well, it's in the area. He's looking for the flick. Look at this. He's going to get the bad flick, flick. I think. Oh, oh no! He's oh, got, he got a shot. Oh, wow. wow! Bit of luck there. A lot of bit of luck. Yeah, he got it, and the crowd like it. He's on the board. Yeah. I thought he was going to get that really awful bad luck. Yeah. Because sometimes when you just when you you just scrapping and playing a little bit bad, you know the bad luck normally comes as well, doesn't it? When you're flying and you're playing well, you normally get all the right edges and all the right things. It's just I don't know why that is. It just seems to happen. Well, I've, got a, I've got an analogy. Sometimes is that you've uh, got the. Um you know, um, the, the opponent's got more woods in the area, so it's nine out of ten times it's going to go to them because your woods are all over the place. Yep. So he's pulled the mat, thrown it to the team. Yeah, he needs, he needs something spectacular now. He's got a score. Two. Yeah. yeah he's got a score of two, two fours. Yep. Odds on favourite here is uh, Wayne Roberts. But let's see, come on, keep going. Yeah, somebody shouted in more. Yeah, good idea. Good idea. Well done. Way down. Ah, oh, White's looking good, Jason. Can you make a contact? Ah, yeah, yeah. He will. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Come on, Warren. Let's see if he can respond. I think he's on a better line. what I was talking about. Lady luck, yeah. Another day you'd have sat the other way. Would have fallen in, yeah, he just fell out. But he's building, he's building it up, so let's see. <laughs> oh, look at this. <laughs> Consistency personified. Well played, Wayne. Bad day at the office, what they say. Right. Some things just don't go according to plan. Okay, gets the inside edge, he's back on the white, he got the outside edge, just touching up the head. Let's see, one wood to go, and Wayne's on his way to the United Kingdom. Let's see, and what's he gonna do here? Yeah, there we go. Oh, 
Play the two bowls. You've got to go yeah, quick. Yeah, you've got to play for the two bowls. You've yeah. got to play very quick forehand or backhand yeah. drive for the yeah. two bowls. Bowls. No yeah. movement on the jack. Yeah. yeah. Nice and simple, straight for them. There we go. And he's got it. He's got that shot in him. Yeah, he's got wide. four out, yeah. Wide. That's it. That's it. That's the end of that. Yeah, well played. That's the two. Yeah, that's the two is needed. Yeah. I'm going to just leave you with uh, Nick very shortly and uh, We'll get ready to interview the players. Thank you, Jason. No, thank you. It's been yeah. an absolute pleasure. Thank you. Great commentating with you. you know, the keys. I think a big, a big congratulations to Wayne Roberts. He really showed his class this afternoon. The guy from Portland Town in his home club, Hillcrest, can be very proud of him. I think that smile says it all. Uh, my co commentator from the weekend, Alan Loftus, has joined me. Give us your fourth self on the game. Well, it's amazing when Jason got, con sorry, when uh, Wayne got control of that match and brought it up. It was pretty much similar to the semi final game. He did exactly the same. And uh, one thing I've noticed here, and I would like to have heard what Jason had to say about that, is that delivery on that uh, short end of. Um, of Wayne's was just perfection. Yeah. He just, um, yeah, he just got the weight, the feel of the weight, and he was never very far away from the jack. <laughs> Truly outstanding performance. I think uh, Warren, uh, Warren wasn't allowed to settle on his no, game. Absolutely. And um, and I was listening also, and um, I think Jason was quite right. Um, you know, when you play with those quantums uh, on the shorter length, if you give it a little bit too much, it's not going to come back. Yeah, yeah. And he couldn't adjust it, unfortunately. And whenever he tried to adjust it, he was always getting a shot bowl yeah. falling out. Yeah. I thought, um, you know, um, just watching him, you know, I thought he might have tried to mix it up, maybe go a bit more aggressive. Yeah. You know, never die wondering. You know, if, if the guy is pummeling you like he did on the draw, you know, let's mix it up. Maybe yeah, you should think of it. You know, he yeah. should have in this format also. Yeah. I mean, you've got nothing to lose. Yeah. You one set down, take a chance and take go a chance. For it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but you know, great, great, great effort from Warren. You know, he's going off to Edinburgh. He's had a good week. You know, and he's just he's shown his credentials again. Yeah, well played. Very good week, Wayne. Well, I think uh, Wayne Roberts has showed that he's a class player. He's been he's been on the circuit, and I think he's just proved again that um, you know he's he's a good one coming through for, for the future. I think Absolutely. I think we're going to see a lot more of that young gentleman. Yeah, certainly on that performance, yeah. he's unfortunate to be number six and not going to Australia. Yeah. Having yeah. done so well in the African states, yeah, and in the nationals, and so the nationals, yeah, yeah. No, certainly one for the future. Yeah, definitely. I think we'll be hearing a lot more of him. And uh, yeah, uh, we're just waiting for Jason Parkinson to do the post match with. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty going to say an elated Wayne Roberts.
Test. Quick microphone test. Microphone test. Yep. Is that okay there? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, just before we do the official prize uh, giving to the winners, we have uh, one nice thing to do, and that is to do the raffle for the set of Drake's Pride Bowls. So if I could ask Rudolph, please, to join us. He's, I have seen him hiding at the top somewhere. He's coming behind me. Here he is. He scared me to death. This is Rudolf Killian, um, the Drake's Pride representative, who's kindly donated this set of bowls from Drake's Pride. And are you ready, all waiting? The winner of the set of Drake's Pride bowls is Mrs. Denise Harland. <laughs> come down, come this way. Come on, it's not a game show. Come on down, the price is right. And the booby prize is an evening with, with me. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. The players are all ready. Where are the players? Where are the players? The players. Just going to gather the players together just on the steps, please. The, pl the players on the, on the steps. See, so. just want the players to give me a chance. Is Lombard coming on? Yeah, where's Lombard? Then on behalf of the PBA, I've got a bottle of wine. Is there? There you are. Yeah. All right, I've got a wine for him. Mm -hmm. On behalf of the PBA, I'd like to give him something. Okay. Uh, Lombard. Lombard. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're almost ready. Just wait for the queue in my ear. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now to present the prizes. We're going to start with the World Open Pairs. But first of all, we're going to welcome to the green Lombard Bernard, the head of Fairtree. Massive thank you, please. Head, headline sponsor, along with Drake's Pride. All I like to say is these things just, just don't happen. These big, big events don't just happen. It takes people to support the sport invest in the sport and see an opportunity to help not just develop the sport but how a business can work together within the sport it's really really you know important uh, so on behalf of the pba here in south africa we have a little gift as well yeah. and he's going to stay on with also we've got our pba south africa chairman mr johan duplessy So now to the winners of the World Open Pairs, who will receive 12,000 rand, my goodness, 12,000 rand and a place in the World Open Pairs in Potters, air tickets, visas are all paid for, it's all inclusive. Please welcome to the green your World Open Pairs winners, Peter Harvey and Kevin Douglas. <laughs> Picture. Quick pictures to the camera. Ladies and gentlemen, one more time, please. Worthy winners, your World Open Pairs winners, 
Peter Harvey and Kevin Douglas. Well done, well done. And now, unfortunately, uh, in any sporting event, there always has to be a runner-up. But in this sporting event, it's not too bad. For those that don't know, the runner-up of these singles will automatically go to the Scottish International Open just outside of Edinburgh, which is in November, so not a lot of time to prepare. So we're going to go there. The, the runner-up's going to get 4,000 rand, 5,000 rand hotel expenses, free flights, visas, and hotels and spoilt by myself. But for today, it's the World Open Pairs runner-up. Please give a massive round of applause for Warren Stain. Come on, everybody. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen now to the main world open singles winner who will receive 10,000 rand again all the air tickets visas included a once in a lifetime opportunity to play at potters resorts and uh, plays one of the best players or a few of the best players in the world it's going to be a great opportunity but for today please give a massive round of applause Wayne Roberts Well, unfortunately, ladies and gentlemen, everything has to come to an end, doesn't it? So just a few thank yous. First of all, on behalf of the World Bowls Tour and the PBA Board of Directors back in the UK, first of all, thank you to the club. Massive round of applause. This has been the best experience we've had for a long, long time. The members, the markers, the green staff, you know, Ian Gordon, who has just worked his socks off, the tournament director, everybody here, just a massive thank you from me. I mean, it's been truly amazing. Um, Johan, thank you very much for, for looking after me as well, same as Richard and my brand new South African mother here, Glenda. <laughs> it's, it's been a treat. So let's all hope we can get together uh, very, very soon and uh, we'll do it all again. So everybody, live at home all around the world, thank you very much for joining us here at Durbanville Bowling Club. So until next time, South Africa, it's been a blast. You must just get your... So, yeah, yeah, this is full. You must just get your wine. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you already paid. You can just now. I'm just going to drink this and I'm going out. Yeah. Roger. Yeah, yeah. Roger. Yeah. yeah, they got envelopes. <laughs> they get envelopes. There's no money in it, but... Uh, yeah. One. Herman, 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 kom.
Yeah, yeah. Want to be good. Hey!